But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Oh, it reminds me of a little choo-choo train going down the track. Hi, everyone. Hi. Yes. It's uh, the Opie and Anthony program. And uh, it is a wonderful, wonderful Monday-type morning, which everyone just loves, don't they? No. Don't you love get wise? No. You don't like getting out of the nice, warm bed? Just hearing that alarm? Meh. And then you got to get up right away because you already set the alarm pretty late. Yeah, hey, scramble and remember because it's Monday and the whole weekend you kind of got out of the whole gist of getting going to work. So it takes longer to just find your shit. I wander around in my, my room and my closet and stuff. I, I like a, a, a fucking retard. I don't know what I'm doing. Pants? Going to your head? What is this? I don't know. It's Monday. I forgot from Friday. Ah, Saturday, Sunday. I didn't even wear clothes. Great. <laughs> And then Monday is just all, all confused. I was confused. It's never my alarm. It's always, this is what I always hear. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> Kenny wakes me with a phone call. Yeah, I have the alarm and Kenny. Yeah. And I'm still trying to figure out which one is more annoying when it goes off. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> or hi. Good morning. No, oh. it's not. <laughs> okay, I hear the phone ring and I just look at it and I know death is calling. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a picture on your phone that comes up with Kenny's face? No, it's my home phone. Oh, it, oh, my you cell still have one of those? Yeah, yeah, so my weird. cell phone is off um, oh. at night. You, I, I, it never rings. Yeah. I have to, I, it will just light up a little bit. Yeah. But the cell phone, the text message would keep me up on it. Oh, that. see, I turn, uh, I turn on my phone, I leave it on, and then I got Kenny call. So when I pick the phone up, the first face I see every morning oh, is that of Kenny. That delightful face. And, of course, it, I wouldn't have just picked any picture. It's kind of a funny, you know, goofy Kenny picture. So I look at that, and then I hear, hi, everything okay? You up? Yeah, so, yeah. Then I proceed to fall right back to sleep. Yeah, it's <laughs> awful. <laughs> it's so terrible. Uh, well, I can't, hate it. Why couldn't they just shift this whole work thing to like 1, <laughs> 2 a p.m. or something like that? Yeah, it really blows. Yeah. I never get used to it. Never. No. In, in seven years, I haven't gotten used to no. it. No. Once you get here, it's, you know, pretty cake. But uh, that waking up thing, I don't care where you're going. You know? I guess it doesn't really matter what your job is. You can have a job fucking just, you know, looking at beautiful vaginas all day, and, and it was still like, ah, oh, it's... I get up early, look at those yeah. vaginas. Yeah. You, you just find something like... to complain about? Yes, always. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're not going to be shaved. Or... Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the sounds of those jeans getting pulled off. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something would bother you. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, so it's Monday. Hi. Uh, 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 Obi, I guess, uh, what, another procedure? <laughs> yes. I forgot. <laughs> Oh, did you? Yeah, poor guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what it is? I have. Yeah, no clue it's this a it's around. it's a really weird. Um, it's an intestinal tract thing. Oh, where you you just you're vomiting cum. What? And it's a it's a weird it's a weird seminal fluid thing. Like your semen doesn't go to your testicles. Oh, it's his own. His own. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. But it's a, yeah. No, he's not he's not doing anything. All right. But what happens is the wiring gets mixed up. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it it goes into the abdomen. <laughs> and the body vomits it up instead of ejaculating. Wow. Yes. That sounds terrible. And I've never heard of that before. Yeah, it's really weird. When he's been talking about it off the air, he's been very depressed. Oh, like yeah. whenever, he, whenever he masturbates, it's his dick burps. So they have to fix the wiring. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the cum comes out that way. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I, I hope they fix that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Figure it's, that whole thing out. I think it comes from uh, from knotting your stomach up. The wiring gets all mixed yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have to uh, get a little status report on, on how he's doing there. <laughs> Godspeed. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I had a, a poker game over my house on Friday. I'm Mr. Yeah, sure, sure, yeah, sure. Because my brother was like, hey, uh, how about we get a poker game together at your house? And I'll call up, up some of the guys that have been over your house before for poker games. I'm like, okay, that's not a problem. Well, Joe called them, and I guess they called people, too. And uh, I had a house full of people on Friday. I was expecting a few people for a poker game. It was packed. Packed house. Any girls? Mm, like girlfriends and wives of some of the players. Yeah, yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? But it, 
But it was just a mob, and people I just had no clue who they were. In your house? Yeah. Oh, I can never that. scary. But you have like an open, that's your open invite thing. Well, like you yeah, maybe it's an that open did. invite. Well, I say open invite to the people I know. Oh. But then they plus one the shit out of me. I oh, guess, I see. You know? And then well, the plus ones, now the next time, they're like, why well, was there last time? I was there. I'm now good. Now I'm the guest. Now I'm in. I'm in. So, uh, no, nothing missing. It was actually good. They were all they were all pretty good. But that's also why, you know, especially for the beginning of it, you just got it. That's why you walk around with the gun <laughs> on your hip. That way, the second they come in, it's like, hey, nice to meet you. And they're in your house. It's like, all right, now maybe they won't case the joint because they know this might be a problem yeah. if they come in and try to do any shenanigans. You know, it's just my way of telling them, hi, you're welcome, but touch anything and I'll shoot you. Yeah. Yeah, the American way. And uh, yeah, this so was a, 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 a fucking uh, mob scene, and uh, I uh, I lost. I didn't win. You some, did. Some girl took took me out of the game. Did you know who she was? I don't think so. So she t came into your house and did take all your money. <laughs> yeah, well, but she just had permission. Got, she had permission. Yeah, she's playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> but I got so fucking uh, snotted. I was uh, I was drinking a lot of uh, vodka. And uh, I wound up waking up. I, first of all, I, don't, I didn't even go to bed until the next morning. Last thing I really have a fond memory of is uh, sitting on the couch with like-minded drunks laughing our asses off at the Honeymooners. <laughs> I saw your tweet about to watch the greatest show ever. Yeah. And I knew what it would be, but it was a picture of the Honeymooners. Yeah, yeah, that, that was it. <laughs> I had a feeling you weren't just waking up. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. think Anna, is, this is not bef the before the jog show. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. And then, um, yeah, also that night was like a jacuzzi. The jacuzzi got fired up for the first time in uh, in a while because it's been kind of cold. It was kind of cold. Well, not cold enough, my friend. The latter uh, half of October. Oh, it doesn't matter. Jacuzzi got fired <laughs> up. <laughs> All in the jacuzzi. Why not? And then, uh, and then I woke up the next uh, day. I woke up. But I stayed in bed, and I just kind of on and off slept through. See, that's something, Jimmy, you can't even appreciate. I feel sorry for you in a way. You don't know what it's like to wake up with a throbbing headache, uh, the feeling that you're going to vomit, uh, not being able to eat, and just praying for more sleep. I, I knew that feeling, and then I moved my mirror away from the bed, and I, find, <laughs> and I now feel it in the, when I'm brushing my teeth. <laughs> it was, yeah. It, it, oh, it, was, uh, it was bad. It was a very bad hangover. And uh, I wound up getting out of bed at about 9 p.m. Wow. 9 p.m. I decided it's time to get out of bed. Did you puke? No, no, it was pretty good because uh, I stayed in bed. And then it was that on again, off again, just losing time through sleep, like a fucking UFO took me away. Mm -hmm. And I'm just looking, it's like, okay, it's, it's like uh, 11 a.m. And then all of a sudden, hey, it's, it's 2 p.m., like 3.30. You're just kind of up and asleep, writhing around in your own sweat and your booze sweat. And uh, yeah, yeah, then 9 o'clock, I was like, all right, I think I'm ready to face the day. <laughs> what do you do when you get up and you feel like that? Like, what's the first, will you eat crackers or something or have some ginger ale? Oh, no, I was, uh, I was, uh, nice cold water, a little soup. Yeah, that's good. Something like that. And, uh, and then like grapes, something wet and cold, <laughs> like my fucking forehead. <laughs> do you ever think to yourself, I just w wasted, I lost my Saturday. Like, don't you ever miss? You know what, though? Having twice as much fun Friday, half as much fun Saturday. I understand. It evens it out. It balances it out. It totally balances itself out. So if you have a wonderful Friday night, you're okay losing Saturday. I didn't mind at all. It, oh. was, a, it was a fun Friday night. Yeah. Drinking shenanigans, poker, big party, fucking uh, jacuzzi, shit like that. And then uh, Saturday, eh, from 9... P.M. till about, I guess, 5 a.m. I stayed awake. Watched some movies and stuff. Oh, okay. It was cool. It was chill. Yeah, it was totally chill. I liked it. I threw one party when I was in college. Woo! That's it. And I locked uh, all. We locked all our extra toilet paper and food into our bedroom so nobody took it. Is that what you were worried about? And then nobody showed up anyway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. What are you, an intern? Mary Tyler Moore? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were playing video games, waiting for people to come, and then we realized it was like 1 o'clock in the morning. We're like, I don't think anybody's going to come to this Oh, thing. no one showed up. Yeah, but we didn't do a very good job of inviting people oh. either. We were very lazy. What, did you just think it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no yeah. one showed up? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened to that intern? Which, the, 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 remember the guy? Yeah. What? 
He threw his party. Oh, and... pool party Rob? Yeah. Pool party Rob. He's a good dude. You know <laughs> He, his, la- his internship ended. I didn't know that. And then, but his last week, he had invited Opie to do that golfing thing. Right. Opie told me this weekend he never invited Opie golfing. No, he never called him. He blew I remember him off. that. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a while ago, and he never called him. Never and just disappeared. I guess he hasn't had touch, been in touch with anybody, huh? No. He left this internship running. Right. Tail between legs. Why? That was funny, but he was memorable. I mean, I, didn't, oh. I haven't thought of him in, in, since then, but I mean, he was, uh, it was an event. It was something. Yeah. It I was, guess. Uh, but it, yeah. I, he's probably not used to, because we, he was a liar, and we totally, <laughs> yeah. we were obviously the only people that have ever kind of questioned him. Exposed him. Especially to that level, because we talked to him for like two hours straight until, because that's when it started getting weird. Yeah. And I don't think he's ever been questioned on that level with, with the things that he presents right. as facts. He wasn't questioned. That was an interrogation yeah. that is uh, second to only uh, professional uh, police officers. Yeah. Uh, this guy was exposed, and I don't think he liked that at all. That's yeah. why I think he went running, because he's probably got a lot of lies he didn't want that, he's, exposed. that he's built over the years. Knew the longer he spent here, the more we were going to just fucking, I was going to say it, but... Chisel away at it, let's That's say. That's exactly right. Chisel away at his That's lies. <laughs> yes. That's exactly right. But he's just not <laughs> used <that>? to... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Being so exposed. Yeah, yeah. That's How long ago did he leave? I forgot. He was a summer guy. He was probably gone end of August. Yeah. He went back to summer. school in Pennsylvania, unless he was lying about that. I'll meet yeah. guys sometimes. I met someone recently who was driving. And I used a car service somewhere. He goes, oh, yeah, I interned for you, but I didn't remember him. Oh. That's every intern. Was it Joe? I don't remember. I know he, he drives. I don't oh, remember that. Right. He's a nice dude. Yes, very, he, was, he was very good. Don't if remember their names. Who I'm thinking don't about. remember their faces. Don't no. remember what they did or didn't do. No. I don't care. Even we don't. And, and we don't spend, care. you know. And you have to deal with them. Yeah. It, yeah, every day. Like, we'll, we'll go back sometimes. Yeah. Like, hey, you remember this guy? And I'll be like, I have no idea who you're talking about. Yeah. But that's, yeah, because there's, like there's a handful that we remember. But even, like, Rob, who had that like two hour bit or whatever on the air like i never think i never remember him yeah like aside yeah. from you know david and cream pie jones <laughs> cream pie you know yeah. i don't really remember cream pie was yeah. great yeah. pat duffy pat, pat duffy, duffy of course yeah, pat paul duffy i remember for some memorable. reason with the he was with a head i don't know why i always remember him but i just do uh, he worked for us for a little while well, while he was here for yeah. a while that's why okay him i think of yeah but yeah yeah pat duffy cream pie and fucking uh, and david and david those are the top three that i mean unbeatable mm. Unbeatable. Cause exactly. Because you don't remember any of the normal ones. I'm still friendly with uh, with Rachel. You remember her? Our one female intern ever? Renee. Renee, I'm sorry. Renee. Yeah, Renee. Um, yeah she was here. Oh, was she? Not too long ago. Mm. Yeah. I think she's trying to get a job still. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nah. She'll always update me like once every few months. I'll hear from her. Yeah. I was up here looking for work. Or, like, okay. Like, okay. <laughs> still won't sleep with me? No. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Zero vibes. <laughs> Which is nice. <laughs> next, uh, next party uh, is um, Saturday. This coming Saturday. I've invited all of you people. I can't come. I'll be in Philly. Oh, man. It's a big uh, Halloween bash. What? Oh, is that Saturday? The big Halloween bash is Saturday. When is Halloween? East Side Dave will be attending. Uh-oh. So I think, uh, yeah, that should be a show in itself. Yeah. He said he texted me um, a, a thousand times over the weekend uh, telling me he's um, laying off drinking until the party. <laughs> just he's, he's going to save himself. So that when the party uh, is going on, he can just g- get completely trapped. I'm bummed. I'm missing your Halloween. I was just thinking, yes. I can't wait to go to Aunt's Halloween party. It's going to be a biggie, too. Uh, of There's course of it people, will. A lot of people showing up God for this one. God damn it. Oh, oh damn. Which, Jimmy, I like when Jimmy shows up. He showed up his Uncle Paul. That's what I was going to do this great. year. I was going to be Uncle oh, Paul. Oh, shaved the uh, top of your head. Yeah. He, Jimmy gets the horseshoe ball mm-hmm. head thing going and... Uncle Paul, and he just harasses the girls. It's wonderful. I love doing that. <laughs> Fuck, I can't cancel Philly. Oh, man. Are you going to do a costume? I don't know what I'm going to be. Mm-hmm. I don't have anything uh, anything figured out yet. I don't know. You going? Yeah. I mean, oh, I didn't know right. about it until just now, though. Oh, I've told everybody. Where have you been? I guess I wasn't in the room. I should have drawn up some invitations. Yeah. <laughs> Your mom Oof. could help you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Yuck. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, Carl, on line one, I wanted to talk about this. I got I got wind of this over the weekend. 
Hi, Carl. What's up? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm a fat, bloated attorney, but now I'm nothing more than a shriveled up, penniless, skinny piece of shit. Wow. All right. Right on the money. <laughs> An invitation. I read the article. The first thing I thought about was Anthony. I said, oh, good. This fat fuck, now he's got no money. I'm addicted to Vicodin. So I thought you'd get a little yeah. out of that. Yeah, he's trying, to, he's trying to get sympathy, I think. Good luck. I'm going to guess it's Dominic Barbara. Barbara. Yeah, okay. Dominic Barbara. Good. Uh, the attorney who represented my wife. <laughs> uh, he um, apparently is broke. Lost his houses. And is now staying with friends, and occasionally he was, uh, I guess, in the uh, Garden City Hotel uh, for a little while through f- friends and, and uh, former clients that gave him a little bit of money to stay there. But now he's staying probably with people friend. living, Yeah, former clients that are probably living off other people's fucking yeah, earnings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you, you might as well take some. I didn't earn this either. Yep. His, uh, he's been suspended as far as his uh, law practice Oh, really? Goes. Yeah. Oh, good. And they're looking into even more uh, charges against him for misappropriation of funds. And uh, good. I guess he's got a contempt charge against him also. He didn't pay attention to a restraining order against one of his wives. He contacted her. So they're looking into that. Uh, he had this big house out uh, on eastern Long Island, right by the water, and uh, it, it's in foreclosure, and they have pictures of it. It's just a mess. All of his shit's everywhere. There's like a coffee cup on the table with a B on it, Barbara, <laughs> and, and, and like all this shit there, this big... The B is for bum. <laughs> for bum. You are a bum. Oh, you got... Uh, you want to hear him talking about himself yes, in the third please, person? Please, uh, oh. let, before you play it, let me just say, from what I've gotten from the article... This guy wants it to sound like, you know, he found himself, he's apparently born again, oh. uh, and, and he realizes how stupid he was. Uh, but in the same article, the guy talks about how he popped in a video of when he was on TV and looked at it, like, longingly, and kind of, he's still a self-centered schmuck. Yeah, I mean, he wants I, to be famous. Yeah. I, I barely play this, I just previewed it just to make sure, like, it was the right clip, you know? Yeah. And he spoke for... I don't know, four seconds, and I was already like, this guy's a fucking asshole. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It says, Dominic Barbara, from brash to broke, sees comeback. Yeah, I'm uh... really looking just to be happy, to be able to enjoy. You know, Dominic never really was happy. Uh... <laughs> he had five uh... homes. But if you ever sat down to him and said, are you happy? He'd say, no, I was obese. I was so fat that I... Wore 62 hey, Rock, turn your mic off. I, and I'm soon, so I would have lost. Can you rewind totally. that? I just <laughs> laughed over it. <laughs> Was it, it by, by the way, folks, that's not E-Rock, that's Dominic. Uh, Dominic, uh, still, still chatting. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> so I would have lost total 160 pounds. I invented something with a doctor, which is a supplement called Fat No More. I'm doing this to help people because I know how miserable I was at uh, 235 pounds. He's so full of shit. The, uh, addiction to food, spending, um, from wanting to kill myself. I want to uh. have a new life. I know how good I feel when I walk and how I feel about myself. And I want to give this to people. I want to give it to them. Unfortunately, it's not AIDS. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, he's, it's hard not to hate him because uh, just he's a divorce lawyer, and those guys just ah. are typically scummy. This guy got what is called a comeuppance. Yeah, uh, he he was um, what a what a prick. Yeah, this guy was uh, so condescending to everybody, in love with himself, with fame, and um, just would do anything to to hold on to it, and uh, j- not. Not an honorable man. Do you give yourself like a, a quick yes? Like every time there's something in the paper. Oh yes! <laughs> like I just saw... watching that video, you do something that just snaps in the back of your head. Yes. Yeah. I saw his uh, the pictures of his his house, uh, and I just I was like, I I just want to buy it. Dude. I just want to <laughs> buy it from the bank and just fucking. How much is it? Burn it down. I don't even know. It's in foreclosure. I, I you want to buy gotta... it and then just use every room as an open air toilet. <laughs> 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 he spent four million on a house, and he's just. Been, for the last spent th- three years piling up duty on the floor in every room. <laughs> oh, he's at like a like a east side of Detroit's house, uh, house yeah. where they just ditch bodies there. Yeah, you just, just have a big sign of this expressway bathroom. <laughs> yeah. 
Did everybody take dumps on the floor and tinkle? <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, terrible. Yeah. yeah it's Shelter understand. Island, is it? Yeah. Can you, like, somebody who makes their living busting people's balls yeah. and making sure that everything is in order, and if it's not, they try to take everything, to not be double-checking yourself. Did he lose uh, it yeah. in divorce? What uh, happened to him? Well, he a lot of his money went into d his own divorces. Uh, How many marriages? I think four. What an idiot. Something like four fucking marriages. But uh, also, he I guess he just blew through a lot of fucking money. He said he was driving Bentleys and parking them illegally because I just thought I could. I was, I was that kind of guy. I, uh, well, he is a real fool. He makes he a is. living making sure that people kind of live up to the consequences of their actions or whatever right. oh. and like every single consequence you could possibly imagine and he's like he is unaware that he's a person too yeah yeah he you know was what just I mean? you know what he 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 was on stern's show for forever is he still going on or no I get. He actually said he's he's going to try selling this fat no more <laughs> which by the way I thought he had a fucking lap band put in and didn't lose the weight with fucking uh, drugs, but did he? Anyway, wow, that's what I heard. Oh, uh, and and then he's talking about how he's going to sell this fucking amphetamine, <laughs> and uh, and uh, that his friend Howard's going to let him promote it on his show. Uh -huh. Really? Don't we have? Didn't we have a problem when comedians wanted to talk about their gigs on the show at one point without them, you know, getting paid for it? Dominic's just going to come in and start doing uh, commercials for his. Fat no more product. It's a different universe. <laughs> yeah, it certainly is. He still thinks he's not on the same level as people. Yes, like that's why he's, he's all full of he's full of shit when he says, you know, oh, I, I hit bottom and I realize now what an ass I was. You know, like when he said Dominic was never happy. <laughs> uh, anybody that talks about themselves, Jim hates uh, that. Jimmy really likes you. Yeah. Yeah, but see, when Jim does it, it's it's actually one of his other personalities talking, yeah, so it's exactly. valid. Chippa. <laughs> Jerry doesn't like that. <laughs> Jerry who? I don't want to oh, say it. Right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he really is a tool, this guy. Yeah, I. Uh, and it's so hard not to revel in someone's um, misfortune when they've been such an insufferable prick. But do you try? Uh... Do you actually try not to revel in it? You know what the answer would be? Uh, no, I don't even try. <laughs> right, so that's why it's difficult, because but, you enjoy it. But, dude, I'm reveling in it, and it's, it's just yeah. for you. Like I, He didn't do anything to me, and I'm happy to see him suffer because he was fucking shitty to you. As person A looking at person B going through shit, there's a part of you that doesn't want to revel in it because there but for the grace of God go I, as they say. Sure. But... As uh, Anthony Cumia looking at Dominic Barbara, uh, I can't help but um, just hope it gets oh so much worse for him because uh, he, he's fucking. It's like I like so I like to see him, you know, in, in his little failures like this because mm -hmm. of what happened with you guys. But at the same time, it's more it's more so like the not the divorce, but that the fact that he came up to you afterwards and tried to be nice. Oh yeah, and, like that was the part that bugged me more so than like rep like. You know, if he's representing your ex-wife or whatever, that's just he's doing Business. his job or whatever. But to come up after the fact, but uh, uh, that to was me, yeah, that was like holy fuck, what an asshole! To me, it transcended just strictly <laughs> business. The guy took took pleasure in taunting the people that um, he was up against. And uh, with me, it was every time I was in the court building, he would show up and just be like, "Anthony, hey, how are you? Hey, like it was a, and, and it." He knew what he was doing. Yeah, I remember there was some. This like, isn't fucking. There was some running in Atlantic City. Atlantic yeah, yeah, City, yeah. too. I was eating at one of the restaurants there or some shit, and he was walking by and he goes, Hey, how you doing? What's going on? I was just like, Dominic, I'm eating. Could you, could you fucking? Just I just leave? don't understand how he expects your response to be pleasant. Like, and he's like, Oh, <laughs> what's the matter? What's the, what's the matter? Or lots it, of money. Is he such a or or as a, are divorce attorneys just such vultures that to them it's nothing personal. Like, to them, is it like uh, almost like the way radio guys look at a market? Like, mm -hmm. hey, you were on in the afternoons in Philly, now we're in the afternoon and you're in the morning. Like, it's not personal. Yeah, I, I That's oh, how boy. I think lawyers can be such fucking vultures because they can look at it like that. Uh, for Psychotic. Them, for them to not know that the layman uh, cannot stand you yeah. is a little, you know, a little out there. But yeah. no, he, he, it was a tactic of his. Oh, it was. Yeah, he knew it was just an awful fucking, like, fuck you thing to do. 
in the court, he'd always be like, yeah, do, do an impression of me. Go ahead. And then he'd turn to other people. Listen to this. Li uh, I'd be, I'd would be you like, do I'm it? Not, no. I'd be like, I'm not a performing seal here for you, Dominic. Yeah. Well, he's Get to the fucking point. I mean, he's sociopathic. Any lawyer, if you're a lawyer, and a lot of lawyers are like that, but any lawyer who doesn't think that their actions have consequences. Yeah. But yeah. that you're, you're a lawyer. Yeah. Of course. You know consequences of actions. Exactly. I mean, he knew the the case as good as anyone, uh, as far as my wife, wh what what she did or didn't have to do with my career. Uh, and instead of, you know, and, and I know it's his job to do that. I'm not that stupid. I know it's his job. But then don't turn around like you're just doing your job to me. Yeah, yeah I know you, you knew that she didn't have anything to do with where I ended up in radio, yet you preach the fact that she should be a partner in this and you know uh, and i was just like you're a fucking prick you're lying about uh the impact she had on on my career and it's costing me a lot of fucking money and uh he made a lot of money from it they have the ability and it's like they're, they are just doing their jobs but this is what why they're hateable lawyers because mm. they have the ability to turn off or to ignore that part of them where they know something is garbage or dishonest. Right. And, and it's like, you know, much more serious case. You look at the prosecutor right. and how, when a case, when they deep down know in their guts, wow, this was a bad conviction, they still fight it when because they, they don't want to lose evidence. the conviction. When they want to block evidence that's obvious and it will exonerate somebody and they don't and they try their best to keep it out. Why would you do that? Isn't isn't the the uh, job supposed to be to find the truth? I know that's kind of no, but silly, is. but uh, but yeah, to to then fight to keep that out, it's a scumbaggy thing to do. There was a, there was a guy who's uh, this is off the subject, but it's kind of about being going to jail. Did you read the one? This guy turned himself in um, for he licked the vagina of a four month old baby. Like he was watching porn. Jesus. Oh. I got Twitter this. He, he was like 25, this guy. And he turned himself in in like Kansas city. I think it was. And, uh, he got life in prison. Wow. Which I was, uh, I thought that was kind of harsh. Cause he turned himself in. Why, why did he turn himself? I in? don't know. I don't know. Because he's oh. dumb. <laughs> but I no, knew, I, I knew that was coming. That's not to do with lawyers, really. Uh, but this wow. guy turned himself in. And he just, it's not like he fucked the kid, which Jesus. I don't mean to differentiate between, but I mean, you know. He was watching I porno and. <laughs> I, 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 what motivation to do that? Something. I don't know. There's something deep and psychological. Oh, but doesn't God. that kind of. Isn't that kind of a deterrent from other people? Eh, maybe not, because if you oh, confess you murder, you go to jail for murder. Well, you yeah, know what? If you, if you confess rape, you go to jail for rape. Eh, yeah. That's true. What a, what a dunce. <laughs> what a ghoul. <laughs> wow, that yeah. is bad. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, lawyers and people, especially like Dominic, I had first-hand contact with like that. Yeah. Uh, and he, he was always more interested in what he was doing outside of the law firm. He'd be talking to the judge and other attorneys about his TV show that he, he had going on and his appearances on radio and, and all that shit. And meanwhile, you know, my fucking life is, is hanging in the balance he, as far as, uh, you know, finance is going. He's sitting in a courtroom with zero empathy for you to the point where he's taking your money and then asking you to do impressions. Yes. And then now he's putting out videos where it's like, don't you people care whether or not I'm happy? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you're going like, to sit there and be like, oh, I hope Dominic is... Feeling happy. How insane is that? Just a narcissist. That's all. Yeah, Just yeah. a typical fucking nar narcissist. He honestly thinks people will watch that and go like, "Ah, he wasn't yeah. happy." I'm sorry to hear oh, that. Oh man, he really needs to be happy. He's done so much for people. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> well, he's suffering. Yes, he's and you suffering. Think, you think he'd have ironclad fucking prenups? Oh no, of he's course. constantly <laughs> and he's about to get married again. Yeah, yeah, he's really? got another fiance. What a dummy. <laughs> who um and talk, about, him. talk about somebody who doesn't understand consequences, right? Oh. You're going to get married for the fourth time. What's wrong with you? Keeps repeating the same mistake over and over again. I remember his last I'm pretty sure it was his last wife, if it wasn't the one before that, but his last wife was his law firm like worked at his law firm whether she was a partner or not, but she, I remember when she used to come wheeling in with the the little fucking hand truck full of those lawyer cardboard file boxes stacked up, and it was my fucking case. 
and they'd come wheeling in, and I, every box I'm looking at, I'm thinking, how much fucking money that shit cost me? Yeah. <laughs> because, like, that, I was paying for all that shit. All that shit. Here, could you fuck me, and I'll buy the dildo. <laughs> That's pretty much what the fuck it was. How, how do you justify that? I'll, I'll pay for a fresh one each time. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll bet you half of those boxes have nonsense in them. I think they're like, and I'll yeah, bet you it's empty. an intimidation thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like sometimes when profilers what say. want to ca catch a serial killer, they line up evidence in the room when they sit him down. They, can yeah. they have such a mountain of images and stuff that it just overwhelms them. And I bet you that that's what that is. My sister used to have to do some shit at work. She'd, uh, she was in retail and stuff. And uh, she would bust the people for stealing on the job and have to confront them. And she would have a folder with papers in it. And she'd sit him down and talk and put the folder on the table. And, and when she talked about uh, what they did and uh, how, how they got caught, she would tap on the folder like, like the info's right here without saying the info's right here. But the people would look at the folder and think, this, God, there's a mountain of evidence against me. There must have been. What evidence could there be if it just happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was uh, like the cases that would build up. Not just like I caught you shoplifting. It was like loss prevention where they'd have cameras and oh, they, they'd oh, oh, have like okay. receipts and evidence and then finally confront the person after they put a little case together. But, but they would actually have a case together, wouldn't they? Uh, yeah, but sometimes they wouldn't have that evidence they would need or, or uh, that much evidence. Uh, they knew something was amiss. But then Donna would just go in there with a the dumb folder. Her empty folder. And, of course, I would goof on her about the empty folder. <laughs> <laughs> Call it stupid, but I guess she caught people with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, those, those boxes probably were fucking empty. Yeah. Half of them. Intimidate. And then my lawyer, what a prize he was. He'd come in with, like, like I used to come into fucking history class. You got a pencil and paper? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. <laughs> oh, my He's discount good. lawyer. <laughs> Oh, you to, God. You have to rip them out of page. The spiral notebook things are still on the side of it because yeah, you yeah. ripped them out of page from your notebook. Uh, what is this? Oh, <laughs> Who was Dominic sorry. an hour? Oh, I Back in 2000 or whatever it was. It was, it was him, his fucking paralegals would make a certain amount, his uh, assistants would make a certain amount. It was terrible. Oh, look at Did you pay more than 40000 for her lawyer? Do you think total? Uh, <laughs> oh, really? Oh, no. More oh, importantly, no. who is more expensive? The, her lawyer that you paid for or your personal attorney? I paid so much more to have her lawyer fuck oh, me oh. than I paid to stop being fucked. Oh. Yes. That I, was a terrible investment. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that was the wrong way to use money. Why'd investment. you get her a good lawyer? And what's wrong with you? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There should, I, I don't understand how that works. You definitely should have traded lawyers at some point if you're paying for both of them. I immediately, the second this thing was even conceived of, the first thing they did in court was decide how much I had to give her every month, how much I just had to give her. Uh, and that was a figure, a dollar amount, which was a lot. And above and beyond that, I still had to pay for her lawyer. Like, shouldn't it come out now she's making, that's her income. She should have to spend that on her lawyer. Her lawyer. But now I got to pay also the lawyer. It doesn't make sense how at did, all. How did, how did, could you have fought that? I mean, it would have cost you more to fight of it, though. Of course I could have fought it until it went to trial and everything. It, it went so long, and it was taking up so much of my time, energy, sanity, health, and money that I just decided I have to stop this and settle out. How happy were you that you had faked orgasms and not had any kids? Oh! <laughs> Genius. I loved it that I never had that child she wanted to owe so bad. You would have owed a lot more money in oh everything the kid needed. I'd still be like with when, her at some point. When did she want the kid? Like what? What year? Early nineties. So that kid would be twenty. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> You'd see her at all the events though, like everything that was mother the graduations, oh. the fucking wedding someday. Oh, uh, I would have to fucking forever. actually have an interaction. Yeah. Oh, You'd be talking with... to your kid, and he'd be like, "Oh, mom was saying that." Yeah, hey, Dad, oh. could you help mom out? Or, yeah. you know, oh no! Would you have it like every other weekend? Like that's going to affect oh. compound parties and I stuff. I would have and... to do that. <laughs> he'd be like, "How come mom is so mad at you for blah blah blah?" And you'd be still. Still dealing with it. Uh, yeah, see, look, I said, the, uh, yeah, Fishman's right. The kid would be at my fucking house all the time. Yeah. I want to go to this Don, Donnie Darko universe and check this out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it would be, be funny. would have been like, oh, that would stink. Yeah, hey, Dad, hey, Ma, how come Dad always says, refers to you as the cunt when he was, when he was H? <laughs> Mama, what's a cunt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'd be, oh yeah. Well, I could hear the stories like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, oh, so how's how's your mother doing? Yeah, uh, well, she came in last night. It was pretty loud. It was kind of bumping into things. Uh, Do you ever think uh, that if uh, you didn't get divorced and this radio thing didn't happen, you would just be uh, the parents from Natural Born Killers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I'm going to come up there later to see how clean you are. Uh, oh, Rodney. That was a great Rodney role. Yeah. That was amazing. Go I upstairs and get clean oh. for Daddy. It was I, so creepy. Oh, that was really bad. Was I don't know what I'd be doing. Uh, it would suck, though. It would have sucked to have to still have been, have any contact with that woman whatsoever. Whatsoever. I've, I've just heard little inklings in the past fucking forever that, let me know, like, kind of what she's doing at a moment's notice. Last thing I heard was someone said, yeah, I saw her coming out of a bar and hopping on the back of some biker's bike and speeding off. I'm like, and great, that's did all. Did you I immediately mean. put your fingers in your ears and start going, la, 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 la. No, Were you jealous? Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's my girl. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing, huh? My aunt went home and beat off to it like a yeah. couple. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. If I beat off to the idea of the bike getting hit by a tractor trailer. <laughs> Uh, just, uh, uh, just awful. I can't believe though that you had that you had to pay that much money, and there weren't even any kids. No kids. No house. There wasn't no, even. No, there was no property. There was nothing but Dominic Barbara wow. saying that I had future potential earnings of millions upon millions of dollars. It's a terrible scenario to receive a nice compliment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. It was so bad sitting there and hearing him just going off about what she did and how she nurtured my career. Just how that did, but and, she could take that money and not have to pay you back that 40 grand or whatever it was. Oh, uh, like, yeah, yeah. How yeah. do people get away with that? You're right. It's all a fucking, it's a system. It's A and yep. B and C, and there's no. You thought it was going to be all like arguing real points, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. The, the best the man delusion. Win. The delusions you have because of television of what it's supposed to be. Like, like, oh, they, they argue about it, and I, I'm like, I, I know this. It's great. I, uh, the divorce proceedings started before I signed a big contract. I was making uh, okay money at WNEW, but nowhere near with the next contract I had signed. So she wasn't even with me during the time I signed that contract. But they, they pushed this future potential earning shit at me. And how that's an, uh, that is an equity... Just as property is and everything else, that's a, a thing. That's a, a, a marital asset that they can split up. The idea that perhaps it's like, and in radio, stop it. It could be over in a second by saying fucking, you know, the, 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 go have sex in a church. But why do they say that potential earnings is guaranteed earnings? Exactly. That was, that was my lawyer's argument. If <laughs> maybe he brought the paper with him that set it on it. You should have sabotaged your career just to spite her. It uh, well, Aunt, you did get called out on cheating and went to a private room to settle. Well, that did kind of happen. My first fucking five minutes on the stand during the beginning of the whole thing, I was just like, "All right, this is it. I've had it. <laughs> a settle, settle. Let's really? talk." Like, even though, like, in that situation, mm. the fact that she was involved with it for a while, I know. I think I think that would bode well for you. The worst part, though, was the fa the, the the postponements. And Dominic, what he would do is we'd set a court date. I'd have to like whatever drop everything to be there, and I'd go there, and then he'd walk up and postpone it for another three months. And then I'd be, I'd be like, I thought today was going to be like we can start and things are going to get going, and just wore me down. They do that's why they do it. It went years, and 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 then my dumb lawyer trying to go to the judge and just say, look, what the fuck are you doing? Get let's get this shit moving. Oh well, well things happen. And they they just most of it wasn't even arguing the case or the marriage or anything. It was just arguing like when we would come back, under what circumstances. Who had to be? The, it was. It had nothing to do with the the actual meat of the whole thing, and years were going by, and I was just spending so much money for her lawyer, my lawyer, all this bullshit, 
that I f- finally, when I hit the stand, and he was like, what, what's the date of your anniversary? And I was like, ah, oh, well, I don't know. It was March 19th. And it was like, oh, it was May 19th. It's like, oh, March was Swallow's Day in Capistrano. Of course. It was a much more important day than my <laughs> fucking marriage. So, uh, and, and then he started bringing up other things. And I see the New York Post and Daily News are in the little gallery, and they're jotting stuff down. I'm just like, I've had it. So I took her into one of the fucking chat rooms there and, and told her, uh, you know, I, I want to settle this. Be realistic. But then you had a terrible lawyer, so it's like... Exactly. So the settlement was even a fucking yeah, disaster. Whatever, whatever they want. How, how long well. after that did you settle? When you brought her into that room, how long did it take? God, another fucking couple of months. Oh, really? To settle it? Terrible, yes, because they just kept trying to did get it? more. Do you know what my lawyer's big win was for me? What? That if I died, I still didn't have to pay her. They wanted <laughs> that. They wanted it in a settlement that said if I died, my estate would still have to pay her out. So your lawyer goes to you, don't worry, though. If you die... I'm on this. Don't good. worry. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're good. You're I'm good. I'm on this. <laughs> you're good. You're Thanks. right, though, about the movies and everything. Because I assume uh, that literally you leave the courtroom and you go into the room to settle. And then that's the last day. You're done. No. That day you settle. Nope. They go, oh, we're going to settle. And then uh, there's some kind of agreement to settle. Uh, and then you, you go through all the shit. That What, what do you want? As far as the settlement goes, because it's not just money. There's other shit if, uh, as far as... And then there was like, uh, what what you can talk about, what you can't talk about, what this, disparaging remarks, this, that, all kinds of horse shit. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, you're done with it. Oh, am I done with it? You're <laughs> done with it, and they're both broke. That's why. <laughs> how, how great is that, though? All you're doing is ah. fucking living in a great house in a jacuzzi. There's always fucking yeah. broads in it. I revel. Fast forward. It's the end of October, and you're in a jacuzzi with chicks. Oh. And Dominic Barbara is on is that Newsday. The yeah. City Hotel. Explaining that he wasn't happy. Dominic wasn't happy. No the more ex- fat pills or whatever yeah. the fuck it's called. Yeah. The ex is hopping on the back of the, some Hells Angels bike. Yeah. Oh, great. You're absolutely right. Okay. And you're All just right. sitting there playing poker. And that. <laughs> banging chicks. And- yeah. Yeah. That was terrible. Fucking waving that big cock around yeah. in every room in the house. <laughs> every room in that. Is that what I do? People tripping over it. Yeah. I love the co- I love the perception of my house. I remember one time I went to the aunt's house and I was like, why do you have that fucking 50 cal on the table? It was just this big cock <laughs> laying there in between the hors d'oeuvres. People didn't even notice it after I a while. I, I wish I remembered that. Yeah. yeah you were drinking. <laughs> oh, well, that explains it. <laughs> Uh, you want to eat something? Yeah. yeah. How I'm about so my bummed. I'm yeah. missing your fucking Halloween party. I, I want you to go. It's terrible. Yeah. It's going to be a big one. Fuck. Just like your penis. Right. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday's actually Halloween? Uh, Not this Wednesday. Yeah, next Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. You're doing it I like doing the before because after Halloween... You can't have a Halloween party. It's a rip-off. It's like having a Christmas party on New Year's. Who it, the you're done. Do it's like once it's done and there's no anticipation to it, Right. It's silly, so you got to have it the weekend before Halloween. Plus, it's November. You go to a Halloween party in November. Yeah, what, now it's Thanksgiving? It's Thanksgiving. You start thinking turkey. Like, I like to right. put the turkey things up Aww. the day after Halloween. The skeletons Aww. and the goblins come down, uh, and the turkey, turkey goes up. up. The turkey comes <laughs> up. And yeah. yeah, sure. The cornucopia I put out. What's that? That's that little horn with all the stuff falling out of it. Yeah. Oh, is that what that's called? A cornucopia. Yeah, oh. yeah. The the the. I thought horn. it was a horn with pubes. <laughs> it's it's the horn of plenty. They call it. I don't know why, but as a kid, it always reminded me of vomit. Cornucopias. Yeah, cornucopias reminded me of vomit. Oh, it's uh, like a mouth throwing stuff. It kind of is, and but I'm talking like as a real little kid, like six years old. That food hasn't when been I digested. Saw it, it just reminded me of vomit. But that, sometimes your vomit isn't digested. And that's true. What an awful basket! Like the, the thing, the impl- implication is someone brought a basket over and just put it down, and all the shit fell out of it. <laughs> but that stuff won't even fit in the basket. No. Like so, how do they get it into the house? That basket is so full. It's full, and it's stupid stuff. Like you could eat the grapes right there, but we can take a bite into the gourd. <laughs> it's Gourds. like, oh, and then that that stupid. Corn that like you it's can't dry. eat. Yeah. Just yeah. hang it on your door. The fuck is that shit? Yeah, horn of plenty stinks. Horn of plenty. <laughs> horn of plenty. Cornucopia. I've I never that heard means. that. Yeah, I, I remember that as a kid. Oh, it's a big fucking mouth vomiting. 
All right. All right. Well, uh, take a uh, uh, take a break. Uh, yeah. Break and uh, get some neat. And by the way, at uh, at the Colin at the uh, Bob Kelly uh, Joe DeRosa show that oh, I went yes. to cheat show. Um, I heard Colin. I didn't hear it, but Colin Quinn because I guess Bob and DeRosa did a thing before on on stage. And Colin Quinn said they were King Kong Bundy and Rachel Maddow. <laughs> the fucking greatest description of two idiots I've ever heard. Oh, that's fucking great. I'm like, oh, God, that must have fucking slayed. Yes. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> Colin's great. I think Joe's popping in. Yeah, that's made me uh, think of He'll be popping in. Well, do we have any Jocktober today, you think? I'm um, working on something, so Jocktober's oh, okay. taking a bit of a hiatus. Uh, Why? I got no problem. I got I no to, problem with that. There's a show I have to listen to for a few days in a row. Oh. Do we have some jingles? Yes, we can have some oh, new jingles. some jingles. It's getting a lot of E-Rock Army tweets over the weekend. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I noticed that. I, I got a lot of those. Yeah. E-Rock uh, Army nigga. Yeah, yeah. The uh, N-word in a it. whole bunch of them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll right. uh, take a break. We'll be uh, right back. Serious XM. The Opie and Anthony Show. There, there, there. Oh, let's see. Is it? Ah! Yeah! <laughs> now the big thing is see if you rock puts the full song on or just the loop. I like the full song. Who's this? Stabbing Westward? Did it? Yeah. I think it's Stabbing Westward, yeah. Stabbing Westward. Stabbing Westward, one of those 90s. Sounds like stabbing assholes, these queers. Ah, come oh, on. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, Joe DeRosa joining us to I, just I, insult, <laughs> insult my musical taste. I fit right into that 90s musical crutch. Where like, I, like, it just doesn't It doesn't even sound like 90s music. It's like, oh, that just sounds like a good rock and roll song. Yeah. Uh, and then everybody else has to be like, no, that's no, like yeah. incredibly dated music. That's really 90s. <laughs> what it's, are you going to do, that though? Is, that, yeah. Yeah. that just sounds like rock yeah. to me. This is just rocking. <laughs> It sounds like the a distorted good old vocal. Yeah, good old fashioned wholesome song. Doesn't yeah. everybody sing through a megaphone? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The megaphone sound on the vocals. That's uh, timeless, isn't it? Oh. That was big in the 90s like a lot of bands like where the singer you know, yeah, it was a special SDP song. Yeah, he'd pull out the megaphone. Here we yeah. go. Here comes Cracker Man. <laughs> I am smiling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Here's, uh, this is he does it in this another, one too. Yeah, yeah. Gotta get away, I gotta get away. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Stone Double Horn. Horn. Yeah, another bullhorn song. That was all big. Yeah, something about the music from the '90s, like everything from the '90s, all of a sudden just became like dated somewhere in the 2000s. That's what happens. Every, yeah, yeah, Same I thing know. as the 80s. Like. I understand, but you don't know exactly. <laughs> you don't know exactly when point, it happened. Yeah. I'm, I understand, <laughs> but you can't really pinpoint it when it all of a sudden, because I, I notice I'm watching like some 90s indie movies <clears throat> and it's like, yeah. this shit just ain't like all cool anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, I don't it's, think it's something that you could pinpoint. It's, it's, I think it's personally for everyone. Like I noticed it when, like, when I'd be driving around with like girlfriends and I'm rocking and they're just like what is this old man rocking out to and I'm like oh <laughs> shit this isn't cool anymore so you don't yeah. even personally it's, like hear it like you don't hear it yourself what like the, the age of it right no wow this is awesome I'll listen to this I, every day for the rest try, of my life try driving yeah. around with a 21 year old listening to the Ramones <laughs> <laughs> you've never seen a pussy dry up faster <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for this music to like come back to be retro, so it could be cool again. Because then I'm like, yeah, yeah. fuck it, all right, start double pilots. <laughs> it is though. It's like it's like when milk goes bad, though. You're like, <laughs> like it was good Tuesday. Fine. Well, when when did it go bad? When Wednesday? did it go bad? Yeah. And then some people can smell it and go, eh, it's still okay. Yeah. And drink it. <laughs> and other people, it's like, that's disgusting. It's fine for cereal. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if, it's kind of a... Yeah, if you like it too long, then you're like the dad that drinks it after the date. 
It's fine. What's the matter? <laughs> What's the matter with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't understand Gross. good stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wasted it. But what is it? What is what is 2000 to 2010? What's like, you know, 80s music, you know, 90s music. But what's what's that? You can't define a decade until enough of it goes yeah, by. Yeah. It's so hard to oh. do. Like, no one really knew the 80s looked silly with the fucking shoulder pads <laughs> and the wacky hair <laughs> and stuff until into the 90s. Right. Do you so, think that the last of rock, like what the period that you're trying to describe, like from 2000 to 2010, would you say like new new metal, you know, that kind of genre, like new metal and like pop rock, like so you want to be a rock superstar kind of shit? Was that what took over? Uh, I don't know. Auto tuning was, was, was very big. I think a lot of auto tuning. I think in the early 2000s, <clears throat> like the first decade of the 2000s is mainly like pop boy band bubblegum yeah. stuff. Well, I, think I, don't, that's, I was that, focusing more like on the rock but area, but yeah, you're right. That's, yeah. that's every decade. Like even you know you, you had fucking uh, what's some of the fucking uh, the, the new kids and shit yeah. the new kids yeah. on the block like sure. there's always Menudo. the boy bands Menudo <laughs> in the fucking eighties so like what's sure. the rock of the... like the rock shit what 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 like defines the music of Prob of the nineties was grunge right eighties yeah. was hair band. <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> Probably uh, rap rock. Then, Lincoln Park. Yeah, that's what, exactly what I was saying. That's still uh, like late 90s, though, man. You, I swear, you won't still. get a true you know? vision yeah. of what the 2000s were until well into like, like maybe 2014. Around there, you'll start realizing, hey, remember the fucking 2000s? Maybe, maybe it was with... the decade of the mashup. <clears throat> the not, mashup. Not, not, not the morning mashup. The no, actual, no, no, the actual song mashup. The morning they mashup. 40 <laughs> minutes <laughs> this year. <laughs> <laughs> you always reckon, yeah, maybe when you look back and you realize something's kind of douchey and feels old, that's, yeah. when, the, that's when it's defined. When you then go, you're oh. stuck on, right, right. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, the 2000s, the first 10 years were, it is mashup. Very, it's very like, there was a lot of like retro stuff. There was mm. like there was like the boy band comeback yeah. thing from the from the eighties again. Yeah, and then rock rap. Like, but also like Matchbox Twenty and all that stuff was very, that's uh, right. Limp, Limp Biscuit, Lincoln Park, yeah. Kid Rock. Right. Limp Biscuit was in the nineties too, though. That's considered more of a. I think Limp Biscuit was set, but it was such the late nineties, and then it bled over into the early two thousands. Yeah, I definitely think that that's going to be like a first decade two thousands. Okay. I I know. I think I know what this era is. It's just one of those oh, these guys are the fucking worst. <laughs> they were awesome for a second. Yeah. Yeah. They were awesome for a second. I, they were for a second. For a second, they were like, like, yes. they were like, like wow. Limp Bizkit was like, holy shit, this is an awesome band. You're and right. then it was like, you when know did what? Fred Durst become a tool? Was it when his naked dick pictures came out? No, it way before big? that. Oh, it was. Okay. I think it was when, it, when, when, when Nookie became like uh, this big hit. It's you know, he did it all for that, though. Yeah, so you could uh, take the cookie. Yeah. <laughs> I did it all for yeah. Nookie? What, how's that go? I don't the remember nookie. that one. The nookie. That was the, I think that was the I turning I did it all point. for the Nookie! That, he doesn't say that. Yes! Yeah. Oh, That's the hook. Come on, that's the big hook. So you could this take is, that cookie. This is probably the biggest song they have. It's digging up your head! Come on. Oh, God. I saw these guys get booed off stage in Philly. Really? <laughs> yeah, they opened up for Faith No More, they got booed off stage. Damn! They were opening up for Faith No More. Before anybody knew who they were, and he goes, Ow. they got booed before, Ow. like before they were famous. Ow. Nobody knew who they were, and uh, Roddy Bottom, the, the keyboard player for Faith and War, is gay, and uh, everybody was booing Limp Bizkit because they were like, "You guys, this sucks! Like, what the, <laughs> this fucking sucks!" Uh. And uh, th three songs in, Fred Durst goes, "Hey, I saw the gay rights table in the back of the room. I didn't invite you, dick sucking faggots, to my show." Oh, hey! And the whole audience booed them off stage. They smashed their equipment. And I was like, these guys are going nowhere. And then, uh, literally three months later, MTV band. Beach House. Yeah. One of those days is a yeah. good song. This is fucking horrendous. Like, you wait till the wait till the hook comes. <clears throat> this rap shit is stinks. I'm like, looking at this. This was like the rock rap Whoa. shit. Yeah. yeah. This was huge. Eminem's the only one that can do it without being a fucking. But he's just rap. He's more rap. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. This rap rock rap where they it played their instruments and it was a rock fucking rock music, but the the vocal was rappy. Here it comes. <laughs> You ever heard of pirates? No, play. Uh, I probably shut my ears off. I do this thing when I, a song's on that I don't like. I fold my ears down and staple them. That's probably what I did when this was on. <laughs> did you ever hear their cover of Faith? No. By that George was, Michael. Did you that like was their that first one, single. Their first oh, big single. <laughs> <laughs> 
Can you play that? That's yeah, the fuck. Oh, Faith my God. made him famous. Yeah. It's the it's the worst. <laughs> Faith is such a great song. Yeah. And, I I loved and, it when when this song came out. I liked it. Come yeah, on, Sam. I did at first. At it was, first, it was different. Like, yeah. It was just like it was like, oh, they're covering Faith because I remembered it as a kid. And I'm like, how are you gonna make this fucking song rock? And, and then, then when they started kind of sort screaming, of yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Was, I mean, it, it didn't really. In hindsight, it didn't. didn't. Really <laughs> screaming on this but song. But for yeah. the time, it was like, all right, that rocks. It was awesome for a minute, for a second. So I far, so. this is okay. Oh, wait till the heavy part kicks in. <laughs> yeah, I liked it because it's got a rock. You know, I'm looking at the top ten songs from 2000 to 2009. Oh, okay. And you could really see a progression here. Oh yeah. Yeah, it, it totally goes from like the early 2000, like the first part of the decade was really like I'll call it like iPod rock, like uh -huh. indie rock, and like guys that were that For were sure. getting big, but oh, like yeah, Franz okay. Ferdinand oh, yeah. and fucking. Oh wait, hang on, we gotta wait for the hook here. Oh, here, hang on, here it is. Here it is. I'm showing you that door, rock. I'm in the mosh pit. <laughs> I'm in the pit. It's not fucking pit. It's okay, except for that screaming part. Yeah. I love this when it came out. When did this start? The same thing with, 2000s, right? Isn't that the same thing with rape? <laughs> I think they were uh, late, late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. But <laughs> Jimmy just said it's okay, except for that screaming part. <laughs> But see, Lincoln Park. Terrible. They still had a. They still had a top ten song in two thousand. Who did? So Lincoln Park. Oh yeah. So yeah, it, yeah. it did still carry over a bit. Oh, I never end. liked them either. Outcast. Who we got? Fucking. Yeah, but you Coldplay. see. But you got like you got bands like the White Stripes, the Strokes. These guys are making the top ten on, this... on the list. But then you start getting into the later half, and uh, you guys, you got like Amy Winehouse, Charles Barkley, uh, Justin Timberlake, Ti, Beyonce, I'm not Shakira, Barkley. and the only thing even <laughs> the only thing close. <laughs> To rock is like is Muse. Wow, then, look you at know, that! You're right. I mean, Red Hot Chili Peppers always gonna have a big song if they put an album out. So I don't even count that. <laughs> this decade, no, I, I, I really do. I the more I was thinking about, it, I think it is the indie rock decade because now, in the last four years, it's been a lot of like the computer rock yeah. stuff. In I the early, that. you know, uh, Kings of Leon. Okay. Mm. Yeah. You know that sort of thing was really uh, yeah yeah yeah. Was like yeah, that exactly. sort of that stuff right. was all really big. Yeah, that's true. I think that'll be the defining that stuff and the Beyonce stuff. Mm, mm. Cause, and I don't see any more like, like the indie rock thing. That, even that's coming to a crawl uh, because obviously it's not you know they're not really those kinds of songs aren't showing up in the top tens anymore. So I guess rock is just really seriously over now. Yeah, there's three oh, people yeah, now. It's all look at <laughs> the, the last year is like fucking Lady look Gaga is just like yeah. dominating the. I got the a list. feeling. Black Eyed Peas, Boom Boom Pow, Black Eyed Peas, Empire State of Mind, Jay Z, My Girls, Animal. I don't even know what that is actually. Animal Collective. While you wait for the others, Grizzly Bear, Sexy Bitch, David Guetta. Grizzly Bear's indie rock. Yeah, is that's, it? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, that's shows you what I'm huh. doing. <laughs> I don't know a lot of. That. I mean, I know the bands, but what yeah. about? The, I'm talking about the rock. The rock is still. Uh, they said it was dead. Like you always see, the rock is dead. It's every not, every group, every like decade, you hear like rock is not. Yeah. But then, like when you look back, you're like, oh yeah, that was just a weird. Well, it goes through little form. phases. Yeah. yeah, it's it's in a strange place, downturn right I, now. But it's not dead. And, no. and the heroes and the heroes of rock and roll right now are basically the kings of grunge from the nineties. Yeah. Just so, Dave yeah. Grohl and Dave Grohl, Green Day, Jack White. Yeah. I think what what always when they say the rock is dead thing, it's like, and it, this does seem to keep happening worse and worse every decade, even with the rap rock stuff. It's like the teeth just keep getting taken out of it. Like indie rock is still out there, but it's very like emotional and sort of pussified. That started happening in the late 90s with emo music oh, and like yeah, Dashboard Conventional and all shit. that stuff. And even with the rap rock, none of it really had any real teeth. Mm. It just sounded like a guy doing what he thought the idea of uh, tough was. Of him being an angry man. Meanwhile, it's like, yeah, you know. But, like, angry. you know, stuff like Metallica and, you know what I mean? Like, real, like, fucking, like, you know, Motorhead, stuff like that. Like, that there's that doesn't exist anymore. Like, the guy with the bottle of whiskey, yeah. chain smoking, I don't give a fuck, <laughs> I'm going to say whatever I want, fuck the Grammys, whatever. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. it, uh, I don't know. It just doesn't seem yeah, like there's any nuts to it anymore. It, that's either absolutely true or you're old. <laughs> oh boy! That's like, yeah. that, okay, that's pretty much. It's it. harder. It's harder. It's harder yeah, to you find. Can't criticize. You can't like 
make old music sound like this was great, <laughs> and now it doesn't have this without sounding old. You know, some music is old when you're fucking a girl, and I only fuck younger girls, and they're talking about well, you whether and they talk about I don't I know who that band is, and you're like, you really like, am I that much fucking older? Like that's how much music has changed. You talk uh, about someone from from '98 or whatever, they're like, no, I don't. I'm like '98 or whatever, you know, 2007. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, though? I don't think I don't think that's always a product of age, though. I think that's got a lot to do with the information, the information fucking influx that's going on right and now. And the fact that I sleep with girls with Down syndrome. That's probably... <laughs> that also they, contributes to it. It's not just the music. They don't understand anything. Yeah. They, <laughs> they, when, when, I, when I say, when they say, what song is that? I'm like, it's just people banging two pots together. And that's, it's not music. <laughs> My favorite song comes out of a music box. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but fucking people can't remember shit from ten fucking minutes ago. You know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. they don't remember yesterday, let alone. I meet comedians now, young comedians uh, that's that don't know who like George Carlin is and stuff. Wow, that's like, fucking weird. No, not it? young comedians. I swear to you. I swear to you, dude. I'm not lying. How long ago did Carlin die? Uh, 2008. 2008? Mm, 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 I mean, young comedians now mm. ago. Bob Newhart, who was. But Newhart, like, it's I a, can understand, be, mm. but only because he's not. Carlin was a, a prolific stand up until he died, and he's much mm. more of a legend in stand up than Newhart. Newhart's a TV legend, really. But wow, to not know Carlin as a comic. Yeah, that's something. Must be awful comics. But I think it's also just a, being a product of. You know, when you're looking at something brand new every five minutes for the last five fucking years, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. knowing stuff from 1970, whatever, or what, I mean, it's just, it's so fucking fleeting at this point. Yeah, but I never saw Mom's Mabley live, but I fucking know who she is. Like, I, <laughs> a Clockwork Orange was made when I was three, and I and I knew what it was when I was fucking 14. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but well. you didn't grow up, my point is you didn't grow up with the internet, though. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> It's a really weird thing. I had it. No one else did. It was a secret in your I, I would eat, I would say, I'm going online now. And he'd be like, what do you mean? I'd be like, you'll know. <laughs> nah, that's true. Yeah, I think it's because of the internet. Uh, maybe that's a big yeah. part. People learn and process stuff faster and get rid of it faster. It is uh, amazing when you think about what uh, you used to have to go through uh, before the internet. I mean, just not knowing things. Just not knowing it. And no way to get that information at all, unless like the library was open and you felt so inclined to go, yeah. like it was now like trivial information. You used to just wonder what it was. You wouldn't go to the library to find out who was in a certain movie or something. Now you just bah, it's easy, trivial. But you know what else too? You always blame the. Th it, you always are who you are, I guess. Too to contradict what I just said. <laughs> I always blame the, you know, I blame the internet now. I go, I fucking can't retain any goddamn information that's coming at me too fast. When the internet wasn't around, I would be like, I guess I'll never know that because I'm not <laughs> yeah. going to go to the library yeah, right I'm now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, so like, instead of knowing it, it's the same thing, but now you just don't know it. Like, that's what it would be. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah, didn't know that. Because if you yeah. wanted to, you could use the internet to look up all the information on these old you know, comedians or, or musicians or yeah. whatever. If yeah. you want, if you were so inclined to have that information. If you were so inclined, Sam. <laughs> but <laughs> if you had the inclination. Many yes. obviously do not. Many do not. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, friends uh, would have encyclopedias over their house, and sometimes you just grab one. You'd have to go over to their through. house to do a project because yeah. you didn't have a set of encyclopedias. they had encyclopedias. So they did. So you'd have to go over, hey, can I come over to your house and use your encyclopedias? Um, <laughs> let me see. Mesopotamia. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> You're missing M. Oh, yeah, M's got fuck. <laughs> or right at yeah. the beginnings of the internet when they would give you like a whole encyclopedia on a CD ROM. Well, I remember when my dad brought home <laughs> Encarta. And, yeah, Encarta. That and sucks I was like, so bad. oh, shit, oh, I got everything right here on a computer. What was that? Crazy. I remember that. Is it, it had like four discs, so you had to put in different discs for the right. letters, but it was an encyclopedia on CD ROM. So it was like ever, it was the first time all this information could be on your computer. That's if Obama standing next to Jimmy Carter. <laughs> Remember when you go to a library? Um, what did you call it? And Carter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was designed for Windows ninety five. I used it oh. on a Mac though. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ! On a Mac? What are you crazy? I never back had then? this thing. Yeah. I never had in Carter. Come on! Or would you be like? Got it easy. But it would be like. Uh, would you be like? We only. 
the encyclopedia. We, we only bought up to L. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then we defaulted on our fucking encyclopedias. <laughs> we didn't. Dad didn't pay. It was, it was like Columbia House. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they would. They'd send you yeah. like a certain amount of encyclopedias over time, and you'd have to pay for it. So. Yeah, you'd get to like fuck it. We never made it past the introductory A B. Oh God! And if you went, I to... knew everything about Ardfart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> apples. Yes. That's good. Why did I just take a funny word and then say apples? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking zilch. <laughs> we should get the D, and I can do double punchlines. Go to R for ruined jokes. Boo. Yeah, that's all. Have you guys seen what Windows Eight looks like yet? No, what does it look like? It's pretty terrible. <laughs> of course ask, it is. If you ask most people, Windows is horrid. What? Um, what's What's the deal with Windows? What's the deal with? They're trying. Oh, to, they're trying to make it look like a uh, like a tablet. It's actually it's, it was built for a tablet. Whoa! It looks Jesus. very cartoony. Fuck. Where'd it go? There we go. Is that it? Yeah, that's fucking. And they're just trying to make it look like apps and. Icons. Uh, yeah. They're trying to do the Mac thing because that's the yeah. format they have on the Windows Phone. That's how the well, Windows yes, Phone well, is that, set up. Yes, they want you. They want everything to look the same. So they want the phone. They want the consoles, and they want the uh, oh, desktop phone. Phone. to look the same. I just don't. Uh, I just can't. I don't like Windows anymore. I I, use I hate the ball of them. I, I, I mean, I, if I could just use Windows XP uh, forever and ever, I'll do that. XP was one of the best. It's, it's stable. It doesn't crash. Ever. I don't have problems. And it worked. XP. Can you just use that or no? Yeah, uh, but you know, sometimes you, sometimes you go, oh, I'm really falling behind the curve. Like I, I really feel like an old person because everybody's using all this new, all this new operating systems, and and here I am with my 10, 15 year old Windows XP. So then you go and try to upgrade to something new, and you try to work it, and you go, this really doesn't work. It, it works less than it used to work. And he's listening to Collective Soul on Windows XP. <laughs> yeah. <and plug-in. laughs> yes, but you know what? I uh, have become cumbersome. As, as the, you know what? And cumbersome rules. <laughs> yeah, of course. That and, song stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know cumbersome. You rock uh, with a C, sucks. not a K. <laughs> well, you know what? My PC won't crash. Yeah. <laughs> Windows XP. And I'm rocking really hard at the same yeah. time. Trying to figure out why his Napster won't connect. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Napster? I'm using Kaza. <laughs> oh, yeah. This song's okay. Yeah. See, this still just sounds like music to me. This is just rock. <laughs> it's just a good no, rock song. No, this is very dangerous. <laughs> you don't like this? I'm in the minority today. No, I never liked it. Because it sounded... It came out after Pearl Jam and Stone Temple Pilots, and it was another guy trying to sound Eddie Vedder-ish to me. So I didn't like it. Do you like Pearl Jam and Stone Temple Pilots? Yes. I don't. I like Pearl... You don't like Pearl Jam? No. Really? Detest them. Really? Yeah. And I, don't, I, I, I don't know. To my girl. Oh, I fucked up. Did it doesn't did get that. me. Stone Temple Pilots are like the first two albums I after that it's too. done. You don't like Stone Temple no. no. Who do you like from the 90s? You, you like Soundgarden? They're okay, but... Yeah, but are you biased with, with Stone Temple Pilots because you hate uh, What's-His-Face so much? Like, if you could just take the personal feelings away, could you get into it? I, I, I like a lot of the music from the 90s. I think the, the musicians uh, were good, mm-hmm. but I don't like a lot of the singing. Like, I just don't like that style. Yeah. I'm not saying that they stink. I just don't mm-hmm. like it. Like, uh... Nirvana kind of grew on me after uh, Opie actually it was fucking just so, forced Nirvana onto me, and I was like, yeah, there It was good. so nice, though, to get away from nothing but that high-pitched, girly, falsetto yeah. singing of the 80s. Right. Like, if you were in a cover band in the 80s, you were fucked if you couldn't sing that high. Right. You, you could just go, when, when the 90s rolled around and, uh, and um, you, you got some of the grunge bands that were coming out, it was like, oh, finally, I could go out there and sing fucking new songs. But just, <laughs> just that. And if your, vo- if your voice cracked, it was cool. Like, yeah, it wasn't it like, was oh, fine. I fucked up. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's playing Soundgarden song? I mean, I know them, but. Oh, my God. The whole 90s. Black just, Hole Sun was their big hit. I just didn't give a fuck about music in the 90s. I listened to fucking but, Sabbath on my cassette player going to do gigs. <laughs> Everybody else could fucking eat my ass. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> fucking. Jimmy just listening to a band from the yeah, 70s. Give me, give me a life, too. I'll put that on and fucking drive to this fucking college for 300 bucks. This is a crappy Soundgarden song. But it now. was the big hit. If but, Jimmy knows a song, it'll be this one. That's right. why I, We go through this I, I break decide. once every, say, three we, weeks. Yeah, yeah. Me yeah. Not, yeah, me not knowing certain <laughs> But I really don't know it. Oh, yeah, I've heard this. Yeah, you know this. I like that Jim, he skipped 90s rock. But then he decided it was time to start getting current with music when Lady Gaga and, yeah, yeah, you really <laughs> and her did. came out. I love her. And fucking Katy Perry. Yeah. I don't like Katy Perry. Oh, no? She's okay. You like her tits? Yeah. I like to lick them. <laughs> I saw John Mayer recently. I kissed his lips yeah. just to have gotten to her breasts. Oh. He fucking, he was railing some, uh, some uh, popular uh, women, wasn't he? 
Yeah. Yeah. And he fuck, uh, what's that name from Friends? Aniston. Jennifer right. Aniston? He's a fucking machine, the guy. Taylor oh. Swift. Taylor Swift? Did he date Taylor Swift? No way. Yes. He Shut was with the Taylor fuck Swift? Up. He's yes. got to be all cock because he's a big, tall guy. He's got to have a fuck. He's got to be packing nine. That's probably what it is. He probably ruins Hell. them. Jesus Jiminy Christ. Cricket. This motherfucker. Yeah. This motherfucker. John, John, May Kristen Stewart? Well, no, that, that, no, no, no. They, they were just saying that uh, they were at Katy Perry's birthday party. Oh, <laughs> but Katy Perry and John Mayer are an item. They're an item. Mm. Now they are? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know he's probably banging her better than fucking Russell did. Oh, you think so? Yeah, he's probably putting, like, that deep soul dick into her. <laughs> a fucking, a pained musical dicking, and he can't sing for a while because his throat's uh, healing. So he's probably taking it all out on her. <laughs> The best cocksmith in music, Whoa. I think, might be might have to be John Mayer. It's either John Mayer or the, or Adam Duritz. I don't know who. John yeah, Mayer Duritz. Is Duritz fucking... is a fucking. He's a he's who an animal. Who's he bang though? Who's George bang? He fucked like half of the girls from Friends, like in a row. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. And right when they broke, like right when it was like they were the it girls. What really? Song, what songs does he sing? Counting Crows. It's more emo. It's, it's, uh, it's very Mr. Light. Jones. Very Mr. Light stuff. Jones and uh, me. I hate that. Oh, that song is okay. I, I like that. I hated that band. <laughs> you know what else I hated? Another fucking Crows. Black Crows. Hate the Black Crows. No, you can't hate the Black Shut Crows. Up, yeah. la, 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 you la, can't la. hate the Black Crows. Hate They're the right Black up Crows. your fucking uh -huh. gun shooting They're alley. so not. Let me hear Black Crows. I, you down in I, I, I need a Rambo D. Shut up. <laughs> I hate the Black Crows. I, I want to so hear bad. that. What's the guy's name? Play Chris? the Black Crows. Who sings for them? Chris, uh... Yeah. No, Chris Robinson. Chris yeah. Robinson. He was banging out, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do I fucking hate this. Try to keep it over my head. It's some kind of... 70s-ish... sound. Trying to... Stones want to be a little bit. I like the Black Crows. I mean, some of the style, not all of it. But... Come on, man, you're not feeling this, man. No. And How is there two funny? bands with the word crows in it? Oh, there's plenty of those. <laughs> baby, baby, like a juicy steel. Uh, I like it. it. Sounds like Dylan. You don't like that he says window seal? See, he has a very effective voice on this thing. I don't think this is terrible. Uh, <laughs> it's MSNBC shit. Oh. I'm right. wearing Obama shirt. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this uh, music here. No. This is their cover of the Run Otis Redding song. No, it's a cover uh, of Hard This is like their first big hit. Oh, yeah. I've heard this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't know this. Was, well, who's that? Who's, whose music is that? I don't know. What's well, an Otis uh, Redding song? Yeah. Yeah. The, um... But they got better after these two albums. Amer America was their third album, and that was that's like their best album. And nobody, that's the one, that's when they became Thanks. cultish. This or is cult okay. Thanks. This is terrible. I didn't know this was them. You don't like that, Ant? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I'm sure how to handle that. That part makes me squirm a little bit, but, you know, I don't... Hate it. <laughs> it's better than Cumbersome. No, this is too... How does Cumbersome, cumbersome go? Cumbersome, bluesy-oriented. Did we hear that already? That was the one they were just playing. Play it again, though. It's pretty huh? sweet. We just listened to it. Oh, it's pretty God. sweet. Remember we this can from play it again. 15 minutes ago? Yeah, from ago. 15 minutes ago. Now we're doing the break every 15 this minutes. This is not familiar. Play, Iraq, play no. the shit part where he goes, Too wrong or too right, too <laughs> black or too oh, white. That's my favorite part. <laughs> the shit part, he calls it. <laughs> the shit part. <laughs> we just listened to this? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck was I doing? It's listen, every 90s song, by the way. You were listening so. to Sabbath in your head. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I was. You had the <laughs> cassette, cassette player. Yeah. Yeah. Cassette player, and everyone else could eat your ass. I'm hearing your Sweet Leaf right now. I don't know what you people are listening to. <laughs> Come on, this is good. Right? Okay, this is you like this? Damn it. I did. Oh yeah, scrape that cord, yeah. man. Uh, you fucking Oh, this creep. is collective soul. <laughs> <laughs> this is Seven Mary Three. Now Seven Mary Three. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Seven Mary Three, by the way, was uh, a reference from Chips. What's that? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Seven <laughs> Mary Three. Yes. Yeah, this, is, this is very. I think it was. Uh, I think it was Poncha's fucking call number. Or yeah, it was one of those. I used to Seven Mary Three, and this doesn't sound at all current. By the way, it's current. What? <laughs> 
Not even sort of current. This, this song is from like 2003. No. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> it's not even kind of current. No. Why did I say that? <laughs> no. It's like 2003? No. no, this is easily 1994. <laughs> you lied by 10 years and I didn't know it. <laughs> you just yeah, crank this up. Let's go see that new Winona Ryder movie. Old man Danny <laughs> thinks that wow, 2003, yeah. 10 years ago, is current. Hey, look, other people are searching it out. It's, it's the second thing. It's Seven Mary Three, and then the next thing is Cumbersome. Because they're not putting yeah. out new music. They're over. Here, here, here it is. Here it is. Uh, here it is. Too heavy, too light, too oh. black, or too white, too rough, or too right. Yeah. yeah. I, can't, I can't look at Joe it now. It fucking sucks. Oh. That is douchey. <laughs> too rich or too poor. Oh, he's on too his too stool, poor. stomping he's his feet. Oh, God, it fucking sucks. He's saying something, though. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying something. Oh, yeah, and Water's Edge. I like that song, no. too. <laughs> Water's Boy, Edge I is stay. a big song. You know what a great 90s song is? Uh, Possum uh, Kingdom. I'm just going to say that. Of course you are. <laughs> of course you are. Yes. That's awesome that you fucking just said Toadies that. Fucking Toadie's Possum Kingdom. Great 90s song is fucking uh, Computer God. I. I is a great fucking song from 95. Who does that? Sabbath of Dio. <laughs> the Oh, my. Uh, this like is not that, you rock. This is great. This is, <laughs> this is, my, this is my iPhone. This is Possum Kingdom, man. Really? This is a great tune. Pretty much. Wow. Wow. I can't hear that. What should I listen to, Sam? Absolutely. I'm right back in style. AF Studios doing this fucking place. I remember fucking sitting there very vividly. I don't know I why know this, this song so much. Yeah. I mean, we use it as a rejoiner. Oh, that's how I mean. I know it from here. <laughs> I always hate when I know something, but it's from here. The song had a little bit of, of, a, of a rebirth in the last couple of, well, I guess the last like four it or five years because played. it was on, it was on like uh, the Guitar Hero 2 game soundtrack, uh, so it, it kind of blew up for another generation a awful, little bit because they got to play all now. I'll not be a gentleman. Oh, come on, this is good shit. No, yeah. don't take this, no. I like that they did a, this, it was a big single and it wasn't 4-4. Four, four. I thought that yeah. was actually very impressive that somebody got away with it. Ah. Come on, it's great. <laughs> no? Nerds. Jim just goes, ah. Well, who sings this? The uh, Toadies. That's the Toadies. They didn't have many hits. <laughs> yeah, but you know what's weird? This is their only song like this. All the rest of their stuff is very, like, like fast and, like, punk. Yeah. Punk sort like of ish. No. No I one else 90s knows music. that either. Yeah, 90s. Uh, I'm exactly. not a 90s. Music 90s band. was the big fucking resurgence in rock. I respect oh. that. I like Nirvana, but even them, I took I took 12 years to like. Yeah. And I started liking them in like in, in probably 2000s. I only listened to three bands in the 90s. Cobain's brains were gone for six years before I started to enjoy. <laughs> he was brainless for six years. <laughs> what did you listen to in the 90s, Sam? Only albums I, li I listened to. Smashed by the Offspring all the time. Uh, that album is awesome. Yeah. Remember the Offspring? Is that uh, a good song? Ripping yeah. off every uh, other band, well, they're, every they're, song they had. Their big single was "Come Out and Play." Yeah, you know that song. No, 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 no. Yeah, you know Jimmy, you gotta know that song. Jimmy knows every song he says he doesn't know. You know this song. Keep gotta them keep separated. separated. Yeah, I love. I fucking this. love this, this song so when it came out. This whole I used, this is one of the few albums I listened to over and over again. Dri driving scene oh, yeah. in every 90s fucking uh, yeah, 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 movie. Yeah, yeah. I still put this album on. This yeah, album is too. still solid. I was yeah, their I first do. two albums. Their album before this is great too. Ignition. Who is this? Everything after this. Is pretty terrible though. They get real shitty real yeah, quick. Became like a goof band. Yeah, this yeah. sounds kind of old. This like I don't know now. Yeah. yeah, okay. I listened. The to 90s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I listened to and out come the wolves. Rancid's oh, album. Yeah, yeah, but let's go is the great Rancid album. The one before out come the wolves. How come the Wolves had all those singles? That's how I mean. I didn't know anything about punk music. And then White Zombie. <clears throat> I never liked White Zombie. I like Rob Zombie, but I never liked White Zombie. Oh, I don't I like love, his music. I loved White Zombie from when I was in like sixth grade. What's on. a big song from White Zombie? I know Rob Zombie stuff much more, more than human than Human is the big song. Oh, play that. Oh, play more Human than Human. Kiss sixty five too, Thunder right? Sixty five. Uh, oh, the good Supercharger one. Heaven. I, uh, I don't know, I know that one. I told Supercharger you, I, Heaven on. I watched a girl suck her boyfriend's dick. To white zombie music <laughs> when I was doing a fucking gig in Lancaster in like you '93. Know, you know what song it was? No, I was too busy fucking obsessing over her juicy ass. Come on, this shit rules. <laughs> He's got his own sound though, zombie man. They really fucking do. zombie rules. <laughs> yeah, I like him too. What a bunch of fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck you, yeah. yeah. Fucking rocking now. I mix up White Zombie with Rob Zombie. Yeah! yeah. Wow. 
when this song came out, I had, I was I was still in high school. I was I was at home at my mom's, and I had the flu, like 102 fever flu, and I was on the couch in a fucking daze. And I had MTV on back when they used to play videos. Yeah, yeah. And this every fucking hour, <laughs> I was just in like some hallucinogenic yeah, flu state. Yeah, yeah. 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 Amazing. Sounds like, sounds like Stone Cold Steve Austin singing a song. Yeah. This fucking kicks ass. Come yeah, Rob Zombie is fucking good, man. It just sounds like Macho Man. That's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's this is good. He's too solid. What's his last name for real? Zombie. Cumming. Rob Cummings? Vampire. Oh. Zombie isn't his yeah. name? Yeah. That would have been coincidental. He was going to call himself Rob Monster. Yeah, but it's Monster. spelled with an X. Rob <laughs> Monster. Oh, that would be very scary Yes, indeed. it would. Rob Zombie, what is he, running Certainly around like a dead would. person? Can you? <laughs> can we hear Thunderkiss 65? But I, well, That's but, the one, man. Try Supercharger Heaven. I bet you know Supercharger Heaven. I want to hear Thunderkiss. We all want to hear Thunderkiss. Yeah, right. where the hell are you? Thunderlips in the flesh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a great fucking... This, this riff is awesome. Fucking zombie riffs rule. They really do. Come on. Talk about rock. Sometimes they take a minute to get started. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go through his little... Yeah. yeah. I went through a period where I was... Uh, this isn't Thunderkiss. Went through your period. This is Supercharger Heaven. Good one. E-Rock went with me instead of the room. Good one, E-Rock. <laughs> I was trying to find uh, every like movie drop that's in his songs. Yeah, like I was trying to find every movie. That, I haven't found every single one, but like, because I used to freak out when I'd be watching an old horror movie and like the line from the beginning of this would be in it. Oh, and then you'd be like, like ah, holy shit, that's now from I the know song. Something. Play Thunder Kiss, you fuck. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> this is then, part of like that the Manson explosion stuff. And then, ECW used to use this as their beginning theme, and I was like, this "Really? Is awesome! It's wrestling and white oh, zombie." Oh, Jesus Christ! Would you see? You just finally, finally, you're admitting that the '90s was the best ever. This part, <laughs> <laughs> just jizzing all over his pants. Oh! Great music, great wrestling. Yeah, ah, the '90s yeah. wrestling was good. In the 90s. Oh, Marilyn Manson, I like a lot. Marilyn Manson, yeah. One of the best live shows I've ever seen in my life was Marilyn Manson. And I'm not into his albums. Yeah. Rob Zombie's really good live, too. I've seen Zombie 30 times opening for Ozzy on Ozfest. Oh, right. I've seen him many fucking He's times. great, right? Yeah, so, he is. Good shit, man. Very theatrical. Yeah. And then, of course, 90s, uh, of course, Alice in Chains. Alice in yes. Chains. Come I've on. really been turned... When I... Month, about a year ago, I was on the fence about Alice in Chains. Yeah. And... After you, the pressures of you guys and some other people, oh boy, I've really turned around. I really love them now. Yeah, they're fucking great. That was a definitive '90s band. Rain when I die. Is, yeah, it, it, I mean, it could be a contender for the greatest song ever. Wow, what Whoa. song? That's a Rain when I statement. die by Alice in Chains. I'm probably going to disagree with you, but let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> you have your own ideas. Yeah. <laughs> They're not even one of my favorite bands, but this song, the fucking, when it hits the first chorus, you're just like, holy shit. It's fucking devil music. After I found, after I started listening to White Zombie, I was like, Jim, I refuse to listen to other bands. Like, I couldn't appreciate really? any bands ever. That's, Zombie was your fucking, uh, Sabbath. Yeah, Sabbath. Yeah, I, yeah, I was not paying attention to any Alice in Chains, any Soundgarden. Damn! I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna turn my phones up for this shit. <laughs> It's got a long... You gotta get through this part, Jim. Hold on. Sorry. Right. Gotta get through the beginning. <laughs> so disgusting. No, I'm not, I, don't, I don't hate Alice in Chains. I mean, uh, I like this stuff. Oh. They're, they're just fucking jamming. They, yeah. they didn't realize the rest of the world wasn't on heroin. <laughs> right then. Exactly. Yes. This is fucking heroin music right here. Let's get this part. Man. Then it breaks into the main riff. Anybody else feeling this? You know what? Not one of my favorites as far as uh, Alice in Chains. Dude, it's like, I think it's going to rain. No, there's <laughs> so, I, I like so many other ones that I like, you know. And, and I'll... Yeah. I mean, 
mean, it's, a, it's not one of my favorites. You know where this I comes need, from, this song? like the hits. Right. <laughs> this is, I won't say it's direct. Uh-huh. Getaway by Kiss. It's off their second oh album. Oh, my God. Written everything by Ace Freely. Always, everything always comes back to you. The Kiss or fucking Sabbath. Getaway by Kiss. It's fucking, uh, you got it, Iraq? Iraq's got it. Yeah, the chorus. Great. Yeah, great voice. Yeah? All right, let's, let's hear. How I do it, everybody? I want you to put your hands together. <laughs> <laughs> it's labeled for Jim Norton use only in the last. <laughs> is it for this your is, show? <laughs> why? Nobody else is playing this. Oh, <laughs> this is Getaway? By Kiss, yes. Yeah, Sung by Peter. Hey, where'd Joe Scarborough buy that? <laughs> but wait, what, how, you think this is sounds like the Alice in Chains? No, I just want to hear it. You like this song? I do. Yeah. <laughs> I love this song. <laughs> Jim, that's nothing like it. Yeah, you're right. I know. Totally just wanted to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> you like this? Love it. it sounds so thin. It's old. It it's 1973. 73? This is fucking Kiss's second album, I think. Yeah. This is a Kiss song no one knows. I know. I'm not a big Kiss fan, but I feel like I'm missing no. something. I, I feel like to, I should be, but I'm not. When I went to like, the Kiss yeah. show, I... I realized how little I actually know from Kiss. I knew like two of their hits, and then everything else was like, I don't know what this is. Who you know fucking Detroit Rock City? Yeah, that was one. Uh, I want to rock and roll all night. Party every day. Uh, That's not their best song, though. Strutter. Uh, no, not really. You know what? what? Strutter? Uh, I That's do, a good song. But I, was... I hate myself for loving you. Play Deuce off a line. Bad medicine. You don't know. What? You don't know. Living Deuce? on a prayer. No, that's, that's I know, I'm just kidding. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know Deuce by Kiss? No, I, I don't know a lot of Kiss. I don't. In the '70s, I wasn't Kiss. I was more fucking Peter Frampton in Boston. Oh fuck! Oh Jesus! Boo. Wow! Peter wow, Frampton! Wow! wow, wow, wow. You don't uh. know Deuce? No. Oh boy! Look out! You gonna hide this? This isn't really. Maybe I'll know it when the vocals kick in, right? I know. <laughs> I know it already. <laughs> Get up! Get your out of here. I have no idea what this is. Wow. wow. I would have known it was Kiss just from kind of the sound. I wouldn't have. But I don't know that. Yeah, this could have probably been 20 other bands. Wow. I... No. All right. No, I was fucking. This sounds like Deep Purple to me. comes alive. Does it? A little <laughs> bit. You like Deep Purple, boys? I don't really listen to them. Aunt loves them. <sighs> it's a classic. Really. Yeah. I, I, I like what I've heard, but... What, Deep Purple? Oh, oh crazy s- shit. Space trucking? Yeah, fucking... Ugh. That was some heavy stuff. Burn? Hey. Oh, fuck. And uh, did you ever get to see him live? No, I would go now to see him if I. If yeah. They still, still, still tour. It's just like it's just like the drummer and the singer that, now. But though. that's not even. I, yeah. I, it's like the heartbreaking thing to see bands like that tour now. I went. I went to see Blois the Cult, and that was years ago. And and they were in a place where while they were playing, I could just lean over to my who I was with and be like, Hey, hey, how you? Hey, what do you think they sound like? Uh, it was just all low and. That's like it's like the difference between um, Rush and Yes. Like, they're all in their 50s at this point. Yeah. And, like, Rush is still, you yeah, know, Neil yeah. Peart's the second drummer, but it's it's Rush. It's still the three guys. And they still, their new album is, like, one of the best albums they've ever done. They just rip. And then you go see Yes, and they're all wearing these, like, flowing robes. And it's like, there's, like, one of the original members in the band. They're like, we're just going to yeah, focus but... on the stuff after Owner, Owner of a Lonely Heart. You're oh, like, no, geez. no, no, don't do that. What? Yeah, but Yes had never oh, had a sucks. consistent lineup at all. Like, they, were, they went through people, like, people go, like, guys, like guys go through girlfriends do. They they sound so fucking. They don't do yours. It's no disgrace. Oh, uh, dude! I I watched a live concert DVD of theirs once one night. Yeah. And I was just sitting there the whole time because I wanted to hear stuff off of uh, uh, Close to the Edge and Fragile and all that stuff. Uh huh. And I waited and waited for Roundabout, and they did an acoustic 
blues version of Roundabout. I almost threw a what fucking fuck wrench through my TV about? set. That's so fucking you know presumptuous. The lead, the lead singer would get there the day before. John, I think John Anderson's name is, and sleep on the stage when he could overnight in a tent. An asshole. He's just one of those guys. A weird guy. Tent. A weird guy. What that's a dick. That's like when you hear the stories about Fast Times at Ridgemont High, and they say that Sean Penn slept on set so he could inhabit the role of Spicoli. Really? You're like, look, he was really good in that movie at all. But I mean, for Christ's sake. No, but I, I know this is true. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm saying it's. Would he really do that? No, yeah, I'm not oh. making that up. I'm, I was agreeing. He would. Did oh, you think... make your thing up? No. Oh, yeah, we're both telling the truth. Fuck it, he would really sleep on the set. Yeah, they said he would put a hammock on the set because that's what Spicoli would do. Oh, is like, boy. But it, it works for him. Oh, just act. He's so yeah, good. Don't be, try to become the person. Did you ever watch the uh, Doors DVD? Uh, the bonus features Oliver Stone's talking about how brilliant Val Kilmer was, and he goes, he goes. Val insisted uh, that he be called Jim starting two weeks into uh, rehearsals. I hate that right? shit. Here's the best part. Actors. He goes. Uh, he goes. We sent a memo out letting the cast and crew know they were only allowed to refer to uh, Val as Jim, and they're going through interviews with everybody, and they're all going, "He was so brilliant, and it was he was just inhabited the role." They get to Frank Whaley. And Frank Whaley goes, yeah, I remember getting that memo. It said we were only allowed to refer to him as Jim. From that point on, I only referred to Val as asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, that helped my performance. He didn't like him? <laughs> you know, he just, that's, it, that's literally the whole clip. He doesn't oh. get into any more. But oh. I just love that, they, that he said that. Ugh. I hear he's a real jerk off. Val's, I've never met him, but I hear he's a twat. Val's but they said, giant now. I think on one of the Fast Times documentaries or something, they said Sean Penn did that too. You had to call him Spicoli or yep. Jeff or whatever on set. I give credit to it in hindsight. Like in, hearing about it makes you go, like, "What a douche!" But when you see what Sean Penn did or what, what Val Kilmer did in that, it's like, "God, it worked!" Because they yeah. were fucking amazing. Yeah, well, when you're that good at something, it's like whatever it takes. Yeah, I don't know. Do you think it really takes that? Some or of them are method just, weird actors. Or dude. they could just get on in front of a camera without all that horse shit and still be able to just act. I think. I think to reach that like sort of legendary status like Sean Penn You gotta be a douchebag. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be a self absorbed douchebag where you're gonna put everybody I mean look, Richard Pryor, arguably the greatest comedian that ever lived, was probably a fucking nightmare to be around as a human being. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh he's doing Coke again, he's fucking this his fucking assist whatever shit he was you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but you go, ah, look at the work. It <laughs> he, he does good. That yeah, special's really funny. Good. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Louis, Louis uh, tells a story about when he worked for Conan. He, was, uh, he had to do something, with, I think, with Martin Sheen. And uh, they had to talk to him on the phone about a sketch they were going to do when Sheen was on Conan. And he said he was doing some play where he was playing a, like a, either General Lee or one of those guys from the Civil War. And he said when he talked to Martin Sheen on the phone, I guess it was in between takes. But he was talking like that. Well, I would like to know. <laughs> That's what Whoa. he does. I think it's what, what was that uh, sequel to that? Martin Sheen was playing Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> I see, I see. Yeah, I, I did a very I bad keep impression. Him and you keep missing him, son. <laughs> the boy's about as sharp as a sack of bowling balls. Uh, <laughs> sack of wet mice was always funny. That's sack too. of wet mice. They're not sharp at all. No. <laughs> that was. I, I think he was doing that uh, that Gettysburg sequel. Oh, maybe yeah, wasn't he? Yeah. He's like, film me about it. Yeah. He was, uh, I'll see, I'll see. Was he really? I no, was, but he was talking like he was uh, General Lee or whoever so he was playing. We actors are fucking weird. But weirdos. to get out of that character, like to get the, once you have a fucking uh, a speech pattern down, it might be hard to break it and then get back into it 10 minutes later. Yeah. Acting's fucking hard, man. Louis Bean. Exactly. <laughs> ah, maybe he's just in character all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's well it's like weird when you see <clears throat> I was watching a blooper reel on a DVD last night and they're like in the scene and then the actor like they're in the cadence of the scene like okay we're gonna uh, 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 and then he goes ah shit that wasn't the line I fucked it up okay let's do it again and it's funny oh he stays in it yeah, but I, yeah, as I was watching, I was like, "Oh, he's not. I don't think he's doing it to be funny. I think he's just like in like the the emotion of the scene, and he doesn't want to jump out of it and start laughing." That doesn't sound hilarious, like fucking Burt Reynolds bloopers. Cannonball Run when Dom DeLuise is going. The greatest. Yeah. The greatest. Yeah, look, the he fuck? put his finger in a busboy's hiney. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look. Uh, uh, look, he's sucking a young man's dick. Yeah, <laughs> hilarious. Oh, he's grabbing his chest and he's fucking humped over in the fucking back of the semi. This fruit. is the great. They just uh, slap at each that, other in the turn face. Turn that up a little bit. 
That's the end of uh, Hannibal Run? Yeah. Okay, okay. Wait a minute, I got something. This will help. No, no, no. I'm not going to hit you. I'm not going to hit you. Listen to me. I swear to I'm not going to hit you. Watch, watch. Ah. Okay, 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 I'm ready now. He was smacking him in the face. Look at this. He gets him right here. <laughs> He's like 11 I'm ready, I'm ready. It's been a go. I'm ready. We're off. <laughs> <laughs> Where's he going to sit? Where is it going to sit? Team Martin's smacking Sammy Davis. I want you not to interfere in my affairs. Stephen, put the way Seymour, excuse me. That's all right, I don't have to do anything. Yeah. All right, you see, even in the deep... <laughs> Dude, I know what we're doing. What is this, the fucking blooper hour? Yeah, yeah. What are we, fucking blooper city? <laughs> what are we, fucking blooper incorporated? Blooper.com? <laughs> <laughs> That fucking scene when they're outside of the ambulance and they have that crazy doctor on the inside yeah. and the cop goes, I've, I rewind it over and over where the cop goes, if you got to get her to the hospital so so urgently, how come you're driving and not flying? And Tom Delis goes, I don't know. We're just the drivers. Ask the doctor. No. <laughs> but he has that realization of how crazy that fucking doctor is. She's suffering from delirious <laughs> dreaminum. Oh, and he says he's a proctologist, and he runs his finger under the guy's nose? <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's funny stuff. Do you know when I had a laugh like that with me and Bobby Kelly? We were doing Amy Schumer's pilot, and we played the fucking creepy massage therapist, mm. and it was the next to the last, or the last thing we were shooting, and uh, Amy has to walk into a, the, the counter, and me and Bob pop up from the sides as the creepy therapist, and we fucking... Couldn't get through it without couldn't laughing. Couldn't stop laughing. Dude, it was one of those things where I'm like, I'm going to ruin this fucking show. <laughs> because it gets to a point where like, all right, I'm not enjoying this anymore. I'm literally... But you can't stop. I couldn't look at her. Yeah. yeah. Just, every time yeah. we saw her, and we it was just, yeah, you can't stop. <laughs> I was watching uh, uh, some of the fucking old Dean Martin roasts. Seeing Dean Martin oh, and Sammy Davis Jr. The, Don Rickles would come up and just say horrible things about black people. Yeah. And it was on regular television. It yeah. was on just like fucking NBC would have it on like, and tonight, the Dean Martin Rose, uh, starring. And, and then he'd just get up there and say colored. And he turned to Nipsey Russell at one point because Nipsey Russell started saying something while he was, um, while Rickles was, was talking. And he goes, uh, he goes, ah, leave it to the spade to keep interrupting. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was regular television. D did and then he goes, you, be, you call me Spade one more time, I'll come over to your house. He goes, it, and he goes, oh, what, what, all I got to do is start tap dancing. Like, they were just making more racist jokes. Dude, he was on Letterman like three years ago with Denzel Washington, and Denzel Washington wanted to stay out while Rickers, Rickles was on. Rickles comes on, sits down, and he goes, what are you doing here? Are you going to sweep up? <laughs> <laughs> He just doesn't <laughs> know or care. And he, Rickles is one of the few made men who can literally say anything, and you you can't get angry at him because it's like it's Rickles. You can't. He's one of the few guys that is is almost beyond criticism. He kissed Sammy, and then he he goes. Uh, did he starts wiping his lip and go? Did any come off? Jesus Christ! Like, like, like it's just this old but they, school. Can you find Rickles on Letterman, Danny? Because I think there was one thing he did which was very funny. He was interacting with some. Uh, Black guy in the band. It's from like eighty two or eighty three. Yeah, there's probably quite a few appearances of him on that. <laughs> Let me see. I'll see what's on letter on Letterman. Yeah, in the uh five point one of two right there. That's old. You think that might be him? Yeah. This is old school. Oh There's just a God, funny that line. Is old. Look at how fucking I think you might be right, Jim. How old he is. Yeah, go oh, back yeah, a little bit. A black guy. That might be it. Oh boy. I think it is it. Okay. Oh a black guy. You don't, you don't play the whole thing. Right? Turn it up. Have a nice uh, weekend. Um, huh? I had a lovely time here in the city. The weather was swell, but I, I, if, uh, I'm very excited about having uh, this next gentleman on our program. As I mentioned at the top of the show, <laughs> right never That's fails to make great. me laugh. He will be appearing at the Westbury Music Fair oh. uh, right here in New York beginning September 28th through October 2nd. Uh, truly one of the funniest men in the world. Please welcome Don Rickles. This has got to be, what, 85, baby? Wow. 
There's not even a full band with, or is there? Well, yeah, I guess because it's the bit. Oh, the, fuck. The the, no music for him to come out to. <clears throat> yeah, this right. is weird. This is old school, man. The chairs look like they got him from the cafeteria. <laughs> yeah, this isn't Davis, the the cutting edge guy. No. You look great. We've got a real laid-back crowd here. No, no. This They're is... all sitting there with grenades and guns. <laughs> They're happy to see you. We get a, we get a good group and... Uh... You should do. And I, I've never been on your show. I've been with you in, oh. once in Los Angeles. Right. With Johnny Carson when you were... You remember him. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Ed McMahon, who you're going to have on tomorrow night. here tomorrow. Just sure. saw him today. We had yeah. a drink together. And he, he was... Runs in front of Johnny's car and checks for grenades. And all that <laughs> His whole life, Johnny Carson. Uh, Paul, have yourself committed. Oh. <laughs> That's the nicest thing anybody's ever said. Awfully nice guy, but it's a new thing out called food. <laughs> The black kid sitting there going, what's he making fun of him for? The black kid. What's he making fun of him? <laughs> Don, that's, uh, that's uh, Hiram Bullock. Hiram, Hiram Bullock? Bullock, yeah, Don that's Rivers. a black guy. Hiram Bullock. <laughs> <laughs> they give themselves those funny names so to stump the cops. <laughs> Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. What's your name, boy? Hiram Bullock? Now go back. Boy. Yeah, he's not laughing. I kid you, Hiram. You're black and I'm white. That's the brakes. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> oh my god, is he laughing? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I want to know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's it's one of the greatest lines ever. This cuz he puts Jeez. his arms up. That's yeah, the like, brakes. That's the brakes. You pluck him like. Boy, you uh, certainly certainly can't get away with that. Dude. Tiny, Jesus Christ. Is some guy going on Letterman now and doing that. <laughs> I was just watching. I was just watching Pablo Francisco's new special last night, and yeah. he does this whole thing in the middle of it, where he's just like, he's like, he just starts going, uh, "Yeah, man." He's like, "That's my black voice. That's my projects voice." And I was like, well, "Jesus why was Christ!" It totally out of context, dude. Out of context, he just starts doing. That's my. That's my black project scary voice. He like every time he tried to justify the voice, he put a worse word on it. <laughs> like, uh, but I was just like, uh, but I'm not comparing it to this. So I just was, yeah. Yeah, who gives a shit? It's a <laughs> fucking gives... stupid point that I made. Uh, Sorry. Thanks, Joe. Apologies. Now it's a good time for a break, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. We'll, uh, we'll uh, come back. Uh, oh, maybe some jingles. Yeah, we got I jingles. I know we got some of them jingles. We got a jingle contest going on here. Oh, look out. And, uh, you know, it gives the uh, audience an opportunity to send in some of the shit that they make and uh, show how, how talented we are because it really shows how untalented. Uh, everyone else is. Mm. But somebody can get $2,000 right? from IHateStevenSinger.com. How them much? Clams. 2,000 yeah. clams. 2,000 clams from uh, Steven Singer? 2,000 schmackers. That motherfucker really does come up with the cash for this uh, program. Sells a lot of diamonds. You think that's it? Yeah. I think so. I'm yeah. thinking some uh, fucking uh, secret uh, shit, drug front, something like that. Blood diamonds. He might be selling... Does he sell blood diamonds? I don't think so. I might sell drugs. I don't think he sells blood diamonds, though. <laughs> The ones he smuggles with his anus are called blood diamonds. <laughs> yeah, that fucking bags, man. I don't fucking... Uh, I don't support oh. that diamond shit. If I get engaged, I'm not buying a fucking diamond. I'm not uh, doing it's it. Bill Burr. Ah, I'll get a ruby. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's just as good. It's a cooler fucking color. I'll get a ruby. <laughs> That's pretty good. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking... What a psychopath he is. Yeah. Love Bill. Y you don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, really? Just... <laughs> uh, I will take a little break. Uh, Dr. Gay just came in with uh, something. What do you got? Jingles. Oh, the jingles. Oh, I know Ms. one. Miss Jingles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes? Oh. <laughs> Jerry Shepard. Oh, boy. Jerry Shepard. Thanks. Good. It ruined your day? All day. Good. It'll tend oh, to wow. do that. Uh, these, well, are, these are, are by, the, by the titles. Yeah. It looks like we're going to have some fun ones today. Give me an example of one title. Uh, should I go with track seven? I guess? Sal's a faggot. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> wow. I like the sound of that one. Title. The whole staff submitted a song. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, be right there. Back as they say. Serious XM. Serious XM. Yeah. 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 This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Everybody, ooh, we're, we're we're back. Hi, how's everyone doing today? I'm good. good, pleasant. I hope. 
I was talking to the audience, Joe. Oh, sorry. It's all right. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I got to talk to people I can't see. I t- Hi, everyone. <laughs> now I feel bad. Now I feel like I was fucking up your little nah. back from break intro. Nah, I, did, I never know what to do with the back from intro, uh, back from break uh, intros again. Anyway, you just say hi. Sorry, I was helping you back. there. You did. You helped out uh, very, very well. <laughs> uh, Jim Norton, where is the lovely and talented Jim Norton going to be so people can see you? Well, thank you to Vegas. It was a great night Friday. Great crowd came out. Um, this Thursday through Sunday... Helium in Philly. Uh, we've added a late show Thursday and a Sunday show. Everything else is sold out. So uh, there might be some availability on the late show Thursday or the Sunday show. And then uh, November 9th, the Dark Comedy Festival in Toronto at the Randolph Academy. November 15, 16, 17, Addison at the Improv. Dark comedy? I guess so. I guess because I'm dark. <laughs> How you guys doing? Bet you're sad like me. <laughs> this guy's dark. Good opener. Yeah. <laughs> Bet you're sad. <laughs> and what does Joe DeRosa have going on? Your web uh, today webisode? What are we waiting for? The thing I did with you, Ant. Yes. Uh, this is the official launch of the series today. All five episodes came out today. Ooh. Or come out today at YouTube.com slash The Warner Sound. Please watch them. Episode with Jim Norton. Yes. Turned out very well. Episode with... Ooh. Opie and Bill Burr in one episode. Uh, episode with Bonnie Stop McFarlane. Stop saying the word episode. <laughs> episode Bonnie episode. McFarlane. Who's in Bonnie's? Bonnie, Rachel Feinstein, and myself. Are, and uh, it's just a, I'm really proud of it. So it all it all, it all comes out today. Please watch it. YouTube.com slash The Warner Sound. And then the weekend of November 9th, uh, the Thursday, Friday, Saturday of that weekend, I'll be at Levity Live in West Nyack. Right. Levity New York. Live. So come on out, folks. Yeah, all right. I think they will. People like the Joe DeRosa. <laughs> Thanks to you guys. I think they like the Joe DeRosa. Um, I want to get into some of the jingles that the uh, audience has uh, so lovingly put together and, and sent to um, Dr. Gay. Uh, who, oh, he's in here? Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> you, you get the jingles in at Opie Anthony at Sirius Did I just have Botox? Or does he just put weight on because of his medicine? Oh, yeah, his cheeks look a little plump, don't they? Yeah. Oh, no. Big fat cowboy now. Actually, more. my voice is like this now. I don't even sound like I'm no more. He's got those Nixon cheeks. Yeah. A little more Scott yeah. shannon Oh, boy. No, no. More. There. There's ah. a tree on my house. I got a tree. Oh, on I my got, house. Why are you saying there's a tree on my house? It's I got a tree on my house. I got a tree on my house. I got a tree on my house. No. I got a tree on my house. <laughs> I got a floor on my house. Fucking cocksucker. Thanks. <laughs> Chip. Wasn't good. Thanks, Chip. <laughs> Before we uh, yeah. play the new jingles, do you want to hear the one that everybody seems to be so obsessed with? The yes. one that uh, everyone was raving about over the weekend. Yes. It was being tweeted. It, <laughs> Edgar. <laughs> no. No, it, was, it was being tweeted um, relentlessly. Yeah. Unbelievable, uh, the anger people have for uh, era. Uh, yeah, this one's kind of kind of big. It's not a jingle. I don't call it jingle contest. One of their fucking songs people are singing. But uh, this is uh, one about Iraq. Ow. Hey. Uh, <laughs> and Anthony show. There's lots of laughs. To be hard. I thought it was the other one. Oh, I guess we were on different wavelengths. <laughs> yep, I oh, thought okay. you were going to play the fucking... All right, I'll play... rock fucking... I'll play the real one that yeah. people are actually That's talking about. Exactly. Not yours, Edgar. Shut up. Peter on the board, I can run the show. Pokey in my mouth, pokey in my mouth. He rock on me, nigga. He rock on me, nigga. Boy in the seat, bikini girls on the screen. Coke floats in my cup. Coke floats in my cup. <laughs> Iraq, Iraq Army nigga yeah. is great. <laughs> I love that one. Hoagies in my mouth. Yeah. Bikini girls on the screen. Yeah, on the screen. Coke in my cup. Coke floats <laughs> in my cup. <laughs> I love it. Iraq, what? you like that one, right? I love that one. <laughs> where, where is Sal today? Uh, 
Sal's here. Okay. He's with fucking Manny. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Every fucking that makes time. Makes me happy. God. <laughs> He's with Manny. Got enough of platoon. <laughs> <laughs> is there, is there a pr one praising Sal? There is one. There's one about Sal. There's a few that uh, I think Jim will enjoy. Mm. And then there's some ones that are specifically not good. Ah. So mix I don't know. them up. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, why don't we why don't we start with this? It's Opie and Anthony me and Jim Norton too. Uh, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> oh, that was well, we Kevin's attempt. Petered out right no, there. Simplicity. Never I like that. That would be okay wow. if he sang it. Mm -hmm. yeah. If he sang it. Yeah. If it was very nice, well produced, and just gave up. And, and took then, the language out and said, "Fudge yeah, this." Exactly. Because you got nowhere to go. That's it. He starts down. You, where do you go? You yeah. don't go down from down. You go down from up. Very good. That's right. This I, is yes. comedy. That's what I. That's what I think too. I'm I agree. Pretty sure, uh, Doctor Gay. That's a take on superhero Jim. Right. <clears throat> okay. That makes oh. sense now. It didn't work. Why he didn't really. No. He didn't really put it across very well. No, he didn't know. No. No. All right. So let's see if we like this one a little right. better. B I L L T E T L E Y B I L L T E T L E Y Bill Ted with comedy variety hour. He'll have me howling for hours and hours. B I L L T E T L E Y. We all are gonna have a really great time. Why are you playing these so loud? I know. They're what? fucking blasting. Because they're different levels. So the yeah. last one was low. What Holy video game was that? That's Super Mario World. For N64? That's right. That's right. No, 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 I thought that's I that's Super Nintendo. He's and, oh, really? That's absolutely Super Nintendo. Oh, no, did he? Yeah, it's supposed to be B I L L T E T L E Y, Bill Tetley. Yeah, he couldn't do he that. He didn't though, drag with the out song. the Y, but yeah. it's good. Yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah. Ride those levels. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's Bless too loud. My fucking ears. I have to take the headphones halfway off my ears yeah. when he do that. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, what are we, Ricola commercials? <laughs> Wrong reference, guy. <laughs> <laughs> you want another uh, Bill Tatley? Uh, sure, why not? Live from the Ted Sheckler Emporium in beautiful Friends of Missouri, it's the Bill Tatley Variety Hour! Tonight's guests, children's entertainer, Bo Hargis, comedian, <laughs> Lyle Chipperson, magician, Jerry Houdini, Chef Ardini, and the music, Here's your host, B I L L T E T L E Y, Bill Tilly. Woo! It's just the yeah, that beginning was a, of a, 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 a talk show or something. Sounds like a really good show, but. Uh, yeah, it does. It does sound uh, star studded, too. What dumb guests. Like, <laughs> who would invite. Uncle Paul on as a talk show guest? Yeah, what could he possibly have? So, uh, you molest children. No, I don't. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> what dumb listener produces a, like the opening of a talk show for a jingle? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't <laughs> even a jingle at all. He really broke the production budget on that one yeah. too. <laughs> the fuck was he? recorded his phone <laughs> on a boombox. <laughs> Joe, you think that's bad? Oh, oh really? There's some some bad ones. Really? Uh, let's see. If I have a folder on my computer. Not good. It's about 200 entries. Wow. I love it. This is one of the it. not good entries. That last one we heard that didn't was a qualify good. as not good. This does. Whoa, 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 we know. Erux fat. He has more chins than Chinatown. He likes to look at bikini pics while he's at work. He should die Jesus. in a hole. But he would not fit because he's so <laughs> fat. We all know. E rock on me, nigga. <laughs> that one was amazing. Was the good. writing was not bad on that. That's one. pretty good. He yeah. should die in a hole, but he wouldn't fit because he's so fat. That's just right. mean spirited. Poor yeah. fat. Yeah, you're right. Take mean. it back. I didn't like yeah, that. Poor Chubsy. Let's get one with a little more music. <laughs> okay. Okay. This one. This one should pep us up a little bit. All right. Hopefully. I like the radio. Yes, indeed, I do. <laughs> I like Opie and Anthony. How bad are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I feel like more it. peppy. Yeah, that right. was good. <laughs> when did I say that? <laughs> that was when you were trying your, your jingle out that you had thought of. And you he said that a few days ago. And fucking uh. used it. It works. Damn, he's ripping you off. Hoo-hoo. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm going to do another bad one. Please. Okay, this Love is, the bad ones. This is a not good one. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, bad Jimmy, too. It's the only show just for you. Bob Kelly puts at side of poo. Boss gives out his password to E. Rocks a fat and long. <laughs> Troy wants a hipster fucking hum. Now, before I go and ruin the bed, the shitty you rule, I will quit. <laughs> now, Travis, how did, you, how did you convert that from one of those little old answering machine tapes? <laughs> oh, see, that's the thing. I didn't. Sound like, oh, that, that sounded like terrible. It sounded like it was literally recorded when that song was popular. <laughs> <laughs> He was trying for a suck my fucking cock at the yeah, end. That, that's one thing that you'll notice. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably people, not because I don't bring a lot of them in. A lot think, of people, yeah. lot of people want to reference the same things we've already re that that Coke Float guy did with Eric. Yeah, and a lot of guys want to try and create the next uh, suck my fucking cock. Can't do it. it. Just doesn't. That's work. a one 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 in a million exactly. shot right there. We should have yeah. that one cleaned up though. Oh really? You don't no need like for the it. Talk. No. no need for the dirty yeah. talk. Um, Grandma Jim. Yeah. <laughs> um, Auntie Jim. Yeah. <laughs> do you still do Valley Girl, Jim? Oh, God. <laughs> Why would you ask? Oh, I God. haven't in a while. We haven't heard it. Why would you? Man. God. Why would you uh, bring it up? These are so <laughs> grody, these songs. Oh. oh. I love doing Thanks. Valley Girl, Jim. Thanks. Everybody loves it. No, Thanks. nobody does. <laughs> Thanks a lot there. <laughs> it's just annoying. It's not even timely. It doesn't yeah. make any sense on any level. I like it. All uh, right. This one is untitled by uh, oh. David. Let's give it a title, then. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> no. Uh. Ah, shit. Opie and Anthony Jingle. Opie and Anthony Jingle. Opie and Anthony Jingle. Opie and Anthony Jingle. <laughs> Opie and Anthony Jingle. Opie and Anthony Holy Jingle. Holy shit. Uh, Opie <laughs> and oh Anthony God. Jingle. I like it. On Sirius <laughs> XM Satellite Radio. Oh, he ruined it at the end. <laughs> That's what ruined it? As, yeah. You noticed the ironic self-reflexivity of the whole thing? I noticed mm -hmm. that. It was terrible. I kind of... I kind of felt like he he picked it up at the end. I felt like when he went oh, Satellite Radio, I felt like I was like, oh, that actually, I think, could actually work as a little... No. Nah. No? All right. It's terrible. I never want to hear it again. He's a loser. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Forget it. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Here is one sent in by Ryan. Ryan. Did you get turned on when you heard Frankus? <laughs> you turned me on. Yeah. Frankus! Ew. Did you get turned on when you heard Frankus? Well, my sexiest panties. My package was perfect. Ooh, it up a little bit. That's nice. Yeah, look at the Elvis package. Did you get turned on when you Summer. heard... Ah. Ew. Why am I leaking clear stuff? Where did the Fucking Elmer glue come from? This is the <laughs> gayest thing I've ever allowed someone to do to me. Oh. Mm. That was more a production piece, but that's yeah, fine. That's... It's lacking direction a little bit. Yeah, it's, I don't disagree, um, Sam. It lacks an, direction. If an intern turned that in... We might be like, oh, yeah, look, he's trying. Right. Say, all right. Yeah, if Sal turned it in, it would be like an amazing piece oh, yeah. of production. If Sal turned it in? Because Sal yeah. is so bad. Well, you remember how bad Sal's production piece was, It right? was the did worst. Did he ever do production piece? He did a thing about, I think it was uh, Roland? Oh, uh, something about Roland getting mad. Yeah. Don't oh, oh, get uh, the panda angry! <laughs> Terrible. That I. That still makes me sick. I cringe. That's, it's, that's, it's humiliating. <laughs> it's. I'm not even joking. No. It's so bad. <laughs> his try at sounding mad and like. It's a like lion a, at the end of the piece. It's a lion at the end of the piece. But him trying to have a booming voice in that, yeah. and it's just thinness hey. and shit. Whiskey it gives me bucket. It gives oh. me the same feeling I get when I hear like a forty-year-old white woman be like, "Oh, you go, girlfriend." Oh, yeah. <laughs> it gives me the same exactly. Ex the urge yes. to rape. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of Michael J. Fox in Teen Wolf, where he's like, "Give me a keg of beer." Oh. <laughs> Does anybody remember that no. movie at all? No. <laughs> yeah. But oh, that's, that's actually terrible. intimidating. He gets the keg of beer. He sure does. He does. Oh. Sal thought he was going to be one of those like. Uh, 
production behind the scenes, but he uses his own voice, so he has a little in front of the camera I mean, stuff, yeah, too. Me and, he thought me and Opie were going to be fighting who gets that on our soundboards. Right, right. And he thought, like, no, I get the, oh, <laughs> come on, man. When Roland gets mad, I want to hit that. He was thinking, uh, don't oh. get the panda angry! Oh. I, like, I like the growl at the end. Watch, watch. <laughs> and make it a little longer. Yeah. yeah. He's thinking a lot of production guys, like they have to find voiceover people to uh -huh. fill in their vision. Yeah. But he's the total no, package. No, he's he the can guy. handle that. I'll I like the explosion. Up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and then the panda becomes a lion. Yeah. Don't get the panda angry. Don't get <laughs> oh, no. the panda angry. Oh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> It's the show. Uh, Joe can't take you it. You hate it, right, Joe? The uh, production piece? It makes me fucking sick. Oh. Maybe the explosion turns the panda into a lion. That's just silly. Oh. That's the face. That's the face you make during the production piece. That that old guy is making. Oh, oh let, go back. Let's hear Look at it. That fucking... Give me a keg of beer. <laughs> yeah, but the people who made that movie at least... Uh, He's like, I can't believe you turned that into a radio show, and he runs away <laughs> terrified. <laughs> you know what Sal's production piece should have been? What? I'm a papete haired cunt. Papete haired cunt. I'm a papete haired cunt. <laughs> See, I've learned not to laugh over things like that, so they'll be isolated well for later. <laughs> I mean, oh, shit. I saw your hand writing that down. <laughs> <laughs> While we're talking about Sal, yeah, one of the listeners also created a production piece. If we wanted to, should we take a listen? I hope it's not negative. Please. I haven't heard it, so I'm assuming it's positive. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Sal's a faggot, choking a dick. Sal's a faggot, open up in radio show. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Ah, excellent. Oh my you, god. You I liked it, Jim. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah, that is a good one. Should I play it? Just you accurate? Should. Yeah. Play it one more time in case yeah. you guys. Because yeah. Danny Let's laughed a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sal's a faggot. Choking a dick. Sal's a faggot. Open up the radio show. I'm Jim. I'm <laughs> Jim. You got the names in. Sal's a faggot. The guy's good. Choke on a dick. I'm just. Why, how come people can't find good ways to record their it voices? Really Can you hear the amazing. music? He, like the whatever the he's doing in the background. It, it just yeah. sounded like the TV was on. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even hear. It. I just thought I just heard him. It sounded like he left the yeah, TV. Yeah. No, on. there was like a little music playing in the he's background. He's singing too. Yeah. Like, I mean, how many millions of iPhones have been sold, right? And like, yeah. my iPhone records pretty okay. Right. That sounds like a kid who's trying for his parents not to hear him. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's really, like, swallowing oh, the song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's it. I really want to record this Sal's a Faggot song, but Mom's in the other room. <laughs> yeah, yeah when, exactly. When they, when they cry into your nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, maybe if you can play it again, maybe we can try and figure out what song's playing in the background. Yeah. Oh, that's a great call, uh, Travis. Let me just like, pump up the volume a little bit. Sal's a faggot, choking a dick. Sal's a faggot, open up the radio show. I'm Jimmy. I'm going to guess Terrence Trent Darby. Ah, yeah. E-Rock, do you like that jingle? That's better than Iraq e Army, nigga. You love oh, it. Come on, man. That one's great. <laughs> Sal, did Sal like it? Yeah, where's... I don't know. Where, where is, he? is he? I guess he's in the back. Oh, What's he's he doing? on the phones. Uh, Touch it in the back. What's he doing besides <laughs> ignoring your orders? Fucking, <laughs> 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 you, you roll with a velvet fist, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> we, we know he's not making good production. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He yeah. with, there he is, sauntering up the oh, hall. God. Take your time, Sal. Yeah, exactly. You the beat. You roll with a velvet fist was hilarious, and then just the pause, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> just just to push it over uh, the top, mean. Yeah, oh, so Sal, funny. Yes. Were you were you imagining with don't 
get the panda angry that me and Opie were going to be fighting over who gets it on our soundboard? I was listening in the back. No, that's not what Were I you was fantasizing about, like, no, this is going to be a good one? Here's a question. It was horrible. Did the explosion wake up the line who was sleeping next to the panda? <laughs> <laughs> that's why he was so angry. Yeah. Right. Is that what happened? Yeah, it happened in a zoo. That's what happened. Ugh. Now, Sal, you have not heard the jingle that was... <laughs> I heard it All right, since you haven't heard it. Just uh, let's, let's he hasn't it, heard it, right. Let's give it a listen since you haven't heard it just yet. Make sure you got headphones on. We're gonna have to play it again. Sal's a faggot, choking a dick. Sal's a faggot, open at the radio show. And Jim. And Jim. I like that. And Jim at the end is really good. And Jim. Thoughts, questions, comments? I'm flattered that someone actually take the time to put something together about me. It was so accurate. It's awful. It was so accurate. Sal, how, do you feel, how does it make you feel that this half-assed fucking five-second effort of a jingle has brought more joy <laughs> to this radio show than the thing you took hours to, <laughs> to make. No, clearly it didn't take me hours to put that poor <laughs> shit oh, in. Oh, lie. Don't try to play it down. Really, Don't it, insult it like you didn't think it was take good. You? It probably took me 15 minutes. Bullshit. 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 That Bullshit. thing is yeah. slickly produced. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Yeah. It's and very well so produced. You, you're saying it's slickly produced two minutes yeah. ago. You're saying how awful it is. Ooh. No. It, no, 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 no. Oh, it's crying out over here. All right. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sal, it's not funny. It's not funny at all, Ooh. but it's very well produced, Ooh. though. There's a difference. Look, fucking, uh, you know, Chania Twain records are well produced. They stink, oh. right. but they're well produced. Ooh. You know what I mean? So like, you're saying I'm a good producer, then? Yeah. No. Yeah. You're the first to say that. Just yeah. not a good writer. Is the, you know. No, I, I don't disagree. I mean, you, you might be a good writer. Could I don't you know. do the panda voice so live? Oh. A panda voice? No, could you do that uh, live? Maybe it would sound better in person. Uh, <laughs> you're right, Jim. No, I, I'm not doing that. Come on. You can't say no on the air. Come oh, on. All right, all right. Just get yeah, in the zone. Look at him. You're oh, in your production God. studio. You know, where yeah. none of us are here. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, oh, I just had a brilliant idea for the show. Uh, you thought it. it was good when you did it. Yeah. Fuck, much dude. like a breathalyzer. Don't do it wrong the first right. time or just make you do it again. Fucking Sam Coppola over there. <laughs> Here's the, here's here's get what you we're the looking zone. for. All so right. it, it, think about it. Not like, like you, we haven't heard it yet. Go back to that place. Yeah. You're killing me, Jim. Roland just got angry. Yeah, do it. And so you're like, oh, wait till they hear this. I can finally add something. And here's what it sounds like. I'm not doing it. Do it, do it. This is awful. So you got to do it. Yeah, do it. And it sounds a little like this. Go. Don't get the panda. No, 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 no. That's not it. Same emotion. Wait, 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 same wait, like emotion. You know what the problem is? Sounded a little like. I probably got to hear it again. He doesn't remember. Sam, I already saw where you're going with the fucking joke. He doesn't remember. Don't oh, okay. get oh. the oh. panda angry! Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Wait for the line, wait for the line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, give it 45 minutes. Go, go to lunch and come back when the lion stops roaring. You can... <laughs> go. Sal, which of those which of those voices was your real voice? The deep one or the high one? Yeah. Well, I just I pitched them down. In oh, addition, see, like you're a good producer. You know what? You're speaking the uh, lingo over it's here. The lingo. You of, pitched of it production. down. You're great. Okay. Here we go. All right. Here we go, Sal. Come on. Go ahead. Let her rip. Let's hear it. Don't get the panda. Angry! There you go. <laughs> you happy now? Oh, look, look. It's awful. <laughs> I like fucking hate enough. myself for huh? being. You like that? Oh. My dick just went up inside my body. <laughs> <laughs> you, and, and why did you point to your arm? Because like the hair came up on my uh, arm. I, I got like you didn't like it. Like goosebump chill like. Bad way. Can we hear that? Can we hear that E Rock, the live version that we just heard? <laughs> the reviews are already coming in <laughs> for the live version. <laughs> yeah. Sal's a faggot, choking a dick. Sal's a faggot, open at the radio show. So we'll call them mixed right now. Mixed reviews. Mixed reviews. Yeah. That was good, Sal. It was pretty good. Thanks, Sean. Come on, you did it. You did it. I did it. I played along with it a bit. See? I want to know my version. E Rock, do you have that? Here we go. Here's the new version. Choke on a dick. Oh, don't get the. Panda angry! It's <laughs> 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 awful. <laughs> Can you add the... Let's do it all live. Let's do it all okay. <laughs> play, play that. Uh, who's going to be the explosion? Can I be the explosion? Uh, okay. Jimmy's the explosion. You be the lion, and I'll be the growl lion at the end. Yeah, yeah. Okay, two part. I got yeah, you. Yeah, I yeah, got yeah. you. Okay. You'll taper off, and I'll, I'll take over. All right, all right. Here we go. 
here. Don't. Oh wait, somebody's got to yeah. be somebody's got to be secondary Sal voice too. The somebody's got to you know somebody's got to do the low. Maybe one. I'll do low. Wait, Sal. Sal should pitch himself down. Yeah, we oh, have his Sal, audio you're normal. Right here. All right, Sal can pitch. So you could do it your own voice. Add a little bass to Double it. Double it. Double it. <laughs> All right, a little bass though. A little bass. This is called right? on the fly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, don't get uh, the uh, panda. Uh, All right. What are you playing it for? Well, he's no, got he's got to so that he's he doubling his vocal just to double it. But E Rock, you got to count us off. This is killing me. Yeah, That's maybe like cut down, down from just three. E Rock be the worst guy in a band ever. You just start playing. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. There needs to be a cue. There needs to be <laughs> like that. I know. I know. Cue. A one, a two. Uh, <laughs> 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 <All right. laughs> I don't like. I him like it without it. the stuff yeah, in the thank back. Thank you. It's off. It's a bad idea. I don't like him doubling yeah. it. Okay. Just you just do it live. I th <laughs> do it live. Do the real verse live. Don't you play right. it, Iraq? Okay. Right. Let him just do it live. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> You're the explosion, Jimmy. Yes. You're the lion. I'll be the tapering growl. Okay. All right. I'll be the tapering growl. Oh. All right. <laughs> don't get the panda angry. <laughs> Oh, that was great. That was perfect. I think that was it. That was really good. We nailed it. Yeah. That One was really good. Sal, you stink. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. This is That's more production than ever. the talent's done in five years. <laughs> 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 uh, Sam giving you a hard time? I mean... I think what you said about uh, uh, making me do it live is more embarrassing than oh, that. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we hear it? Oh, let's hear what it yeah. sounded like. Now that we're gonna let's listen. Yeah. See if we nailed it. Because maybe the live version is better than the studio version. Yeah, maybe it's just you know. Couldn't you never know. Worse. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, Ira, comment. What are you doing? No, he's Rock, sound clip. Wiping mayonnaise off his fingers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's just lips. Yeah. <laughs> Licking his, <laughs> <licking> his finger. <laughs> <laughs> Greasy palms. He's fucking. What a terrible criminal he'd be. They'd find his fingerprints in water. <laughs> <laughs> Greasy fingers. <laughs> just this rainbowy fucking fingerprint yeah, floating. The grease. Yeah. There's fudge all over the vault. <laughs> over the vault door. Yes. Salt and vinegar everywhere. <laughs> And someone was munchy watching fucking salt and vinegar chips as they tried to pick this lock. What's he loves, that? He loves salt and vinegar chips. What's that? Uh, Do you like them, Iraq? He loves them. Oh, yeah. They are good. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, the bank would have to put those ink, that ink thing in the bills. They, they just, bills just look for bills that have Dorito cheese all over them. Uh -huh. That's you, snack boy. <laughs> you got it, Iraq? Yep. All right. All right let's hear here our, we go. Our production piece. Don't get. The panda angry. <laughs> Such a good pro. That's really good. It's, it's better than the original. I just don't like Sal laughed in it though. That, that, yeah. 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 Maybe we need Sal. to do it again. Do you think we should do yeah, one I more time so. yeah. just to make sure you it. can't laugh? No so. laughing. <clears throat> No this, one's, this one's going to be the keeper. That was the dry Warm run. Up, yeah. This is yeah. the one that's going to get on Ope's replay. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, unless yeah, Anthony yeah. gets it first. Yeah. I'm going to fight for it. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds great. Every time Roland comes in, it'll be a fucking just a laugh waiting to happen. <laughs> Thanks to <laughs> Sally. Yeah, go ahead, Sally. Right. <clears throat> Don't get the panda angry! <laughs> <laughs> Please, can we hear that? <laughs> In my ears, that sounded like it could be the. Yeah, that could be the one. like the one. The that roar the was one. a little short at oh, the yeah. end. But... <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can improve on that. Other than that. Uh, come on, it's fucking great. That right? was awesome. Iraq. What is the whole? What is the whole thing? Iraq's got to go through to get the clip. Come on, you bum! <laughs> is, it, is it like? <laughs> it's on a delay, so it just takes a little bit. Oh, here, it's already. Oh, here we go. Don't get 
the panda angry. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit dude uh, perfect that it's, was good it's perfect nailed it that time and i feel like the live growls sound slightly like there's a feasible possibility that it could be a panda as opposed to <laughs> that's yeah. true yeah yeah <laughs> the original you're like sa- you know like uh. sal's get the panda angry <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> when do you think uh, you'll be able to live that one down? Uh, uh, never. Well, never? Yeah, never. I didn't think I'm so either. Forever. I didn't think so either. What? We had a good time with this, right? Well, uh, uh, sure we did. There's plenty of other, I guess there's other uh, Sal um, jingles that are coming in too. Are there any more, uh, Dr. Microphone. Gay? Yeah, I, I felt that was the best one, but I mean, look, that is a good I'm, one. I'm not the talent, so if you guys want me to burn them onto a CD and you want to listen to them, that's up to you. They, we should always have them available anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point, Ant. I mean, yeah. I can't disagree there. And it's really not fair to the listeners to not let their voices be heard. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I mean, they did put a lot of time and effort into these. Especially so you know what? this guy. Let me just take yeah. my headphones off and maybe good, I'll just bring you a new CD. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't look so sad. Come on. Yeah, yeah, a couple I'm not more, sad. This is, this is fun. more sad ones. All right, all right. It's a good time. Yeah, that was good. Any any more uh, jingles there that is, you want to uh, get to uh, today? There Big is competition. Two thousand dollars from Steven Singer Jewelers for the winner, which will be chosen um, through no criteria whatsoever. Right. By who? Us, I guess. Us, us is is. Yeah. And uh, you can email the entries to Opie Anthony at SiriusXM dot com. Yeah. Obviously, there's still a lot of room to find a winner, so keep them entries coming. Real quick. Yes. You said you have one more. Yeah. yeah. After that. Jim was out on Friday. I don't know if there's any from Friday that we might want to play mm. for Jim. Mm, mm, Just three. Mm. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. oh. <clears throat> look at you guys. Are you on the oh, same page? Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on the same page? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what is it, page 200? Good one, Chip. <laughs> God damn, that was funny. <laughs> I know. Yeah, there's there's two, actually, from Friday. <laughs> from Friday? That we'll play. I, I don't, I don't Friday's remember, your favorite I mean, yeah. day of the week, right, Valley Girl? Um, oh, my God. <laughs> Oh. I like the weekend. <laughs> Jesus, Joe. Yeah. Jesus, Joe. Friday's party night, right? Sure is. Gotta go out and get some drinks. <laughs> My friends. <laughs> Matter of fact, let's do Fridays first. Yeah. Oh. Friday, Friday. Right. Uh, oof, oof. You don't like Valley Jim? No, I hate Valley Jim. <laughs> <laughs> this... <laughs> okay. This is another E-Rock jingle. Oh, All <laughs> oh, right. But we didn't get... The reference to why the music was playing in it until like like on the after show. Is or this something. the Christmas one? No. Piggy boy, piggy boy, <laughs> piggy boy, rock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think uh, that's the one. No. Sorry. So see if you can figure out, Jim, why this music is playing. All right. <laughs> Eric is a dummy. Stole some pictures from OV. He has a child's mentality. Can't go an hour without eating. Some think he rock is brainless. I say retarded at best. Now go to break you dirty hooped that What? Yeah, I have his fifth lunch, fifth I think. Lunch. So he can have yeah, his fifth yeah. lunch. Yeah. E-Rock, you should do a reboot of MASH called Mashed Potatoes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No? No? 4077 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that was... Uh... Did we do this break already, E-Rock? <laughs> That's why. Of course. Jimmy would always interrupt him with the, uh, the <laughs> mash music. <laughs> Iraq oh, sitcom would take place during the Korean buffet. <laughs> 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 yeah, and he'd eat a bunch of fucking dogs or something. Fucking puke them out of the shit them. Oh, boy. That's oh, a little shit. extreme, Chip. God, Chip. Uh, this was the other one that we forgot about it, but this was the only one. Iraq Army and this one are, I think, the two runaway favorites. Yeah. Um, so this one is called Radio Wizard. Oh, right. Yeah, this was a big one. Ever since he was a 
was a young boy, he's been fucking bald. <laughs> his venison stinks, he just clutters up the hall. Asking him questions like talking to a wall. <laughs> that egghead dummy doesn't like the show at all. <laughs> He's the radio wizard, but doesn't know shit. The radio <laughs> wizard is such a stupid twit. Why do you think he doesn't like the show? I wish that he would. Mm. So it's Radio Wizard. <laughs> I like Radio Wizard. That was funny. Radio Wizard's a good That's one. A good now, one. the last one for today is a new one. Ooh. It's brand new. <coughs> it's Excuse me. Sorry. In the not good section. Yeah. And it is significantly longer than any of the Jenny's Oh, no. Today. Oh, did someone decide <laughs> to go the whole limit? The yeah. 90 second fucking. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. This one clocks in at 56 uh, seconds. Why? So, uh. But Travis, you know, I mean, we enjoyed the uh, E-Rock is Fat that was in the not good section. So maybe he's wrong. Maybe this is indeed good. Okay. Uh, it was sent in by Keith. It's called Behind the Scenes. Call 866-WOW-1-WOW so you can talk to E-Rock, the overweight cow. Play What Did You Learn to Tell What You Know by asking for Sam on the after show. He's usually hanging with Roland and Quan. One of them mumbles the other's Don Juan. Then there's Danny. He's pretty fucking funny. Acts like Ant, but without the money. And Travis, too. <laughs> I don't know much about him. What the fuck does he do? Ask poor Mars if you need engineer advice. No matter what he'll charge you, he'll say, That's a good price! And in turn, oh. Sal, what can I say? He lies a lot and pretends he's not gay. Let's not forget about Club Soda Kenny. He's more than just a limo driver. He counts every penny. Call 866-WOW-1-WOW so you could talk behind the scenes right fucking now. Oof. That's crazy, everybody. Thank yeah, you. that was, <laughs> that was one of the worst, worst things I've ever heard in my life. That was terrible. Horrid. I never want to hear that again. That is terrible. They want to play a bunch of times on the after show. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Who, that, what's Jesus. his name? He should be exposed. Uh, his name is Keith Lecky. That's, that's like actually when, good. That's, that's like when someone tells oh. your mom to write a rap song. Oh, <laughs> like that's yeah. the kind of cadence it would follow. <laughs> and then there's I'm, Danny. I'm, I'm your bad. mom, and I'm here to say. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so bad. <laughs> really, really, that was really bad. bad. Wow. That's, uh, people are going to have to uh, cleanse that. Out of their, uh, off their palate. Well, that really sucks. Um, yeah. I like that one. You did, Jim? Yep. I didn't I, like, too, that he only insulted E-Rock. Everybody else got off pretty easy in that. Uh, you lift, uh, You listened closely enough? I listened to all the lyrics. I, yeah, I, I, like, I didn't like that oh, E-Rock was the only one that caught, like, a fucking insult and everybody else got off. I think that's, that stinks. What, that? Why don't we cleanse the palate with some um, some Sal jingles? Some Sal jingles okay. that have just been run in. And that will hopefully... Uh, bring down your angst about only e Rock getting shots taken at him. Why, right, Joe? Yeah. Oh, because we'll these, we'll these are these are Sal insults. I think you meant these were things Sal made. Okay. No, 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 no. These are both which by the would same be guy. potentially more insulting to his character <laughs> yeah, it's true. than jingles about him. <laughs> well, these were both made by uh, Scott. Both of them. So he really. Uh, these are both made by Scott. Yeah. Okay. Um, the first one is called Salamander the Hipster. Sally Mander, the hips to queer. No one knows what he's doing here. He don't do his job, but that's a fact. He only picks on E Rock. I think that was great. That was uh, pretty good. Yeah, it had a nice beat, a little yeah. salamander sound. That sucked. Okay. I liked it. You liked it, Joe. I thought it was pretty grody. I don't even know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like a Bobby McFerrin thing. Going Grody's on. bad. Yeah, Grody's Bobby bad. McFerrin. Um, not, I, uh, not insulting enough. Yeah, to it should be the like. Bobby McEke. <laughs> I, I fuck it, Joe. Why did you fucking even mention that? <laughs> for, Jimmy for this, hasn't done that for in this so reason. Long. <laughs> for exactly this reason. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's got their Jimmy characters that they can't stand, or their girlfriends hate, or something. That fucking Valley Jim, I hate it. I swear, I'm not just saying this. I know you. Hate, I, it's really my favorite character. He oh, does. I no, love it. No, That's no, right. No. It makes me laugh really hard. No. Oh, and then the fact right. that it disgusts you, you is to, just a bonus. Why don't you go to clue school and get one? 
Okay, that's, 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 There's no such thing as clues. It's terrible. Cool. It's just... And the voice, like, makes me cringe. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you put on a winter coat or something? <laughs> what the fuck? Pure shivering. <laughs> How come Jim... None of Jim's wit is given to any of Jim's characters. No, no. <laughs> Jimmy keeps that wit that he has he's, away from all the he's characters. He's selfish with it. Yeah, yeah, I don't think different. he wants. He doesn't want the characters to kill too hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't kill anything. I don't eat meat. Oh. What the hell? Uh, you eat meat. <laughs> do you want to hear the last jingle of the day? Uh, I'd rather not. <laughs> what do you want to do, Valley it's, Jim? It's like getting hit in the ears or something. <laughs> This one is called Sal the Pussy. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. so, yeah, Sal's a faggot. Going on with the animal theme, I guess. <laughs> right, <okay. laughs> the only pussy in Williamsburg is Sal. <laughs> Don't make the hands up. <laughs> Just don't do it. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The that cat. was a good one. <laughs> and then Gay Sal's voice going, "Just stop it." <laughs> yeah. Just, that was good. I just applaud him for being able to make something and hand it in and have it sound like like okay, like the, like the recording was okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I was able to understand what you were saying. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> it was fantastic. Yeah, I think uh, E-Rock Army and Radio Wizard are still in the top two. Yeah, yeah. those are uh, hits. Yeah, that, that I hadn't heard that. I was off. I was out last week. But that uh, <laughs> that E-Rock Army. <laughs> <laughs> How is that not going to win the whole thing? I don't know. It's really good. <laughs> oh, and Sal yeah, Sal's a faggot. That's not you in like the top that? five. That's got to be in the top three, well, right? Well, <laughs> no? It, in my book, but... I want to hear Coke floats in my cup again. <laughs> <All right. laughs> we, just, we just play these over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, but yeah, but we got a new audience like every 15 minutes. We played that at least 25 That's minutes true. ago. Big turnover. <laughs> <laughs> I That's like it great. because, and you know what? He knows to just cut it like quick. It's a jingle. It needs to be quick and catchy. It doesn't. It's not something that you need the whole ninety second time limit for. Yeah, That's get good. in, get out, it make worked. everyone laugh. Yeah, That's he could have gone a second verse or something, but he cho chose not to. No, glad. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 One of my favorite parts of that is that he does the whole like second line in one breath. He doesn't breathe before no, he says no. it, Jim. He squeezes it in on the same breath. Yeah, also that's that, impressive. That his snap is fifty decibels louder than anything else in the song. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, he's terrible. Uh, well, that was entertaining. That. Another yeah. batch that came in, like we said, uh, two thousand dollar first prize from Steven Singer Jewelers. Yep. Uh, what's that taking, Melody? Uh, Opie Anthony at SiriusXM dot com. You know what's funny? I like how we have to have like a category, a column for good and a column for bad. Yeah. Because I remember like when this kind of thing would happen back in the day, and you'd air them, and then people would get upset and be like, "Well, how come that one's good? Mine's better than that." Yeah, yeah. They get all <laughs> fucking nasty. And then about like it. you, then you had to have like a winners and losers bracket. It's like, okay, well, here's the ones that are good, that are good, and here's the one that are good because they suck. Right. That they're good. Yes. But there are. There and now, are bad, but now good everybody's happy because now no one complains. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> The hell is that? Oh, it looked like Colin. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. Colin with cancer. <laughs> yeah. Get up this morning. Mm. Yeah, well. Mm. Fox yeah. News. Mm. Yeah. What are you going to do? Mm. I have to uh, tinkle. Yeah, let's take a break, and uh, we'll be back with more shenanigans and hijinks. Don't get the panda angry! <laughs> Serious XM. Yeah, this is the Opie and Anthony Show. Whatever. Whatever. Um, 
we were discussing certain things during the uh, break. It was kind of kind of interesting. Oh, I won't oh, say sure. I won't say freakish or anything or sick or anything. I would. Joe DeRosa is looking for a certain type of girl, I guess. I like I like older women. It's not a see. I you know we've talked about it a lot on here, but older I like women, everybody's going now, ugh at me. No, no, no. How old are you? Thirty five. All right, an older woman for you would be a fifty. Thirty eight. Forty year old woman is an older woman than you. Technically older. That, that's not. A, you know what I mean. That's, that's not horrible. A, you're I want to have you're sex. Disgusted, Jim. I fucking you're can't comprehend it. How old of a woman? Now, now you, you you're can't complete... come without white shoes up in the air. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> how old of a woman is like? If you could fantasize about any age woman, how mm. old of a woman would you be looking for? Uh, 55, 60. 55 or 60 year old woman. You but like wanna... a hot 55. I wouldn't even be friends with one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I loved your show. Really? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but in this day and age, 55, 60 is a very different story from what it was 10 years ago. It's, yes. Yeah, it's it's 10 years older. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they were fucking 45, 50. Now they're 55, 60. Gross to grosser. Now, well, what is it? What is it about that? What, what attracts you <laughs> to a woman? of that uh, age. Oh, I don't know. I just I just like older women. I've always, ever since I was a very young kid, I was at the teacher fantasy, all that stuff. Wow. That's oh, fine, but went on. just to suck their big, <laughs> smelly lamb on. tits. <laughs> oh, yuck. A lot of them had fake tits. <laughs> what? A lot of them have fake tits, so yeah, their tits the real are... ones have been... You know... <laughs> you're telling me... You're telling me... Yeah, yeah. You're going to tell me right now, you wouldn't fuck Raquel Welch or somebody like... You wouldn't no. fuck her? She's 70. No. I might just because it's her. 70. You wouldn't have fucked her at 60. She was smoking. Again, she, no. she's a, but she's a, she's a one in a million rarity. But, that, but that's... I'm saying that kind of vibe. I'm not saying I want to fuck some goddamn... You yeah. know, uh... If yeah. I could... If I was good with... References or riffing. Well, you jerk I off think to, you right to Rula Lenska? Ah, Rula Lenska. Yeah, I'm not saying yuck. I want to fuck B. Arthur. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, or like yeah. that. I'm saying like I want to fuck like a uh, like a sexy older woman. It yeah, but, turns uh, me on. You know, for me, an older woman. So like if she's pushing thirty, I'm like, you'll be lucky if I stick this in you. <laughs> Fucking fifty-five. I wouldn't even give them a uh, ride home. <laughs> I uh, I get younger sometimes, but I can't. I, they annoy the fuck out of me after a while, and I can't do it. You know what I want? A young chick, like 25, 20, between 25 and 30, with a fucking giant meat pussy. That's all I want. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking, like the type uh, of... What about Charo? Mr. Would you Charo. fuck Charo? Coochie, coochie. No, I never... I don't, I don't think Charo was hot even when she was young. She never did I'd it. I'd fuck her me. dead body. She's dead. You like Charo? <laughs> she's not dead. No, she's not dead. But oh, I don't know. There's something I don't know. There's something me. sexy about her. No, I yeah. wouldn't. As no. old as she even is now, yeah. there's something sexy about she's her. No. How about Jaja? Would you would you lift her remaining leg? And stick <laughs> <in>? <laughs> I don't know. Why. I don't know what it is. I no. no. You know, there's no firmness. There's no elasticity or firmness in that. But body these and... days, that's not true anymore. No, it is. It's basic chemistry. That's not true anymore. Talking the moisture is fucking leaving their body like the the salt sucking monster on Star Trek. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Look up fucking uh I'm I'm of course I'm drawing a goddamn blank right now but uh, yeah. but dude that chick that hosts this show that's always on which one the the morning news show that blonde morning coffee the short oh, hair you one? like that fucking uh. Uh, on Morning Joe? That yeah. fucking or morning that Joe. Mika? stick in the mud Tweety Bird she bitch. Stinks. I'm not saying she sounds like a lot of fun to hang out with, but I'm saying she's, she turns me on. She's probably a good fuck because she's such an uptight cunt that she is probably yeah. a fuck. She probably can't get enough dick in her ass. Mika? Yeah, she oh. stinks. <laughs> No, I'd bang her. Other people like her. The second second search is Mika, whatever her last name is, Legs. Legs. Yeah, yeah, she's fuckable. <laughs> Bikini, hot feet. Well, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Jesus. What um, a fucking bore she is, though, on TV. Totally. Uh, who's like an older... Goldie I Hawn? I, I w I'd fuck Susan Sarandon. Oh, God. Absolutely. Yuck. Oh, Absolutely. God. She's Dinks. Old golf ball eyed Susan Sarandon. You fucking <laughs> oh, bang her now? Eyed. You'd bang her now. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I. Yes. Why is that so wrong? You know what? Even if you're not into it, why are you so offended by that? It, it, why does that bother you so much? Do I pass judgment on you in the way yes, you conduct? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> rather fuck Chris you got a good point. Oh, look, <laughs> look at her. Uh, oh, Come I'd on. love to. Oh, my God. That's a grandma Let looking. Let me see her face. I think she's hot. I don't she's care. fucking horrible. She's not hot. She looks like Robert know. Plant. The big fucking... <laughs> <laughs> 
fat round face, that uh, wispy, curly, really shitty does. hair. She really does. What about, f um, oh boy, you're just slubs get hotter as yeah, they are. I forgot to specify female, so I'm getting pictures of Tom Cruise. And oh. 15 hot celebrities with even hotter moms. Oh, I would have banged Goldie Hawn circa the, the fucking Baxter girl. What was that movie they did where they were the, the banger sisters? Oh, that? I would have banged her in that movie. Would you have eaten her ass oh. after Private Benjamin? <laughs> which seems like old times. <laughs> I would have. <laughs> <laughs> Who else do you want to fuck? Donald Pleasance? <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, Helen Mirren in two seconds. Helen Mirren's look too at, old, but she's... But look at that. You wouldn't it, fuck her, Jim? Come on. No. Now, now hey, Helen Mirren is a rare case, maybe, but there's no way that feels as good as it looks. Demi Moore, you wouldn't yeah, fuck Demi Moore. Yes. Demi Moore is fifty. You wouldn't fuck her. Yeah, but she's Hollywood fifty, man. That's that's a lot of work. You're fifty. Talking. But that's what. I'm, but what I'm saying is, is like the average woman now can no. be almost Hollywood because, fifty. No, because you're going to end up with a fifty-five-year-old disaster. You're talking about all this, but when you bed that 55-year-old woman, it ain't going to be Helen Mirren. It ain't going to be Demi Moore. It's going to be some fucking old bat that you find in some gin mill. Yeah, geez, you really just like to take a guy's dreams down to the fucking ground, don't you? <laughs> I'm sorry, Who's Joe. that? Who's Let me that? see. Who's that? I love her. At least from the small picture. Oh, no. Yeah. Click on it. Who is that? It looks like, what's the name from the shit yogurt commercial? Yeah, I'd, I'd, talk Jamie Lee Curtis. I'd still fuck Jamie, Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I wouldn't. I bet she has a big, meaty pussy. <laughs> I've always thought that about her. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't have sex with her now because she crossed over and she looks... Yeah, yeah, she looks. Uh, she old. looks. She yeah. looks like lesbianish. Yes, with the short hair. Because the, the short gray short hair. Short gray so. hair. Yeah, she kind of went the Kelly McGillis route. Oh, Kelly McGillis a disaster. She, Jamie Lee looks better than Kelly McGillis, but she went that same route of yeah. like, I'm just going to turn in the I sexy card up. completely. It's, I give up. <laughs> Click on that, please. Oh, shit. Oh, what is that? You like that? <laughs> Jesus. What about that mess <laughs> from, what about that mess, Samantha, from Sex in the City? Uh, she never turned me on. Even when she was young, she didn't do it for me. But yeah. I, I, Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker in a fucking heartbeat. She's okay. Um... The uh, Charlotte Epsa fucking Lily, the black haired one. How about Rue McClanahan from the Golden no, Girls, the no. saucy one? <laughs> Rue no. The one I was talking about uh, in the break. Betty White? She, no, no, no. The one that I was talking about looked just like Sarah Jessica Parker, by the oh, way. Yeah. I, lo I, I love Sarah Jessica Parker. Yes. Now, wow. I mean, look, you. I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Why the judgment? <laughs> Just, I don't get it. Like it's, I don't judge you. Like I'm happy if you do it, but I mean, I don't get. That's it. true. It's no judging. I guess we're just it's pouring gross. our own taste onto I know, you. I'm and just, thinking, I know. I'm not, you wouldn't fuck Kim Cattrall really and Mannequin. I'm not saying I wouldn't. F she just never really turned me on. There's something about her. She just never. I, I recognize that she's attractive. She just doesn't turn uh, me on. Uh, she's not my. Uh, but she seems like a cool motherfucker. Oh yeah. I've seen her in interviews and oh. stuff. She's really fucking. You know who I? You know who's like an old, old lady who I probably still bang now. Uh, who's that? Bro? Uh, Nancy Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking look who's talking and cheers. Like, I think I'm gonna have John Travolta. Oh, Kirstie Alley. Big fat pig. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Really? Yeah, I don't I, know. Something about her look like I know she's a big fat old lady yeah. now, but something about her. That's if you want to go old and pigging at the same time. <laughs> yeah, she Lisa is a Kudrow. Mess. I'd bang Lisa Kudrow. She's probably pushing 50 at this point. Yeah. Gotta be. I'd probably just eat her ass and praise the comeback. <laughs> How much I love that show. <laughs> you, you, oh, that's an old pick. Come on. That's from January. I'd probably still really? <laughs> She's She's up big again, though. She got big Kirstie, again. Kirstie, she great tits. Shelly Long? I'd fuck Shelly Long right now. Oh, Look up Shelly Long. God, I haven't seen her Rhea in Rhea Perlman's years on single. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather fuck Danny DeVito. <laughs> than Rhea. That's mean. Why'd I say that? Uh, I'm a big fan true. of hers. Um, Look, I'd bang her in a second. Oh, Absolutely. Absolutely. Like I just can't. No, no not can't. in that one. Well, that's what she looks like now. Yeah. Well, all right. Let's I'm say, sorry, Dan. Who is that? Dan Keaton? No, I'd uh, fuck her. I don't know. Who the would fuck you fuck Diane like? Keaton? Uh, I would have. Uh, as, I, I would have up to and including. Something's got to give. After that, <laughs> I when she got a little too like old. Up to and including. Yeah. Oh yeah. How could you? I, I can't look at this motherly thing. No. This grandma looking Gross. women. And and think anything sexual mm -hmm. about them. They make noise when they kiss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It all smells like powder and fucking mm -hmm. like some no. kind of fucking shit they need to Goldie put on themselves. Goldie fucked her face up. She, Goldie'd still be cute if she didn't fuck her face up. With you don't all want the a dully ass hand? Bird. Oh, no. No. She really, god damn, she's had too much surgery. Doughy ass. The, uh, Who the fuck wants that? that? No one. It's like fucking holding a big pillow. <laughs> Go away. Buzz off, lady. Buzz off? 
<laughs> scram. <laughs> it's use all Buzz terms. Off. Oh God. Let me see. That is not Goldie Hawn. Is yes, it? it is. But she's had surgery, and then she let. If you get surgery once, you got to stay on top of it, or else that starts Holy to happen. Holy shit! How old is yeah, she? She doesn't look good. Holy she's got to be seven. She looks oh. like Mark Hamill. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Poor it looks like a fucking a, a mask. That looks yeah. like something you see in a fucking uh, a makeup artist room. Yes. Look up. Uh, look up. Um, what's her face? Who's the chick from fucking? Damn, dude. Who's the chick from? Um, Oh, Meg Ryan? Oh, uh, Shannon, Sharon Stone. Sharon Stone. No, Meg Ryan looks terrible. Sharon Stone, I thought Shannon out. Tweed yeah, still fuck. Oh, God. Oh, Shannon Tweed. Exa- Shannon Tweed is 50 years Stop old. Yeah, hell I'd fuck, yes. She's sexist. Stop it. I would fuck Shannon Tweed, man. You God. can't. You can't. Stop. And don't give me one of those pictures through the Vaseline lens. Fu- right there. You wouldn't fuck this lady. No. Look Let at her. there. She oh, looks like someone's on. fucking grandmother. Oh, stop, stop it. Stop it. She's a grandma. Look. Oh, stop you it. You stop it. I'd fuck her. Stop it, Ant. You're as perverted on the other end of the spectrum as I am. Exactly. <laughs> and I do not judge you. You both like him in diapers <laughs> just for different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> look up Sharon Stone. Look at look at her. Oh, my God. Uh, what's her face? In two seconds. Chrissy oh. for Three's Company. No, I saw her recently. First of all, A, she's a cunt. She didn't want to take pictures with anybody. Su- Susan Suzanne Summers is a flat-assed cunt. Flat assed? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She, didn't want to take photo- she didn't want to take photos with anybody. She's a cunt and an old lady. All right. Sharon Stone, still? Epsa fucking Lutely. Uh, Who's that chick, the blonde? Where? Which? In the yellow dress. She's from some yeah. soap opera. Morgan Fairchild. Oh, Susan Lucci. Oh, Morgan Fairchild. Know. Yeah, Morgan Fairchild still looks great. Really? It's a lot of makeup, but. Yeah, it's just. There's one thing, a Hollywood glamour photo like that, and then them laying down there on the bed or the couch with nothing on, and it would have to be like fucking... Look, this is a know. page designed for me and Ant. Here's mine. <laughs> well, <laughs> Scroll the down. Title, the title of this thread that we found was Oldest Woman You'd Be Willing to Fuck. Right. So then there's and this. There's, here's Ant's section. <laughs> Somebody put a fucking eight-year-old on there or some shit. <laughs> hey, fucking guys. Dude, Ant, I'm uh, telling you, I texted you this a while ago. Oh, yeah, Gina Davis used to be fucking hot, too. She's not hot at all. She's here man. today, actually. Is she really? Yeah, let me Great. see a picture of her. I never found her hot either, though. She Was. never did it for me. Oh, uh, you know what she was hot in? Too tall. A league of her own, uh, Who else do you like? Gina L- Lola Brigida? Oh, she's fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> that Gina Lola Brigida. Who's Gina yeah, Lola Bridget? Some ancient fucking actress. Dude, I texted you this before. Mm. We gotta, I'm telling you, we gotta go to bars and find moms and daughters that hang out with each other. <laughs> oh my God. What, what a oh, twisted oh man you are. God. What is wrong with that? That's kind of sick. You're gross. Why is that sick? I'm not saying know. we gotta fuck them at the same time in the Jesus. same room, you creep. <laughs> I'm just saying we could kill. We could kill with one mop up that market. <laughs> we kill? <laughs> I mean, uh, what mothers and daughters go out and want to have sex? I know. Uh, the L- ones... look, look for older fathers' funerals. They're both grief stricken. The judgments off. Oh god damn! I never found Gina Davis hot, dude. She's fucking hot, man. How are you not seeing these pictures? I never found her hot. Man. Hang on, let me let me get a good. She one. She just did it. She's that. She's got that model thing where she's real tall. I just don't. I don't know. It's not my thing. I don't think she's ugly. I just I, she just doesn't turn me on. I never thought she was incredibly sexy, but in a league of the, dude, she looked really good. Like she just looked really good. She's pretty. She just doesn't oh, do it for me. She's fucking hot. What yeah, time is she here? I want to go kiss her. Uh, <laughs> Listen, her and the other one in that fucking flick, the the little sister too. Ugh. I forgot her name. Amy Lori, L- Lori Petty. Lori Petty. Oh yeah. Ugh. Find some Lori Petty. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Why don't you go outside and look at a rat? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. She Things looks, have changed since 1994. <laughs> she looks terrible. She never was hot. She no. was never She was cute in that hot. movie. Look, she's oh, cute yeah. Little girl. yeah, she's fucking adorable, Daddy. Yeah. She's Gina Davis' <laughs> little sister. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Joe, you, now you're passing judgment. Well, yeah, because yeah, I'm getting kicked around, so I got to throw it on somebody <laughs> well, else no, for a little look, while. I, I will agree with you. She oh, yeah, looks awful. She, looks like right. she was no. in the fucking secret of Nim. <laughs> uh, she does not look good now. Maybe twenty something yeah. years ago, she looked fucking, okay. Jeez, stinks. Joe, just because you like a 
Uncle Junior in a wig. That's funny. Yeah, he, he was the only one who was fucking, he couldn't jerk off anymore when the mom died after season two. <laughs> uh, All right, Lori Petty looks good there. All right, yeah, yeah. All right, she she, off, she had though. a little she had a little vibe going on. All right, I'm, I was wrong. Little bit, little bit. That's, uh, that's Dice, would you man. fuck Lori Petty? <laughs> I ride in a race hole. <laughs> hey, hey, come here. Hey, a, a cock of your own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me glue shut those baby blues. <laughs> goosh, goosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, she looks really hot there with that fucking. Yeah, she looks like fucking Katy Perry there. What? Oh. She's got those big eyes making that face. Oh, oh she looks really hot there. Go down to that one. She, naked? Oh, she looks old with fucking gray hair. Oh. Yeah, who else do you like? <laughs> Kim Carnes? Kim, <laughs> Kim Carnes. <laughs> <laughs> this lady. You wouldn't bang this lady on Fox right now, the blonde. Well, yeah, she's one she's, of those Fox like news yeah. girls. But that's my. But she's like fifty. This is my point. She I'm saying no that's. 50, I want to fuck a, a, you like a fuck hot Edie Falco. No, I don't <laughs> find Edie Falco hot. I want to fuck a hot older woman like she that. Ain't fifty. Well, I what is she? Forty-five. No, I bet she's early forties. I don't know, dude. Uh, yeah, when you say fifty-five, sixty, that's fucking. <laughs> All right, maybe like I'm exaggerating crazy. a little no, bit. No, you're not, because you thought about it. And that's where your fantasy lies. Why are you going to throw me under the bus like this? Fucking <laughs> He's throwing you under the wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about Greta Van Susteren? Yeah. Do you like Greta? Here's the thing. Nice if sexy name like Greta. Off, do off, awkward any, kisses. Do any yeah. older women listen to the show? No. None, right? How about women? By <laughs> accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Uh, no, I don't think they do. There you go. Look at Grandma. Oh, Joe, pick one off that page. Mary Tyler Moore that isn't famous. Is that Third Helen row, right? At the end on the red. Helen Mirren, top right. Yeah. Absolutely, Mary Tyler Moore in that picture. Mary Tyler Absolutely. Moore. Absolutely. You told her. me to pick one off the page. What do you want from me? <laughs> I'm doing my best here. What you're throwing at me? Uh, right there, fucking. Uh, what's her face? Oh Bernadette Peters. Absolutely, fucking Lutley. Bernadette, Bernadette Peters. Peters huh? Yeah, there you go. Fucking ingenue of Broadway. Oh, you know what we should really be looking at? Because we should be looking at like sixty-year-old women and then mug shots because those are the real sixty-year-old women. <laughs> That's what they look like the next morning without the makeup. Yeah, yeah. You're when right. They... This is an accurate depiction. Mm -hmm. it is. That old lady kiss. Mm -hmm. oh, there you Your go. charm bracelets <laughs> rattling. <laughs> well, no, she's gross. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. I wouldn't have sex with Come her. Come on, honey. Oh. Show me what you got. What about Lauren? Oh. Yeah, Laura here. No, I th these are dregs of society. <laughs> hair. Their hair's like straw. It lost yeah. every bit of that youthful, s silky vibrance. Yeah, but these are real women. Oh, these shut up. You just want to fuck girls and stuff to use baby shampoo. No. Nothing wrong with that. Nice little fucking Johnsons in your yeah, eyes. Who wants tears in Who wants yeah, tears? No, no, more, no more tears. No more tears. <laughs> From <So> me. <laughs> if you. If, look. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> How about uh, Cheryl Ladd now? Let's see. Uh, and Cheryl, let's look at all the Charlie's Angels except for old ass cancer. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? She's dead. What do you know? Was you a fuck Farrah on her side? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'd fuck Cheryl Ladd now. Absolutely. Without yeah. a doubt. Without that's a fair. fucking doubt. What look like? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, I can't. I'm all not, right, I can't find a, not, a terrible picture. I'm not passing judgment. <laughs> this, <laughs> that's all I'm doing. Yeah. There's a. Oh, forget I, I don't it. Go for the older chicks. No, no. Cheryl, and Ladd. they're all entitled to chicks in, fucking, yeah. the chicks in the thirties and forties. I should say late thirties. They want you to pick them up. They're the fucking worst. <laughs> You're right. They're not as giving as 22-year-olds. I'm telling you. you. Try getting a naked picture from someone that fucking who's 35 or 36. Ah, oh, you know, you got to take me out to eat. Hello? Hello? It's, it's Click. It's... Fuck you. <laughs> Class of 86. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks her hearing's going. You just hug up on her, though. Oh, it just annoys me. Um... No, but come on, dude. You can say that about you could say that about young chicks too. You gotta you gotta take them out. You gotta fucking 
You could say that older women are there's no bullshit. There's, there's no a games. lot of bullshit. I've tried with older women oh, recently. They they're all, got all bu bullshit. A lot more bullshit. But, than but there's a lot women. of bullshit with younger chicks too. Not the same it's type of bullshit. Type. And it's tolerable bullshit. Because it's young uh, pussy. Depending <laughs> on what you're willing to put up with. But you, you know what I mean? Uh, look, here's 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 the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. 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 Just oh, man. hear I'm me out. You. Just I'm hear me you. out for I'm a second. Uh with a younger chick, you got to deal with this type of bullshit. Uh, we were supposed to hang out, and then she fucking flaked. We're going to hang out, but she's upset that I don't want to go do karaoke with her and her friends first. Um, we're supposed to hang out, but she's too fucking drunk, and she's tell and she's being annoying and stupid. That's bullshit with a younger chick. Now, is it tolerable? Well, it depends on what your tolerance level is for stuff like that. With an older chick, there's a different series set for bullshit, but if you're willing to deal with... Uh, you know, she wants to be fucking taken to dinner, or she wants to. You, you see what I'm saying? It's just different. Older women are fucking flakes. They cancel. They suck. That's not true. It is. Older women are way more into accountability than younger chicks. Ugh, I think. I can't stand them. Mm. This is. I'm going to lose this argument. It's Nobody's not even an argument. No, it's just but, a taste thing, you know. But nobody. It's this is a losing debate here. No, a lot Mar of guys Marissa agree with you. Tomei. Marissa Tomei. Marissa Tomei. Marissa Tomei. She might be the winner. Yeah, because she's, she's like amazing. 47 and she looks really, really good. She's fucking amazing. And she's a woman. She's a real woman who's lived and has thoughts. One of the new mics that coming in. That whole story is bullshit. Oh, come when on. you talk about, well, oh, she's got those experiences. And ah, they'll just run through the mill at that age. Yeah. <laughs> oh, giving up on every bit of fucking happiness and fantasy and fucking imagination. It all comes down to the realism that the womb is drying up. I like how you talk about pussy like you're Walt Disney right now. <laughs> <laughs> Would you bang uh, Bailey J? Oh, in a second. Oh, God. <laughs> I've come to the decision that I would, if oh. I hooked up with Bailey J, I would absolutely suck her dick. Wow. I finally have come to like the conclusion of that. You would. It took me a long time You'd to figure it out, there. but I would. Everyone else figured it out immediately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We all had you <laughs> pegged on that one. <laughs> Now, Gwen now, Stefani might be the hottest mom that there ever was. She's retarded, huh? Yeah, it's ridiculous. How old yeah. is she? She's like 42 or, or three. I thought she was younger. Hmm. So you'd, you'd fucking just latch your mouth around I that think... fat man's cock. Yeah, but just her, though. Hey, hey, I, I don't hey, want hey. to do that with any other tr tranny. Like, I, we've been down this road. Oh, the old dirt road. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. <laughs> um, When's the new mics coming in? By the way, the Rob said Monday. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, Michelle Pfeiffer, yeah. totally. Oh God, look at she's like a grandma. I wouldn't fuck her after Grandma's. Scarface. Look at those you titties on Gina Davis. Let me see. Let me see Gina. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't fuck then. Michelle Pfeiffer after Scarface. Okay. You wouldn't fuck. I, I, oh, okay. I'd fuck her in Hollywood Nights first. That Which is of Eastwick. She's fucking really hot. Yeah, I remember movie. she was good in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah right. she was pretty. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Come back from the bathroom after a nice Activia shit. <laughs> Just, Hi, Joe. There is nothing worse than watching Jamie Lee Curtis push fucking regularity oh, on TV. It's all about taking a good dump with her. Look, Heather Locklear in a fucking well, this New is, this York is, minute. That age is not correct. So that's that's a f this is four years ago. So you could add four to every number that you see. Uh, okay. So oh, she's fi so she's fifty uh, one. Okay. Yes, Taliona total. Yeah. Taliona's only forty six. Oh no, forty six. Yeah, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Patricia Arquette got fat, but I would say? fuck her. Oh, yeah. Not there. She got big though, man. If you watch her on Medium, she's a little big. Courtney Cox definitely. I've never seen Medium. Mm. Hollywood chicks are the wrong. Gina Gershon is that her? Who's that? Who is that right there? Right there with the fucking light blue. Kelly Hugh. Oh, yeah. Kelly Hugh. Mm. I fuck her. Oh yeah. <laughs> Michelle Absolutely. Pfeiffer still looks good. There you go. Yeah. Lucy yeah. Lawless. Yeah, look, you'll, you'll find some hot Kristen chicks in that Davis. age group. But basically... Jennifer Tilly, yeah. Jennifer Tilly? Of course I'd suck her tits. Uh, she's fat now, right? Jennifer Tilly's fat? I think, well, I think, so. well, I think, I think she, she she's always all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up yeah. and down. Yeah. Up and she's down. one of those fat teeters. She's like Britney Spears where you're like, if it's right on point, it's on point, but it could explode at any minute. Is that the high limit? Riding we, the high limit all the time. Yeah, it's like right there. Just at the high oh, tolerance. She looks great, man. I don't know. That dress hides a lot. Mm. Who's that? Mm. Tell but you can that. tell here. There's not a lot of fat here. Yeah. This isn't all fat. You know what? You would make a much more uh, honest assessment of these women if there were nude pictures of them. 
because you're looking at them at their fucking ultimate best, dressed with all the fucking gear they need to hold everything up and cinch it down and tie it back. With their spanks on. Right. How would you like it if the young ladies that you date looked at you with this sort of discrimination? I'm sure most do. <laughs> hey, why the fuck do you think, like today, I'll be swinging kettlebells with my trainer? Right. Yeah. That's the what way, these girls are doing. With women, it's different, my friend. They fall apart real fucking quick. And it's a provider. Imagine now how many of them would fuck Ant if he was broke and not famous. You know what I mean? Like what, in... what you provide is 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 fucking is is, is Ant provides what a man's supposed to provide at that age. Uh, what a woman is not able to provide at that age, which is, is her I, looks. Uh... But these women could provide those things. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying it's that different. they don't like you, but you There's know what I mean. There's an extreme double standard on men and women. Men, but my point men is, is if providing. You were... We have to provide. If we can give them a comfortable life, that's what they look for in us. They look women, for different shit. Women you call old, men get distinguished. Yes. <laughs> yeah, if you were broke. <laughs> yeah. If you were fucking broke. <laughs> right. And you wanted to bang chicks in their 20s. Uh-huh. I'm sure you still would. Right? Jesus. <laughs> what? <All> right? <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. How would you like it if they go, ew, gross, you have no imagination? At your age. You got no vision. Ugh. All right. Well, Ugh. maybe when you reach fucking 60, you could get some sick fetish bitch that'll fuck you. <laughs> but the, but I, you understand. For, do you see my point? Women don't look at it that way. Women look at older guys <laughs> differently. Than we look Are you at older saying women. you date sick fetish bitches? No, I'm saying you're a sick fetish guy. And when you reach 65, some woman, some girl's going to want to fuck you. And she'll hey. be as twisted as you are right now. Hey, glass houses, Aunt. Glass houses. That's I know. All I'm We're just say. lobbing stones over here, glass. aren't we? <laughs> but no, it's, it's realistic. Men, as we get older, I'm younger not chicks insulting will fuck you. Us. You are you insulting him. Am I insulting him? No. 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 Oh, oh. <laughs> the, uh, do you, I'm just trying to make the point of, you know, if the shoe was on the other, you know, if, what, if what's you want the, the thing? shoe was on the other. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the cane is in the other hand. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the hurricane. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Look, I just like older chicks. Oh, no. oh, yeah. If there's it's any older women listening older right person. now, I, drop me a line. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, get on your fucking jitterbug and, uh, <laughs> and fucking text. Oh, can you text on the jitterbug with the giant buttons so they could just... <laughs> Dial them 911 in their speed dial. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus, you're a fucking uh, cocksucker, you know that? That's great. God damn it. Yeah, Listen. That's fucking nice. Imagine you take her to a fucking wedding, you gotta, you gotta do that wheelchair dance with her. <laughs> She's in her hover round. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Everybody thinks she's the greeter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. You're fucking Captain Christopher Pike. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, older ladies. Look what Ashton yeah. Kutcher did. He had an older lady fetish, and then Demi Moore hits 50, and he's like, what am I doing? And he gets oh, Mila Kunis. Oh, man. Ah. See? See that? What happened? I'm not a big Mila Kunis fan. No? She doesn't have much of an ass on her. She doesn't, and she... She... She what? You know, I'm trying not to be insulting for no reason, but she looks, she just looks to me like one of those chicks where, like, if you, if you super all up, she looks great, but I just feel like in the morning, she's nowhere near that fucking hot. Really? Let me see. She just strikes me as that kind of chick. I don't know why. There's just something about her. Oh, no makeup. Yeah, let's look. Let's see. Mila Kunis, no makeup. See? She's got kind of a weird head. Yeah. Let me see. See? Let's get a full. Um... Oh. You know, it's, it's, I think for no makeup, you could do a lot worse. Yeah, I'm not saying she's awful. I'm just saying, like, when people go and she's the hottest girl in the world, it's like, come on, guys. She's not. There's, there's. Well, I, dude, I saw her on, like, uh, Family Guy Live where they just do, like, two hours of Family Guy, like, on a stage. I couldn't take my eyes off her. Like, she was really beautiful and she was very sexy, but I knew deep down, like, it's all I'm just. Just phony. gonna keep throwing things at the wall till somebody agrees with something <laughs> I say. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, in some of those days, I'll you just... suck Bailey J's uh, dick. I'll suck it <laughs> there too. You go. Yeah, well, you know, everyone's on board there, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the corner with a cock in my mouth, jerking off to a fucking geriatric magazine. <laughs> you, you lost me at geriatric. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Well, I don't know. It's Kunis, just... you know, you know, but dude, look at look at the jump. That's the picture that, that ruined it for me forever. Yeah, look. She really That's the picture that ruined it for me forever. She's got no ass. No she's got ass. no boobs. Mm. 
She's real tiny, and she looks like her. She would have that weird uh, Indian girl skin up around her legs and vagina. Do you know what I'm talking about? That weird blotchy. Like, why is there like white spots up here? Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. I thought you were going to mention, like, maybe hair above her, the small of her back. Oh, she looks like, yeah, <laughs> she looks like she needs to have waxings done daily. But look at her there. She's smoking there. Look at her face there to the other picture. Let me see the ass on the, uh, that. Hmm. Nothing. It's just flat. I mean, look, she obviously has two chunks of flesh that make up something called an ass. Yeah. But that's nothing impressive that I want to. I'm, I'm never calling my friends going, you got to see this. Not, well, not for the ass. That's the face part and everything of it. Else I will. That's part of it. She looks, like the, she, she looks like the kind of girl you'd fuck at like a fucking festival where you camp out. She's got a, like a real flip flops, <laughs> really? tank like top a look to girl her. Kind of a thing. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't think so. <laughs> Not her. I know the type you're talking about, but um, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Well, what's that? All right. <laughs> I guess those are what Maxim pictures or something. Yeah, something like that. She but she won like the like, GQ's uh, like sexiest. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm that. saying. She Sexy is not the bitch of all time, motherfucker. Or some shit. I don't know. There's no way Jessica Biel blows her out of the fucking water. Oh shit! Jessica Biel Scarlett, is retarded hot. Scarlett Johansson hot. is the sexiest woman in Hollywood. Scarlett Johansson, very sexy. Yeah. But also, but maybe, another give, fat teeter. Give her another thirty years, maybe. Right, Joe? She's another. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how she stands up so straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. Let time do some work on her spine, then I'm That's fucking right. in. I like uh, a girl that can wash down her boniva with whiskey. <laughs> uh, oh, man, those are the pictures. That's a fucking ass. Yeah, that's a great ass. God. Jim, Fuck. would you take your face and like, prop it right in that? Just fucking spread the cheeks apart and just stick your fucking nose in there? I would yes. try to live inside of it. <laughs> yes, I would. All right. That's all your testimony. <laughs> would you go? Ah, I'm sitting out of my own business with her father. <laughs> <laughs> She's hot, man. She's hot, but I, but I, bur I burn out on her because you know uh, what I mean? Yeah. It was everywhere all the time. Mm. She mm -hmm. wasn't concealed enough, and mm -hmm. now it's like, all right. A little overexposed? It's like seeing, you know, yeah, it's like after you see a porn star too many times, you're like, all right, she doesn't, it doesn't turn me on anymore. As opposed to Susan Sarandon, who's been <laughs> hidden. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? But you know what I mean. We've seen a lot of sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up uh, Jessica Biel, man. Jessica Biel. The uh... hottest. The yeah, most you... retarded body ever. I left ass in there. You're feeling yeah, that? You're well, feeling you should, dude. Her body. Look at her. Yeah, look at her right. fucking body, dude. Yeah, you're right. Look at that oh, right there, dude. She yeah. is fucking Let's see. Pop retarded. That up. Let's see. It's a little. Uh, what's going on there with Hang that on. fucking? Uh, oh, okay. Oh. Well, you know what? Oh, who's that one that She's was married? Nothing, Timberlake. That was dating that uh, Jamie Kennedy dude. If Jennifer, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Hewitt. She's, she's, yeah. No. No. Maybe like. She's she's not what uh, happened? ten years ago. But... Ten years ago, yeah, yeah. No. Maybe I feel bad five saying years. That, but no. Jennifer Love Hewitt, yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah. You got put. No. Oh, now, oh boy, they can. Oh boy, yeah. Look at this though, dude. Go to oh, that. Boy. Yeah. Oh boy, oh that guy has Jennifer Love Hewitt, but he's got that one. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, God. What the fuck happened to her? She's got one of those problem bodies. She's squat and thick, and you can't be short and thick. You got to have a little height on you if you're going to be oh, thick. Oh, man. You don't wow. like her brontosaurus legs? <laughs> brontosaurus. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> my her fucking eye roll oh. cigars legs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. That's a problem there. Doesn't but it look like her. She's, These are old pictures too. Like if she she old, she doesn't have to do a lot to clean up very well. But she's too short to be that thick, dude. You can't be that short and that thick. It goes to shit. I think she's got to. Uh... Yeah, it's more like Jennifer like Hewitt. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's 2007. So you know, I'm hope I'm 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 going for improvements. Oh, since. she fucking went to the beach like that. She doesn't give a fuck. You know? She's already she on the fucking horse whisperer. What she the doesn't give a care. Hmm? I bet she does care. I like that. I gotta fix my prick. What? 
Watch this good. What are you doing? You getting a little excited? Yeah. No, my helmet was getting pushed inside. You know when the head what? gets shoved inside the tube because it's pressing against your pants the wrong way? No. No. That's like a little dick thing that happens. Yeah. Is I didn't the... say I had a fucking horse <laughs> cock over here. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my, the head of my penis sometimes uh... gets pushed inside the shaft. What? You know it's very uncomfortable <laughs> when your ball I wear tighties. Bag, when your ball bag comes out the side of your leg of your tighties a little bit and you gotta walk around you're trying to fix it. You ever have them like come out in a pant leg when the elastic isn't very good? You know what? No. You know what no, I haven't. How does it feel to get disagreed with? <laughs> I don't like it very much. No, Josh. it doesn't feel very nice coming from a pal, does it? I don't it? think I like it very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is she wearing there? Oh, just something. Jennifer fantastic. Love. She looks you great it. there. She's wearing like and plastic wrap and, and this or is recent. This is from from earlier. And this she uh, shaped up she, a little. All right, then she dropped weight. She, looks she must good. have been she going through a good. time or something. She was going through a time. Yeah, that time was called fucking Jamie Kennedy. Oh man. Want to hear an amazing uh. tweet? Yeah. From Colin Quinn. Oh, Colin. Hmm. Tebow has officially trademarked the Tebow move. I did the same with my I don't give a care shrug and my kiss my grits point to the butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, terrible. Oh, is, is he a Nancy on that Twitter? <laughs> I'm sure he'll get a bunch of answers from uh, from people that um, think he's an idiot. Not funny anymore. And Hey, Colin, why don't you give it up? Kiss People that don't grits. understand. They don't get what he's doing. Kiss my grits. Kiss my grits point. The ass point. <laughs> That's hilarious. hilarious. That's great. <laughs> I stopped reading the mentions. I won't read my mentions anymore. Why? What happened? Why? I'm Because I'm sick of it. I just, I, I don't care anymore. Yeah. I don't want to hear every fifth or tenth person going, fuck you, you, you know, what? I, I'm just sick of it. It's every like second person. I'm just, yeah, I'm not, I, I don't want to do it anymore. So... So how do you know who's responding to your, your tweets? I don't yeah. give you a don't care. fuck. You don't care. give a care? I don't give a fuck if you respond. Uh, and people that say nice things, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. But, like, the cunt ruined it, and, and that's it. Like, I don't care. I'm using it to tweet out fucking dates. If people don't want to follow me because of that, I don't give a fuck. And to get some old broads. No. Yeah. No, you don't I'm want to done. get some I changed books? my Facebook page over to just a like page. I'm done. Yeah? I'm done. I don't want to do it. I hate it. I can't You're fucking done stand fucking this shit. social media. Why do I have to be fucking friends with people that want to tell me I'm a fucking asshole or whatever? It's like I don't care anymore. You know what? Yeah, you're all right about that. I'll, I'll agree with you. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> they are a bunch of assholes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you know, and there's, there's cool people out there, too, but it's, you know, it's just... It's annoying. If you want to get in touch with me, they'll figure it out, you know? Mm. But, uh... Yeah. Wow, that's, uh... That's pretty bold in this day and age. Oh, speaking of plugs... You know, most people don't do that. Oh, yes. My uh, web series comes out today, Jim. Yes, yes. You were in an episode of it. I was, and I, I, I was uh, kind of happy with how it came out. Kind of happy? Well, I hate watching myself more than... Oh, anything. why? You're great at it, dude. It, it came out good, but it was, you know, I just don't like watching myself. Jimmy's very good on uh, film. He was great. He was fucking great, and it's funny, and, and I thank I you again. I would have redone it. No, you didn't need to redo Aww, it. No, it was Jimmy. Jimmy. I'm just saying. Come on, it was, it was great. I'm he said saying. that like four times on set. He goes, if you need to reshoot anything, I'll come right down and do it. I was, oh. I was really touched that he, he was like that... Yeah. ...committed to it, you know? Bill Burr and Opie did a good uh, episode. Anthony did an episode... Um, yeah, who else did it? Bonnie, Bonnie McFarland's in one, Bonnie. Uh, and then some other people. Carmine uh, uh, Famiglietti, uh. who was in that movie Pounds, he was actually he did something for you guys years and years ago, and he said they did some song and you guys trashed him. But he brought us six hundred in Iraq. You're right. Iraq gave me the fucking thumbs down, and he's right. Yeah. But there, anyway, what are we waiting for on uh, YouTube.com slash The Warner Sound? Please watch it. Yes. We watch should. them. They're very good. And we also, I have to plug dates, too. Well, you, you, we have some production. I mean, uh, yeah, because the jingle contest the, is still oh, right, going yes. on. You can send stuff to Obi Anthony at SiriusXM.com. Mm -hmm. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony, if you like grody jokes. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's the best character. It's so annoying, man. It's the best one. Oh, is that, a is that terrible? Yes. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. Okay, 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 okay. You didn't like it? Uh -huh. <laughs>
Opie and Anthony. Opie <laughs> and Anthony. Opie and Anthony, if you like grody jokes. Jokes? Ugh. It's good. I hate what you do with your voice. It's very good. No. I love it. I think it's a great fucking character. It's god awful. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's fucking terrible. <laughs> uh, this weekend, yeah. um, I'll be in, oh. in Philly. What am I, a cheese stick or something? Oh. It's, everything's sold out except for the Late Show Thursday and yeah. Sunday, if you want to come have a Sunday. <laughs> and then, Friday, November 9th, I'll be in Toronto at the Dark Comedy Festival. Like, hello, get some lights. <laughs> and then November 15th through 17th, I'll be in Addison. Oh my God, why don't you just add a daughter or something? That's Valley Chip. <laughs> well, it's something like Oscar Addison from The Odd People. They're different, you cocksucker. It's Oscar Madison played by Jack Klugman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that it for that? I know we got, yes. um, uh, oh, the presidential debates at, uh, tonight. So um, if you want. Go to ustream.com. Pop in a comment. Vice round. or presidential? Uh, presidential. Another one? Yes. It's the last one about foreign policy. Oh. Uh, ustream.com. Pop a compound in the search engine. I'll be there at like 9 o'clock and do a simulcast of said debate. Big Ooh. show tomorrow. Yes. 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 We got, um, who's coming in tomorrow? Fucking. Oh, the big show. Yeah. Big show. Yeah. There's, big uh, show is tomorrow. Show. Oh. The big show? Big show is uh, going to be Is DL here. coming in tomorrow Maybe or did early. he reschedule? <laughs> 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 that was like the third time. Uh, the big show. Uh, Peter Chris. What? Oh, I forgot firsty, about firsty. that. Peter Chris. No, you didn't. No, of course not. I'm obsessed. <laughs> it's all I'm thinking of. Of course of. you are. I, I, I fucking, re I turned down Leno for tomorrow. What? They offered, I was supposed to do Leno, uh, Thursday, but they had wow. a scheduling conflict, and they're like, could you do it Tuesday? Who's oh, a bigger man. deal for you, Peter Chris or The Big Show? Uh, um, uh, Peter. Well. Chris? Uh, <laughs> I couldn't even think I had to answer that. Yeah, sure. Um, His books. I know, I know, of course, I'm going to praise it. It's the most revealing fucking rock biography I've ever read. Some of the stuff he says in there is absolutely not going to make the other guys happy. Really? Yeah, it's great. I, I can't love, wait to hear uh, his take on some book. of this Gene Simmons stuff, seeing as how I really am not a fan of Gene Simmons. Well, I think yeah. you and Pete will have a lot in common. Oh, righty, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, he dishes the dirt. Yeah. I like a good dirt disher when it yeah. comes to that. I don't like these books where they're all coy. I like when they come right out and slam people. He didn't care. Where's right. Gene? I want to get a picture of Gene Davis. Yeah. Yeah. After we just trashed her. <laughs> We didn't trash I her. Didn't. No. I don't think we trashed Susan her. Susan Sarandon, we trashed. Yeah. She reminds me of this. She's like the same type. I have yeah. a little fucking respect. Bunch of old hey. ladies. Hey. Yeah. My friend went to jail for giving oral sex. <laughs> what? <laughs> In Kansas. <laughs> They're interfering with people's relationships, uh, <laughs> marriages. Oh, uh, God. She was asking for it, and my friend gives her oral sex. No. Sure. <laughs> sure. And he goes to jail, because everybody's so bigoted. Ugh. Yeah, that's, that's disgusting. When did that happen? I know. It gave him life. That is disgusting. <laughs> no, it's the act that's disgusting. Mind your business. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's terrible. Well, he was giving oral to a four-month-old girl. <laughs> And he was, uh, what, 25? Yeah, yeah, he's a good boy. What the fuck, He's man. spreading joy. <laughs> Horrible. I spreading and those, joy. And those killjoys gave him jail. How do you fucking... They gave him life. This is the problem. How do you what? How do you do that? <laughs> no. You gotta, I, the hard part no, is the no, legs no, are always... No, no, no. I didn't even ask. The legs are always kicking at I your ears. I wasn't asking oh, Uncle Paul. Oh, boy. Don't, <laughs> it's, you ever get kicked in the ear with a... <laughs> <laughs> you, ever get, uh, <laughs> you ever get kicked in the ear with a baby? <laughs> ah, it'll pop your eardrum. The little baby heels. They were a lot stronger than they think. <laughs> I got that back out. Ow! <laughs> you just kicked me in both my ears at the same time. <laughs> Bad boy slash girl. 
Fucking A. Junior uh. Davis just walked by oh, while Uncle Paul was. <laughs> oh, she did. Oh, there she goes. Did she go that way? Where? Yeah. Ah. Is, she went, is she going to the gay channel? Uh, I believe so. It looks that way. We're going into the gay zone. The Fly is one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh, I forgot she was oh, in that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that is a good one. Her, her Grundle Fly. Bloom. Yes. Oh, very creepy. So creepy, man. Yeah. You know? He does a great job in that yeah. one. Oh, a fly <laughs> got into the telepod. <laughs> Fucking creep. <laughs> they hire him. They go, just just be Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, yeah, you're Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> go. Just do. Jeff, uh, just act like yourself. He's always Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. yeah he didn't even know they were... <laughs> he didn't even know what the plot of the movie was. <laughs> Just be yourself. Why do we got to keep talking about flies the whole time? Just be yourself. <laughs> oh, he's so creepy. I love him, man. I fucking love him. Wasn't this everybody's favorite part of Jurassic Park? When Jeff Goldblum is just lounging with his shirt off for oh, no apparent reason? shirt open and yeah, <laughs> no, I yeah. didn't like that part. Oh, Jimmy. Well, I did. It was my favorite. He's a good looking dude, man. Uh, Literal Jimmy. He old enough for you? <laughs> he is. So would you suck his cock, too? Eh, uh, you know. <laughs> put a wig on, maybe. <laughs> Fucking uh, generals when he gets old. <laughs> <laughs> I look like Mess young Goldblum. <laughs> Mess space. Uh, well, what a what a great time uh, sure. I've had today, Joe DeRosa. Thanks so much for for popping in. Thanks for having me, guys. It was a lot of fun per oh, usual. I had a nice uh, time. Of course, young Sam. Thank you. Stay tuned for uh, the uh, sh uh, after show Love made that. of shit. Uh, it's coming up next. Uh, Danny Ross, thank you so much for having everything on the fucking computer the second we asked for it. Something yeah. we are never, ever used to. Dr. Gay, Johnny on the spot with his, um, a what? With his, uh, uh, uh disc of... It's Travis Gay, MD. <laughs> Travis Gay, MD. I like that. And, of course, uh, the guy on the board. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Chipper? <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Roland's got a police shirt or something. What are you going to jail or something? Oh no, it's the band Police. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Valley Chip? Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> He's, he nodded his head in, in sheer excitement. Yeah, it's Valley Chip. <laughs> I hate Valley Chip, too. Believe me. Yeah. Well, you that? should go hate something else or something. <laughs> <laughs> you're grody. How come you're not shrink <laughs> <laughs> uh, Take us out, you elephant. <laughs> uh, let her rip. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony, if you like grody jokes. show continues. continues. This is After ONA Live. Here's your host, Sam Roberts. Yes, 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 it is. If you're looking to get a call in today, I see you. You know, because these days that Opie's not here. I see you guys try to get your calls in. I look at the phone's ring, and I think to myself, these poor, poor people. Because they'll call, and they'll wait on hold, something in their head they have something to say there's something that they want to get across and they've already played it out in their heads they're thinking oh my god aunt's gonna laugh or jim is really gonna love my observation on da 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 wait till joe DeRosa hears my take on older women but i gotta tell you guys there's a 99 percent chance maybe 99.9 .9 chance that if you call on a day that it's just Aunt and Jim, you're not going to get picked up. For whatever reason, they don't trust you. They don't want to talk to you. They don't want to hear what you have to say. They're happy to have you listening. And even that I'm not terribly sure about. They want to do the show by themselves without your input. So if you wanted to get a call in, you can call me now. 866-WOW-1-WOW. 866-969-1969. Where'd Roland go? Eric? I don't know. He was just in here doing... Uh, I haven't been talking to him. I don't know. He was just in here doing Valley Gym impressions, so I thought that was something we should share, because apparently Roland does voices. 
Did you see where he went, Sal? No, I'm going to go find him. Down the hall. Sal, the big star today. Eric, did you learn anything on the show? I learned that karma has caught up with Dominic Barbara. That's true. That was uh, the first hour. Yes. How great must it feel for Ant to see somebody like that go through hard times? I mean, Dominic Barbara, uh, now he's broke. He's got no house. He's trying to sell weight loss pills. And this is a guy who spent so many years of his life making his money through the misery of others. What I don't understand, what I can't comprehend, is how can a lawyer not realize their consequences to his actions? Like, how can a lawyer, a divorce attorney, get married four times and every time not realize it's the wrong woman? How can, you know, how can an attorney pussy. have charges for contempt of court? You think it's just pussy rolling? Yeah. But he's seen the ugly side. Like, he's been exposed to the very worst. Dominic Barbara. Oh, I don't know. And now, he's shit out of luck, and he's acting like we should all, you know, be sad because, you know, he wasn't happy at one point. Because now he's finally happy because he's losing weight and blah, blah, blah. I think he was gaining weight because he wanted this sort of sense of regal importance. Because he loved being on TV, and he loved doing his radio appearances, and he loved being a star. And now all of a sudden, this guy who spent his living making li- making lives miserable has a little misery in his own life, and he's surprised by it. And he wants sympathy for it. Karma. Karma. What is karma, Roland? It's, it's a, a bitch. It's a bitch. You bet it is. It's uh, Best served cold. Karma is a bitch that's best... Is that the expression, karma is best served? I think revenge. No, no, it's definitely karma. It's karma. Okay, you saw, you're saying it's definitely... Yeah. You're saying karma... So the expression is karma is a bitch best served cold. Absolutely. Not <laughs> not revenge is a dish best served cold. I've never uh, heard that one before. E-Rock, you know phrases. Is it karma is a bitch best served cold? I'll or, go with that. That's the one. All right, Roland. Yeah. I apologize for trying to correct you there. Uh, you were right again. I should have stopped after the karma is a bitch. And <laughs> yeah, let it, let it sit there. You, you had one. But it, it, and it's not even karma. It's like it's sociopathic to not realize when you're holding other people accountable for their actions to not realize the responsibilities of your actions. It's like, well, but this is what you do. You know what happens to people who do this. Guys like you make their lives miserable. And so now you're behaving like this and you expect nobody's going to make your life miserable. They I, should. And I it should be twice. You think so? Yeah, well, you're that powerful. Like, I'm untouchable. He's just one of these guys who thinks the rules don't apply to him, that he's this big Hollywood Dominic Barbara, and he can go and do whatever he wants. He well, now, probably didn't lose anything financially, though. He's got no house. Not sure. He's living in a hotel or on clients' couches, for God's sake. And he's in violation of a restraining order, so he'll be, uh, he'll be brought up on charges again. Why would a famous lawyer violate a restraining order? If anybody understands the rules of a restraining order, it's lawyers. I believe it was, from what I read online, multiple times. He's, they just caught him at this point. He's sociopathic. He's got to be. It's the only possible explanation. And, I mean, and that goes to Roland's point of thinking he's untouchable. He probably like, I, I know, I know a loophole. Like, he just, yeah, he thinks the rules don't apply to him, and that when he gets caught doing whatever, he'll be able to either, you know, work with somebody who he knows. He brings in a bunch of empty boxes. Yeah, yeah, bring in empty boxes and say, all these boxes say that I'm innocent. He kind of looks like Mike Francesa a little bit. He does. He looks a lot like, especially when he was fat. He definitely looks like, now, but he's lost weight, and he looks like, like a white Al Sharpton. Like, it's very strange. It doesn't look like healthy weight loss. We were watching MSNBC the other night. And Jess doesn't pay attention to what Al Sharpton does. But Jess goes, she, this is Al Sharpton. He's lost all this weight. And Jess goes, oh, my God, what happened to Al Sharpton? I go, what do you mean? She goes, well, he's sick. What's wrong with him? I go, no, no, no. He's, he's, this is him losing weight. This is him dieting. It's the same thing that's happening to Dominic Barbara. I guess these diet pills. Did Dominic have the, the uh, st- stomach staple? Uh, he said he's trying to sell diet pills to people. I don't know if he's down in vitamins and it's stopping him from eating all these meals, but whatever it is. Uh, we'll go to John. John, welcome to After Open Anthony Live. Hey, how's it going? How are you? I'm doing all right. Yeah, I'm a lawyer. I work at a probably 
one of the top five biggest law firms in the world. Lawyers are idiots. They never understand the consequences of their actions. That's why everyone hates them, because they go around blaming other people and not taking their own responsibility. And is it just that, that they don't that they don't think the rules apply to them, that they're untouchable because they punish other people? How can you punish the punisher? I, you know, I work with a lot of people. I think they just don't get it. I work wow. with people every day, and we do stuff to the other side. And when the other side does it back to us, they go, how can they do that? How do they have the nerve? And I go, well, he did that to him like six months ago. <laughs> right. So for lawyers, it really is what Ant and Jim were saying. It's just business. Like there's just it's, this there's just this sort of wall that's built up that, lawyer, that the lawyer may not even get. That oh, yeah. They you're ruining it, this no. dude's life. Like what, you're, he's not going to be friends with you after this. You're ruining yeah, his no, life. All business. You know, I see it every day. People come in. They'll scream at people, they'll call them names, they'll file motions to get, you know, fines against them, and then they'll, like, be surprised they don't want to go to dinner with them. It's crazy. Because they, they, they think they're powerful, they make all this money. Well, why wouldn't everybody want to be my friend? Because you're destroying me, Dominic, from the inside out. Right, and to them it's a job, right? It's a job, as a lawyer, it's your job to, like... Ruin, it's not your job, but people think it's their job to ruin some other guy's day. And I guess, you don't realize that's their life. That's yeah, I guess, their job. and I guess if, if lawyers like that really sat down and realized that, okay, I have to go ruin another guy's life today, and they, they you know, were at least self aware enough to say to themselves, yeah, this dude is not going to like me because I'm going to ruin his life, it would probably make the job more difficult. So you just lie to yourself. Yeah, you convince yourself, oh, they, you know, they won't hate me. They'll understand. It's just what you got to do. No, it's you know, you're taking money out of some guy's pocket. You of know, course. that's the way we uh, that's the way we treat Jocktober here too, because we're like, ah, they're gonna know it's all in good fun. It's just a joke, and then we find out that these radio DJs are in tears and we've ruined their lives in Sheboygan or whatever small market they're in. I was actually thinking that Friday. I was like, oh man, these guys are really kind of fucking up somebody's day. But, yeah, I mean, uh, we fuck them up bad. <laughs> but. We let them keep their dough. Thank you, John. All right. Have a good day. We're going to take their cash away for them. Roland, you're a Valley Gym fan? Yeah, I love Valley Gym. You were in here doing Valley Gym. Yes, Garotted. <laughs> what was that? Yes, Garotted. What's your favorite thing that Valley Gym says? Um, I forgot, but whatever he says is funny. Well, like here. This is the Valley Gym jingle that uh, the gym submitted. Valley Gym, I'm sorry, submitted at the end of the show today. The jingle contest is wildfire right now but it's wide open for somebody to win yeah. so email your entry to, Williamberg was funny. to opie anthony at SiriusXM.com. this is the jingle that uh, valley jim submitted opie and anthony opie and anthony opie and anthony if you like grody jokes you like that role i do like, what? oh my god <laughs> what does he sound like valley girls from the valley like how the California girl, like, oh my god, do you believe what he says? Oh my god. <laughs> I, I knew a lot of friends who talked that way, so it made me laugh. Like, how would you, those friends describe O and A? They were like, oh my god, there's like two guys, and they talk, and like, oh my god, they're so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they Valley, got like LOLs. <laughs> would you ever consider Valley Roland something you'd want to work on? No. Why not? Because. What would Valley Roland sound like? Be like, um, hey. Oh my God! Hey, what's up? See, he can do the valley. <laughs> what about it? What about if it wasn't valley? What if it was just like? Uh, what do the chicks in the valley sound like, though? They're like, um, like, oh my God, Barney's is having a cell. Let's all go. <laughs> go Barney's. Barney's. Oh, Barney's. Yeah, they go or they wish car. They yell at like, oh my God, do you have your car? Their BMW. Right. Like, yeah. No. Then forget it. Then. Wow. Why would they? For, how could they forget their BMW? How could they get home? No, they pick a different car. Oh, they got so many cars. They do, yeah. Because they're very, they're very rich girls. They're all, yeah, they're rich girls. They're daddy's little girls. Yeah. You and you had to put up with this a lot when you were growing up. Yeah. Well, did you ever ask one out or anything? Yeah. What would they say? Like, I'm like, like I go, hey, do you want to go to a restaurant? Like, oh my god, I hope it's Nobu. Like they'll tell you which ones they want. I would. It, would you take them to know? He's, he's oh, I'm a Nobu. schmuck. Yes, of course. I was an idiot. Like, oh yeah, whatever you want. So, what would the dinner conversation then entail? Of once you're at Nobu, not much. They really? just like eat. Like, oh my god, look at, oh my god, is that celebrity? And then they go <laughs> look, and then they talk color friends. Yeah, it's yeah. ridiculous. Ridiculous. I need to put up with this for a long time. Oh yeah, years. <laughs> when you were in California. Yeah. Is this? But how come we don't get this in New York? 
Because I'll tell you to fuck off. <laughs> they don't want to hear that. They bullshit. go choke and die. <laughs> How would a valley girl respond to a new? Like if I was like a New York guy and I was like, just fuck off, go choke and die. I mean, like, I'm like, oh, what's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? How do you think they would review the Opie and Anthony show? I don't know. They'd be like, oh my god, those guys talk about dirty things like vaginas. <laughs> All right. We got enough, right, Sal? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Ah, you son of a bitch. (laughs) You're an asshole. (laughs) Why did I fall for it? Uh, well, oh, if you notice, why? if you notice, when, fucking money. Why? when we say why? do Valley Roland, you don't do it. But when I just start talking to you about Valley Chicks, you, you do the voice. Oh, God damn it, <laughs> Eric. We got we got we got enough to work with. Oh yes. Okay, good. You excited? I even got the Valley Girl soundtrack ready. <laughs> okay, great, perfect. Oh man, perfect. I. <laughs> You're, you're good. You're good. I'm a. Because if we had gotten Roland into a studio, it never would have happened. Like we we would if we'd gotten Roland into Troy's studio and just try to record something randomly, it wouldn't have happened. He wouldn't have done the voice. We would have been like, "Come on, Roland, do what you're doing." Uh, I don't know. Uh, Valley, uh, uh, Nobu, uh, BMW, uh, uh, California. But if you get him in here, and you're just talking, right? Yeah, <laughs> and then all, tricked me. all of a sudden we have all the elements needed. Oh my God, no LOLs. <laughs> <laughs> Keep marking them. <laughs> Sal, you may be able to come back. Yeah, I, maybe. Would, maybe you should. Oh my God, what's this idiot? <laughs> Mark that one. <laughs> maybe you should uh, uh, take on some of the oh, Valley, Valley Roland. responsibilities. Valley Roland. Uh, uh, let's go to Pirate Trucker. Trick me. Pirate, <laughs> how do you get it done, you know? Eh, you do what you do. <laughs> Pirate Trucker, you're going after Opie and Anthony Live. When are we going to get some uh, EFA t-shirts? EFA? E-Rock fucking Army. E-Rock fucking Army. Are you working on those, E-Rock? I know the uh, Hulkamania wing of the Bubba Army is apparently disbanded, so maybe <laughs> <laughs> so maybe uh, you could develop your own little army? Uh, we'll see if we can get some or, shirts made. Yeah. Or Bubba could stay at his um, downstairs basement. <laughs> That's true. Now, instead of uh, there, there instead of like that army logo that most people put on their shirts, no. maybe it says E Rock, picture of a Coke float, and then army. Ooh, yeah, get something a, like that. Get a hand holding the a Coke glass with or, a Coke float, or a little Coke guy float. laying down on the couch holding a Coke float. Right, right, something like that. And like on the arm, there could be a patch, and it's a computer monitor with a picture of a girl in a bikini on it. <laughs> You love those bikini girls, huh? I'll find an artist to do it. Good, good, good. What's going on, Pirate Trucker? Um, I was glad to hear the return of the uh, Sam Roberts show this weekend. Yeah. But I learned that you are one interview away from leaving Jess for the Arrow Girl. Listen. Uh, they, they were hot. These chicks from Arrow. I played the Comic-Con special. Mm-hmm. I'll figure out how to get that on What's demand. Was it Willa? Willa Holland. She, she was fucking hot. Yeah. I like her better than the other one. Katie Cassidy. Yeah, no. David Cassidy. Willa, she's... Yeah, Willa Holland was like... Uh, I did some flirting with these girls because... What am I going to do? Talk to them about Green Arrow? So I was flirting with... The, and then she started touching my hair. She was hitting me in the arm. I got to post these videos you, because... You did, you did flirt with Arrow, guy. Guy? No, because I didn't flirt wrestling. with the guy. The guy from Arrow, uh, Stephen Amell. He, he plays the lead in Arrow. And he was foolish enough while I was interviewing him to say that he – I was talking to him about Comic-Con. He said I was a wrestling geek, and he started talking about Hulk Hogan. And then he said um, – he goes, yeah, even – and now I can't even watch this sex tape of his. And I told him, yeah, but it's not all bad news because it's being reported that he has genitals the size of a thermos. <laughs> yeah. And the publicist is behind rolling going, no, no comment, no, no comment. Because he was about to say something because he thought it was hysterical. Of course. I wish I had that interview. If I had known Pirate Trucker was here, I would have played it for you all right now. But uh, she I will. She's uh, she like she looked like Maria um, Menounos, a young yeah. Maria Menounos. I'll get that video up on uh, on the YouTube page. Uh, and yet, you know what? I told I told Jess. Jess was in the room while this was happening, but she was way on the other side of the room. And if you're on different sides of the room, it's not cheating. I no. don't think. I think that's kind of the rule. Plus, it's for the show. It's for the show. If me uh-huh. and Willa Holland. Uh, become romantically linked. Uh, we hit it off. We have great chemistry. Obviously, our chemistry. I mean, Pirate Trucker, you heard our chemistry. What did you think? Uh, maybe a three-way. Right. Maybe we could arrange that. And I'll be like, Jess, you know that this is a difficult situation for me to be in. But what if I offered to include you as well? Then Jess would probably be like, you know what? I could not lose Sam Roberts from my life. He means that much to me. Yeah. 
Uh, I'll never meet a man like him. Uh, no one holds a candle to him. So, yes, I will have a threesome with you and Willa Holland from the show Arrow. And yeah. I would be like, okay, great. And we got time, something going now. And what's on the tape is she wanted two pictures with you. Like, she, the first one she grabbed you, she said, one more, one more. Can she see that Pete sign? She was a nice girl. Yeah, so. She's a very nice girl, Pirate Trucker. Thank you for picking up on that. You bet. All right, see you later. That show, by the way, is the Sunday show he's talking about, 4 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to come in here for some reason on Sunday afternoons and do something. Sucker. Um, John in Tennessee, you're on after Opie and Anthony Live. Sam Roberts, the greatest broadcaster ever. Thank you very much, John. Sam, unfortunately, I learned that Danny Ross is the king of the Internet. You suck at it. Why would you? I mean, I'm glad you started with a compliment, but you don't need to be so blunt about that. Well, I, that's what Anthony said. <laughs> okay, well, if Anthony said it, it must be true, right? He hung up. Phil, you're on after Opie and Anthony Live. What's she do? Hey, 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 hey. What's Willa uh, Holland doing in that picture, Sal? She was smoking a J in, in this one. Is she kissing somebody else? She, um, Yeah, she's kissing. But th- I call this... What this, the fuck? This is pre-Arrow, though. Is this a long time ago? Yeah, because now the, the guy's probably texting her, and she's like, change my number. Yeah, because we, I mean, we all have past, and that's one thing, but if this chick is, like, still making out with other dudes, I have a big problem with that. Just because she's on the show Arrow doesn't mean she doesn't have to be faithful. This was posted in 09, so you're... you're okay. You're good. Yeah. yeah, and that guy's a douchebag, so there's no way she's still hanging out with him. Oh, you're a fucking haircut. Yeah, he looks kind of like you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Phil, you're on... Uh, that's, that's his roommate. <laughs> you're on After Opie and Anthony Live. Yeah, it was a very educational show today, very uplifting, yeah. informative. Yeah, uh, I I learned that Anthony loves white zombie, but hates the black crows. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's the way everybody should be. White zombie is is much better than the black crows. No, but he loves the white zombie, and he hates the black crows. So you think it was it was racially motivated? It was just based on the names. Yeah, it was subliminal, you know. Yeah, I get it, Phil. Thank you, and maybe I, wait, wait. I also yeah, learned yeah. that uh, if Rob Zombie named used his uh, last name for his band, it would be White Cummings. <laughs> that's that's funny. Thank you, Phil. It's All true. Right. It's true. Rob Cummings, White Cummings. Get it, Roland? It's a jizz yeah. joke. Yeah, Whitney yeah. Cummings. No, not Whitney Cummings. That's not the same thing at all. Nobody's talking about Whitney Cummings. I know, no one is. <laughs> <laughs> what is your vendetta against Whitney Cummings? Hmm? Her show. You just don't like it? No, she pays me back every time I see that show. I'm like, all right, you got me. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it is. Uh, maybe it is subliminal. Maybe if you want to be a rock band that Anthony enjoys listening to, you can't have that B word in the title. No, black. Scott. Scott in Detroit. Welcome to After hey. Open Anthony Live. Hey, Sam. How you doing, buddy? Good, dude. So I sent you guys, uh, I sent you a, a print I took of Rob Zombie, and I sent Roland a beautiful print of uh, Bruce Springsteen. Oh, thank you. And, that was very nice. Yeah, yeah this one, what you guys thought of the, did, did you like them? Yeah, I'm glad you called in. We got this uh, prints in the mail. Uh, uh, I guess this is, a, Scott, he's a photographer, and... He go. He takes like concert shots and everything, and we just got a package. I guess he met Troy somewhere. Maybe I think Lollapalooza is that where you met him. Exactly. I was the yeah. guy that took the shots of him and Jimmy back back in the media area. Right where Troy decided to rock star it up, and Jim was just like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> like exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scott sent us these pictures to the yeah. studio, and they're ridiculous. It's this uh, giant black and white Rob Zombie's on stage. He's all makeup and costumed and everything. It's amazing. And then right under it was this awesome shot of Bruce. Did you like the Bruce picture? Yeah, it's from the jazz festival. You gonna hang it up? Yeah. Yeah. And then he sent uh, the Jack White and then the Kiss. Yeah, all the stuff looked really good, dude. I appreciate it. Hey, but look, hey Sam, you know I actually just photographed Rob Zombie again this past weekend in Detroit, and I actually got a better print. So probably within the next month, I'm gonna order some more. I'll probably send you another one. Please do, man. I love. I loved it. Where can people see your work? Uh, you can go to RockstarProPhotography.com. Yeah, definitely check that out because, I mean, there's nothing better than looking at concert pictures. Like, it's awesome. Yeah, and, the, and, but the quality was amazing. Yeah, the quality is amazing. And you get, like, what do you – you're a professional photographer. Are you up, like, right at the stage for all these shows? Yeah, I'm right, right up in the front. I actually shoot for Getty Images and I also shoot for Polestar as well. So wow. I'm actually I'm, – uh, I'm getting ready to leave for New Orleans on Friday for uh, the Voodoo Fest, which is this year is going to be Jack White, Metallica, and Neil Young. So. That's fucking awesome. Well, you're good at what you do, dude. I appreciate it, man. And uh, again, I'll be sending you another print here probably in the next month or so. I can't wait. Uh, Thanks a lot, Scott. 
No problem. Bye-bye. Definitely check out the site and see what this guy does because the shots he sent us were amazing. Yeah. Um, Sal, how are you feeling about today? I'm doing good. You're doing, you're doing well still? Yeah. Did you play that Williamsburg thing again? Yeah, that's the that, one. That one right. was hysterical. I love that's, that one. <laughs> was that Sal the Pussy or Salamander the Hipster? Uh, it was not, it was not the, the first one. I think the second one. It was the second one. It was, yeah. one, of the, it was yeah. one of the two that uh, Scott sent in. This was I all think the second one. Scott, keep 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 them coming. This was all part of the uh, jingle contest. Um, let me see if it was. This is uh, Sal the Pussy. Yeah. The only pussy in Williamsburg is Sal. Don't make the panda angry. <laughs> Just don't do it. Just. <laughs> Did you voice that? Was that your voice in there? No. It no. sounds like you. It sounds like Mr. Garrison. I thought it was very much Sal. I thought Sal had voiced it for him. You didn't voice that? when That's not you saying, don't do it. Oh, that don't. part. Yeah, yeah. That, I thought that was yeah, you. Yeah, no, that was me. That was that you, was right? Me, yeah. Okay. We well, were you in did... Williamsburg, and we did a VO session. It was you did him a great service. What? Are you surprised that, uh, I mean, the audience has gotten to know you no. over the past few months. Um, sure. Are you surprised the response has been quite so negative? I uh, mean, yeah, it is... I was really surprised that that was going to happen to me. I really came here thinking everyone was going to love me. Well, why not? Why not? Yeah, because it just had the show generally has a negative feel about it. Like, uh, yeah, they... but I mean, for like even with E Rock, who like everybody likes to make fun of, like he's the the go to whipping boy. Yeah, and for good reason. But. <laughs> <laughs> But you didn't think I was going to be able to get through that sentence without taking a shot, did you, Iraq? I'd expect nothing less. Okay, good. <laughs> but even even with Iraq, like he'll just get shit on and shit on and shit on, and then there, the Iraq army is always around. It's true, and he always has his supporters. And no matter who makes fun of Iraq, there's always, whether when Troy is in here smashing Iraq, somebody's calling up and be like, "Fuck this asshole, he's being a bitch." When I'm making fun of E-Rock, somebody's calling up and being like, fuck you, Sam, you're jealous. When Danny's making fun of E-Rock, somebody's calling up, fuck you, Danny, you're jealous. But when any of us are making fun of Sal, people are calling up and being like, yo, love this show! <laughs> yes! You guys are on fire today, and let me tell you something, you are on point. <laughs> Which is weird. That the, I mean, usually there is more uh, polarity, I will say, in the audience. Um... But with you, everybody's on the same page of you suck. Well, I mean, it, 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 that's that's what makes good radio is like those douchey moments. Yeah, but and not all for you. Stuff. Not for me, but I mean, I knew that coming into this job, you know. It's Did not, everybody was going to hate you? Uh, yeah, pretty much. That's a terrible attitude to walk in with. Well, that's just what was pretty much hinted at me from almost everyone here. What, that everybody hates you? Well, that you're going to be hated regardless and you need to, you know. I wasn't hated dudes. from the beginning. No? No. no I, I don't think so. And by the way, yeah. Struff always loved me. Okay. No matter what I was doing. Eric, you could be my backup. You remember back in the early days, now there's all kinds of Sam super fans. They're calling all the time. Sure. Justin Stangle from David Letterman Show is texting me being like, hey, don't forget, I'm a fan too. Larry from Connecticut. Larry from Connecticut's calling in. Strop is still calling in. I got people on my Twitter being like, hey, can I be the first super fan? And I'll be like, no, you got to get online with the rest of them. Well, I mean, I've only been here for a short amount of time. But people don't really know me. Exactly. Yet, you know? This is a new phenomenon that the, you know, the, the, the Sam supporters have just, just gone to all new levels. But... In the beginning, no, it wasn't like that. But there was always, like, Struff. He was always, like, even when it was, like, weird. There since day one. You remember. Like, when it was like, well, why do you, I mean, Sam doesn't even do anything yet. What do you like him for? And Struff would be like, this kid's got a future. And he was the one who was right, by the way. Yeah. Well, that's But good. you don't have any super fans. None. No. Not one. That's fine with me. Eric, you're in touch with the listeners a lot. How many Sal <laughs> supporters have you come into contact with? Um, this weekend alone? Yeah. The number two runner-up for hashtag of Iraq Army nigga mm -hmm. was you love uh, using you love that you can use that n word to no I don't like using you it. you do like it but that's the name of the song you got to keep it uh, you yeah. do because you could say you Iraq Army and abbreviate it but you like that n word um, the others were Sal's a douche you, <laughs> so zero is the answer yeah zero supporters is there is that something you think about turning around what 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 can I do to to turn it around? I turn mine around. Yeah. I, I've been. It only took you what eight years. To... I've been turning haters around oh, every shit. day, Ooh. every day. I, yeah, I mean, you're you're on the air more. I I don't, you know. But I wasn't always on the air more, right? 
I was still turning haters around. Everybody would be like, I hate Sam. I hate Sam. I hate Sam. And then this one guy would be like, I used to hate Sam. And then it would be two guys. And then it would be three guys. Now it's the world! Yeah. You have well, your own army as well, so. I mean, and they are quite a force. Yeah. Uh, well, unless we go to Derek. Derek in Wisconsin. What are you thinking? Yes. I want to be the first super fan of Sal because he's such a dumbass. <laughs> 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 now, Derek, I'm not sure you know what a super fan is. Generally, a super fan is somebody who would be very supportive of uh, of a person. Oh, he sounds I'm supportive of his dumbassery. <laughs> now, so will you continue to be a fucking dumbass so that you can keep Derek on your team? Yeah, Derek will be my struff, I guess, in the future. Now, yeah, Derek, 100%. what are the odds that you'll forget about Sal even existing within a week? Uh, pretty good. <laughs> okay, well then. <laughs> I would, for the next though, for the rest of the day, you'll be a Sal super fan. I'm a Sal super fan till midnight, and then the pumpkin turns back into fucking mice. All right, well, it's good to know. Thank All you, Derek. Right. Wow. That carriage is not going to be a carriage forever, Sal. No. I, I mean, the pumpkin it turns into a pumpkin. The pumpkin doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. It, what the they fuck don't that turn was. mice into and I'm pumpkins. The dumbass, in Cinderella. Yeah. Why would you insult your only super fan? Yeah. Well, fuck him. He says he's only got a couple more hours. This is why you have no supporters, Sal. He's You're not over off here. to a good start. He, Eric, did you hear what he just said? He just told his supporter to go fuck himself. One he just supporter. called me a dumbass three times and said but he's going to forget about me in a couple hours. You are a dumbass. You know how you can tell you're a dumbass? How? Because you got one super fan until midnight, and you just said fuck him. Fuck him. Yeah, who gives a shit? Super Sal right. card hurdle number one. And you almost said that. <laughs> <laughs> Steve in Pennsylvania. Hey, Sam. Yeah? I still fucking hate you. <laughs> well, give it time, buddy. Give it time. See you. All right, bye. See? So, I still got to win some of them over, but it's going to happen. One day, Steve's going to... You know what? Just that one phone call right there, Steve's going to be like, uh, that little fucker kind of won me over there. You know why? Because I wasn't like... Fuck you, Steve. Don't hate me. I'm from Williamsburg. <laughs> I, 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 I never said don't hate me. People have every right to hate me. I've, of course. I've produced some horrible shit for the show. You know? And no good shit. Mark that. So, yeah. we well, don't have to mark it. I mean, all we have to do is go through your record. I mean, that's obvious to everybody. But what do you think you need to do? Because you got to win the support of the, of the listeners. This is what, I mean, the listeners are what it's all about. If the listeners don't like you, why should you even be here? Well, right? I think it, it's more important if Opet and Jim like me, you know? They don't seem to like you. They don't seem to like me. I not. mean, that's the vibe I get. Is that Roland, you're you're in touch with Opie, Anthony, Jim a lot. You're pitching guests and everything. What's the, what, What's this chick doing out here? I know. She's over there making... I hate it when people make faces at the window. Come on in here, Noah. Hi. Um, what do you got? You give Roland a present? Mm -hmm. You just give Roland presents? Not to the rest of the room. Well, it's Monica Monday, so you get Monica's presents. That's true. We got Troy and me have Monica uh, baking us things every Monday. I know. We ever convinced that it's like this fun group activity, but she has to buy all the baked goods every <laughs> weekend and just bring it in and Troy and me complain. <laughs> what, did, what did you bring Roland? Is, is this yeah, that's on. They're all on. I leave all the mics on because you never know what's going to happen. Um, I brought him his favorite. What's his favorite? His fa It's a muffin, but not the dodo now. So. <laughs> Well, I had. Wow, it, I Roland! Had, okay. I'm just saying that you got chicks. Promise, you got chicks just coming in here randomly and giving you gifts, and you're like, "It's almost there. It's not quite." Yeah. Roland, okay. I promised Roland that I would bring him a donut from Smorgasburg, but I bought it on Saturday. So, like by this morning, it was hard as a rock. But they do some on Sunday, though. <laughs> I wasn't around to get you a donut on Sunday, so instead, I got him his favorite, a carrot cream. Muffin. Jesus, what do you? What, where, where do you work, Noah? Where do I work? Here? No, what? <laughs> yes, it's a big. Do you work here on uh, Opie and Anthony Channel? No, I work on Road Dog. Uh, what's Road Dog? Road Dog is the trucking channel. Oh, um, what do you do there? You host a show. You... I produce a talk show called Freewheeling, which is about to start in a couple of minutes. Well, you guys just talk about trucks. Uh, that's one of the things where we talk about a lot of like topical things uh you take anything. you do like uh lat lizards and glory holes and all that stuff <laughs> no we don't get that uh profane why I mean, we do talk about lot lizards but we don't talk about glory holes uh, well you don't think the truckers have encountered we've heard from truckers having who've oh, encountered glory holes we also once we had a trucker on who was talking about how they shit in bags <laughs> and we had one female trucker oh. and she started taking her bag shit mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and chucking it at the window at the window, not out, so we could well, hear I it. Heard, I, I mean, I heard about like pee bottles. Those are trucker bombs. Right. No so shit in a bag. What's the shit in the like? What's the 
CB term for that? Uh, shit bombs, I guess. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, Do you want to hear it? Brown glory. Did um? Yeah, let's hear let's hear a clip of uh, and Noah. I want you to listen to this because okay. Uh, and by the way. Noah's too good looking to be bringing Roland presents and for Roland to be complaining about it, just in case anybody's wondering out there. I don't know exactly what's going on here, but Roland's got this whole place networked. Uh, go ahead, Eric. Wait, this is the sound of a bag of shit hitting a window in a truck. Okay, I'm tying the bag up. Did you hear it? <laughs> yeah. Do it again, do it again. Okay. Did you <laughs> She's taking a massive Come dive. on, yeah. throwing her shit bag against the window. <laughs> Look, we all got a good laugh. Now, is that real or not? It's not real. All right, one more time. Uh, throw it against the window? Yeah. Okay. It's really starting to stink up the truck. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Now, why doesn't stuff like this go on on Road Dog? It's a trucking channel. Seems like the perfect spot for it. It seems like it, doesn't it? It seems like you are the window to their shit bag. Like, this is the type of stuff that should be going on on, on on the trucking channel. Well, sometimes it goes on. I mean, it depends what the topic of the day is. Like, one time we had a show called uh, Game of Thrones where we talked about all the different truck stop bathrooms. Okay. And, like, the grossest thing you've seen and, and all that. So. And nobody called up and been like, one time I was driving along in the truck next to me, there was a chick throwing a bag of shit at her window for some I, I dumb mean, radio guess, show. I guess they call your show with that, not our show. Well, you should encourage it. If, you, if you're if you a trucker out there who's got some shit in a bag and they want to throw it at a window, we call wanna, up Freewheeling today. Well, no, we don't want to talk about uh, shit, shit bombs for three hours. That's what truckers want yeah. like. They love it. You got to know your audience. Well, actually, we're talking about OCD Monday. I mean, like, it's it's OCD Monday today, so we're talking about, like, weird OCD habits that truckers have. Like what? What kind of trucker habits do they have? Like, some of them count their steps to their truck, or they have to, like, walk around their truck a couple of times before going in. I would bet that OCD stuff happens a lot with truckers, because it's just such a boring, like, you know what I mean? Just driving for hours and hours. Like, you just have to, like... It's- it's I'm not now that gonna. Boring. I mean, what are you talking you get about? To see just... the country. They do uh, stop sometimes and they go sightseeing. Yeah, but like, if you're a trucker for 15, 15 years, <laughs> you've seen the country. Yeah, that's. You just got to start tapping the steering wheel 1,700 <laughs> times in a row. You got to develop OCDs just so you don't fall asleep. Okay. Well, anyways, I have to go back to. My I should studio. get a job at the trucking channel. Obviously, I could dominate any platform. You know, I would love for you to sit in for me one day, and you can produce my show. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't think so. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to... Have, have you conquered the, the trucking channel just yet? Producing truck radio? No, I haven't conquered that. But I think, I think I'm think i okay leapfrogging it this time. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate you bringing Roland a gift. Yeah, uh, thank you for that. I know. I hope he eats it and doesn't like pass it over to Sal or something. I don't, know, pass over Sal, I, mean. I don't know what Roland has done to have uh, hot chicks coming into radio studios and bringing him muffins and then I complaining about it. I'm not well, complaining, actually, though. The... We were supposed to go out tonight, and he canceled on me. We were, we were supposed to go to like a wrestling event. Whoa! Dude. You got a hot chick to go to a wrestling show, and I'm bringing him food. And you canceled <laughs> on her. Roll, what kind of pimp are you? I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an exhausted. He's burned. Pimp. You guys uh, o- like over exhaust him over the weekend. So then I'm I don't know what the fuck goes on in his life that he could be that exhausted. I don't know either, but Jeez. enjoy your muffin roll. Thanks. And I'll see you later. But Have fun on... Thank you for stopping by, Noah. Thanks. But Sunday, though, next week, is a donut. Just, wow. Next week, I'll bring you donut. Thank you. You got this place on lock, Roland. should have just handed it back to her. Oh, Bye, Noah. Bye. Thank you for coming she by. She told me that my ear. <laughs> I couldn't. You were wearing the wrong headphones. Roland uh, has got this place networked. You got hot chicks. And this was a hot chick who just came in here. I didn't want to make her feel uncomfortable. But that chick was banging. And she comes in here. And she gives you a, a, a muffin, and you're like, well, I would have preferred a donut. Well, <laughs> and, and, and I'm not hanging out with you tonight. And I'm not going, why wouldn't you go to wrestling with her? I'm going to go with you. You're going to go with me? Sure. <laughs> okay. I am going to wrestling tonight, but I didn't yeah. realize that. This is. What do you think of the muffin she brought you? It's all right. And you see, Sal, this is what I'm talking about. Literally, in one conversation, we go to everybody going, uh, Sal sucks. And while we're all discussing how everybody thinks you suck, some hot chick rolls in here. And just to be like, here, Roland, for no reason I brought you a muffin. Why did you cancel our date tonight? <laughs> and Roland goes, it's not good enough. And she goes, I love you. 
Yeah, Roland's pimp hand is fucking strong. So where are you at? What do you mean by where I'm at? Like, how can you have this much negativity when you got Roland, who's got hot chicks rolling in, and giving him breakfast treats? I don't know. I mean, you know. Roland has a lot of good... You he's know. gonna be, You know he's going to be in that snake eventually. You know he's going to be in that snake, right? Eric, you've seen you've seen women before. Yes. You know Roland's going to be in that snake. Yes. And I'll be there to smell his fingers. That's right, Roland. Maybe it's thermos-sized and we don't know. I'll bet it is. I'll bet Roland has a thermos-sized cock that he's going to share with that uh, lovely trucking girl. I think the stink will be better than the muffin. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's not that good today. You're not a fan of the muffin. Not at all. So you're hoping her vagina is better. No, um, um, yeah, it's not. He's playing it classy right now, so You see what he's doing? He's yeah. Roland's playing it James Dean cool right now. He's like, hey, chicks come in here, chicks don't come in here. I'm doing my thing. I just say, up, up your level of better treats. <laughs> uh, Bruce? That's all I ask. Hey, Sam, I just want to tell you, right, I've been driving for over 15 years, and it is fucking boring. Boring as shit, right? I would assume you have to develop OCD just to fill the time. Well, Jesus Christ, you're going to see the country, but it's right through the windshield. <laughs> yeah. You don't get to get out and see Mount Rushmore all the time, you know? <laughs> no, you get to see the highways of the country. Yeah, that's it. And all the lot lizards like she was talking about. But she's pretty naive for being on the trucking channel. Do you listen to the, <laughs> do you listen to the truck channel? Yeah, every once in a great while, but... I, I think it's very strange to have a truck channel. I don't understand what kind of programming would be on it. Well, at nighttime, they've got one Jonesy's all night truck stop or whatever. Yeah. He puts two different truckers on the CB or on the radio, and they're talking to each other like trying to CB. It's just boring as fuck. It's October. Yeah, is that something you would like to listen to as a truck driver? That sounds like it. it this trucking channel sounds like it's causing more deaths than, than pl more people falling asleep at the wheel because of this uh, freewheeling yeah. trucking show than. than I see Ice Road Truckers. I love that show. Ice Road Trucker Radio I would listen to. Yeah, because you go, ooh, it's, I'm on ice. It's very cold outside today. But So you don't really listen to the trucking channel? No, no, not at all. Yeah. Uh, well, I'd rather listen. It's pretty much on your channel a lot. So. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Bruce. Thank you. I just don't understand it. What on earth could they be talking about that has to do with trucks for that, that amount of time? I don't know. To have a whole channel with live shows every day? Yeah. I can't even imagine being the host. Like, how do you explain that to somebody? Yeah, I host my own radio show on Sirius. Oh, cool. What? What's you know? What's it called? Uh, it's uh, freewheeling. It's a trucker. It's a truck channel. <laughs> we talk about like uh, trucks and truck drivers. They, they actually go to the events uh, like in Texas, the big truck fair. They the broadcast truck? live. They do live shows at the truck fairs. Yeah. They talk about fire trucks too. Fire truck radio. I would listen to. I know. Plus, then you got little kids. They're like, Mom, Mom. Fire truck radio is on. I love fire trucks. This is what I want to be when I grow up. No, they went last year to Texas for their trucking convention. Their trucking convention is all over the place. Roland, Roland, you don't need to be on any trucking channel. You need to be on a sex advice show because I, I don't want to know. But he also needs a bib and a napkin. I you made a mess. You see, you're making a mess of yourself, and you still got girls dropping off treats. I don't understand how he does it, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll get into more of it tomorrow when after Opie and Anthony Live comes back. Stay tuned. Ryan and Fez are up next. Goodbye. The Obi and Anthony show is now over. For real this time. Check out the ONA show on Facebook at facebook.com slash Obi and Anthony. And catch Obi and Anthony live Monday through Friday from 6 to 10 a.m. Eastern. Ryan and Fez are next. Hey. hey.